on the Hawkeye Sports Network. From Learfield, Hawkeye football is on the air. And he's got all kinds of running room. See you later. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Alliant Energy. Visit AlliantEnergy.com to see how Alliant Energy invests in solutions for clean, reliable energy, now and in the future. High V score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. And by Case IH. The Case IH Red Zone is brought to you by Case IH and your local Case IH dealers. Learn more at CaseIH.com backslash Hawkeyes. Now live, Hawkeye football is on the air. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye game day show. Authentic brand. Elevate your game day look and everyday style with a premium label of choice. Good afternoon, Hawkeye fans, and welcome to the authentic brand Hawkeye game day show. I'm your pregame host, Michelle Altmeyer, and we're coming to you from the Hawkeye Radio Network studios in Iowa City. We're just two hours away from the Hawkeyes versus the Northwestern Wildcats at Wrigley Field in Chicago. You know, the last time Iowa played a Big Ten opponent in a baseball stadium was way back in 1904 when they faced Minnesota at Athletic Park in Cedar Rapids. Well, now it's time to check in with the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin, who's standing in the same press box that was home to some of the all-time Hall of Famer play-by-play -play announcers like Jack Brickhouse, Iowa's own Milo Hamilton, and of course, Harry Carey. Dolph, are you going to channel your inner Harry Carey and sing, take me out to the ball game today? I don't know about channeling my inner Harry Carey, uh, Michelle, but good afternoon. In fact, Harry is supposed to stop by a little bit later on. Hopefully he can do a little let me hear you uh, before uh, the Hawkeyes get out of here, hopefully with a victory. You mentioned uh, the second time the Hawks have played somebody, uh, a Big Ten opponent, uh, in a baseball field. Uh, in 1904, you know, the athletic park you speak of was uh, just across the uh, the Cedar River, where the present-day uh, Roosevelt Middle School is, the site of the old Roosevelt High School. And uh, Minnesota won that game 11 to nothing. The Hawks, of course, won the Pinstripe Bowl at Yankee Stadium. That was in 2017, 27 to 20, over uh, the Boston College Eagles. So here we are at Wrigley Field, venerable old Wrigley Field, one of the great meccas of uh, Major League Baseball. And today it's uh, hosting a Big Ten game uh, between the Hawkeyes and the Northwestern Wildcats. Obviously, it's been a, a week uh, somewhat uh, with turmoil after the announcement about uh, Brian Ferentz uh, not returning to the team next year. Uh, head coach Kirk Ferentz uh, said the focus has been pretty good this week uh, with the players and the assistant coaches, and he wants them to focus on what's right in front of them. Yeah, you know, we got a chance to win 10 games um, and more, so that would be historic, and uh, certainly would love to have that happen. You know, we wish we were 8-0 no right now. We're not. Uh, and we got knocked down the last time out, so it's, you know, you just get back up on your feet, you get back in the fight, and uh, see what you can do moving forward, and that's, I think, the attitude of our football team, and, um, you know, we got a big challenge this week, we'll have a challenge every week, we're in conference play, that's what you expect, but that's, that's the beauty of this stuff, you got, you know, it's November football, and this is really what people remember, so. Yeah, the Hawkeyes have allowed 14 or fewer points in 14 of their last 21 games, and the defense has held eight teams without a touchdown since the start of the 2022 season. Talk about consistency. Hopefully that defense gets it done today. Northwestern has been susceptible to the run. The Hawks need to crank up the ground game. LeSean Williams needs roughly 50 yards to reach 1,000 for his career. So hopefully the Hawks can uh, ground and pound, as they say. We know one thing, uh, Michelle, it's going to be a sold-out house. Uh, Chicago's home to a half a million to a million Big Ten alums, and many of them are uh, uh, Iowa grads, certainly Northwestern grads. Iowa and the Wildcats kick off in about two hours. Michelle, from Wrigley Field, back to you in Iowa City. Gary Dolphin and Ed Podolak will bring you all the action here on the Hawkeye Radio Network coming up in about two hours. And the Hawkeye team bus arrived at Wrigley Field moments ago, fueled with biodiesel and powered by the Iowa Soybean Association and the Soybean Checkoff. Iowa leads the nation in biodiesel production, providing cleaner and healthier air, homegrown jobs, and value to every bushel of soybeans grown. Better, 
cleaner now. That's biodiesel. Find out more at iowasoybeans.com. Coming up on today's authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day show, we'll talk with Fox TV's Master Chef winner and Iowa graduate, Grant Gillen. Rob Brooks will be along with the Hawkeye Roundtable, and Gary Dolphin chats with Iowa basketball coach Fran McCaffrey. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day show. Authentic brand, more than a label, it's a statement. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. Even the simplest act can set a chain of good in motion. Like choosing Delta Dental of Iowa for your dental and vision insurance. Because we invest in your community. So whether you get your plan at work or purchase it through us, you make a difference for others. Visit SharingHealthySmiles.com and choose Delta Dental for your smile, for your health, and for your community. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic brand, the preferred label of choice for game day looks and everyday styles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Iowa Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is brought to you in part by Iowa Bankers Association Burger Shed IMT Insurance Great Southern Bank American Equity Machine Shed Show your support to our local Iowa radio business partners and support those who support the Hawkeyes. Welcome back to the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm your pregame host, Michelle Altmeyer, and we're counting down to Iowa and Northwestern from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Fox TV's Master Chef is a reality cooking competition that features amateur chefs competing in a series of cooking challenges overseen by Chef Gordon Ramsay and a panel of accomplished chefs. Grant Gillen, a native of Altoona and University of Iowa graduate, beat out 40 other home chefs to win season 13 of the competition. And this week, I had the chance to catch up with lifelong Hawkeye fan who attributes his love for the University of Iowa from his parents. Both of my parents attended the University of Iowa in the 80s, um, and it's just something, honestly, that I was born into. Uh, I applied to one and only one college, and it was the University of Iowa. So, you know, obviously, I'm <laughs> glad I got accepted, got in, because that was uh, no fallback plan there. <laughs> um, 
But the university has just always meant so much to me and to my family. My dad was a manager on the football team uh, back in the 80s. They, my parents met when they were working together, I think, in the, in the cafeteria at the hospital back in the day. And so, you know, it's given so much to me and my family. And, you know, it was just the place that, that I knew I wanted to be. Growing up, you know, going to Iowa City most Saturdays in the fall, uh, sneaking over to Carver in the winter whenever we could, and, you know, getting to learn just even little bits and pieces about Iowa City and, and the university just just drew me in, and it was somewhere I knew I needed to be and wanted to continue my education. So it was, you know, a no-brainer for me to, to go to the university and just to learn again what all there was to offer. When I came in freshman year, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what kind of path I was gonna take in my career. It's like, oh, maybe I'll try to go to law school or business or whatever it might be. And I you know, went through my first couple of years really trying to figure that out. Uh, you know, Luckily, one of my, you know, who I now call one of my great friends and, and mentors, my uh, professor, Dan Matheson, uh, as somebody who really lit a fire under me and somebody that inspired me to do something, uh, wanting to do something within the, you know, the recreation or, or sports world. Um, you know, I guess cooking kind of <laughs> falls under that now, but uh, really finding that that person um, at the university that, you know, was a, a teacher to me, but but really ended up being a lot more than that was huge for me. Uh, you know, of course, during my time at the university, I spent three years with the University of Iowa Dance Marathon, which is near and dear to my heart. Uh, you know, that I always say, you know, sorry, mom and dad, but Dance Marathon taught me more about who I needed to be as a person and in the professional world than I think any class ever could have. Uh, getting that experience to call on accounts and work with people on the different donations that I did and businesses and me just being a little, you know, 20 year old college kid talking to these large corporations about donations uh, just set me up for success into the, into the sales world, which is where I initially started my career and really just allowed me to, to really put those things that I learned even outside of the classroom into practice in my professional life. Okay. So we got to know. So what was your favorite food here from your days at the university of Iowa residence halls? Ooh, from the residence halls, let me tell you, freshman year, late night at Burge, whew, I went through my my hawk dollars or whatever we called them back then <laughs> way too quickly. Uh, Grant was over getting a lot of Bosco sticks, a lot of buffalo wings. <laughs> Um, those were uh, definitely two foods that I thought I could sustain myself on throughout the year. Uh, probably not as much fresh food as I should have back then, but um, <laughs> it's... Uh, those are definitely my, my fond memories of those residence hall foods and cafeteria. All right. Can you share with us some maybe memorable moments or campus traditions that you were a part of during your time here at Iowa? Sure. So I've already mentioned Dance Marathon, of course, being something that I hold near and dear to my heart. Uh, being able to just be a part of something so much bigger than yourself, uh, giving back to others really, again, just set me up for success in the future. It allowed me to think differently about how I act and how I can you know, go forward and really continue to help other people. Uh, and so I, I certainly uh, really appreciate that. Again, going back to freshman year, a lot of my really great memories come from that freshman year just because everything was so, so new. Uh, but the concert in the Pentecrest um, during homecoming week, just so much fun. I think I think we had Chuck Berry my freshman year, um, but just everybody coming together. You know, I, I come from a, a decent sized school in the, the Des Moines area, uh, certainly not the, the largest at the time. But I love that hometown feel, especially around homecoming, people coming back and people being excited, you know, about the, the institution itself. And then, of course, the impending football game. But seeing that happen on such a larger scale uh, with my with my classmates at the University of Iowa is, is something that I, I certainly love. So if you could sum up your time here at the University of Iowa in just a couple words, mm. what would that be? You know, I, I guess in one word, it would just be determination. Uh, it was just allowing me to, to know that I was the person that was responsible for my success and my failures um, and being able to, you know, be the one to show people here's who Grant Gillen is here, who I am. Uh, and, and learning all through that. So I think determination is a really good word to, to cap that off. More of my chat with Master Chef winner Grant Gillen continues after this. Hawkeye football is brought to you by the Iowa Farm Bureau, who would like to remind you that America needs farmers. Join our team. Support America's farmers. Check out americaneedsfarmers.org. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show, and you're listening to Hawkeye Football from Learfield. 
Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Ah, yes, there's nothing like pork chops sizzling on the grill. Hi, I'm Lori Johns. I'll bet, like me, you love to eat pork. But what do you know about pig farming in Iowa? How animals are raised or how farmers work to improve their health and the impact on the environment? Join me for Chop Talk, a podcast where we'll meet the people who raise pigs and learn how the challenges they face affect us all. It's not just bacon. It's Chop Talk. Listen on iowapork.org or your favorite podcast app. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand, your sportswear of choice on Hawkeye Game Days and every day. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Windsor Windows and Doors are designed and manufactured to give you an inspired look for your next new construction or remodeling project. As your local Windsor distributor, Gilkus Jewett is here to help you get the right fit for your style and performance needs. We offer the full line of Made in the USA Windsor Windows and Doors, including wood clad, cellular PVC, and vinyl products. To get your next project started, stop into Gilcrest Jewett at one of our locations in Waukee, Coralville, Altoona, Pella, or Marion. What's the best part of turning 100? You. Our neighbors we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank. Celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. Full THC cannabis concentrates, vapes, and gummies are available in Iowa legally at select medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Search for Bud and Mary's online to get a card and find a licensed dispensary near you. Welcome back to the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm Michelle Altmeyer, and we're getting ready for Iowa Northwestern from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Green State Credit Union is proud to support Kirk's Kids for the 2023 season. Participants in Big Brothers Big Sisters programs throughout Iowa attend a Hawkeye football game, tour Kinnick Stadium, and receive team gear. With contributions totaling more than $3.7 million and staff volunteering over 3,100 hours to support local events and programs this year, Kirk's Kids is yet another way that Green State Credit Union is involved in your community. And this week, I spoke with Master Chef winner and Iowa native Grant Gillen, who says TV cooking shows sparked his passion for cooking. I remember watching Rachel Ray and Emeril and just seeing how cool cooking could be. Um, so I'd always, you know, play around with whenever my mom was cooking. I'd try to help a little bit, those kinds of things. But it, it really is it's the creativity aspect of cooking that I really, you know, came to enjoy and love. Some people sing, some people act, some people, you know, paint. I cook and that's how really I put myself out there and how I get people to know me is, is through my cooking and through my plating. So that's really what I found and still find most enticing about cooking is just being able to show, you know, my personality, why, you know, where my passion comes from and why I want to keep doing it. All right. Can you share with us maybe a favorite memory or a memorable experience from your time on the show? Certainly. So, you know, the, the biggest thing that I've taken away from the show is, is my new network of friends. Uh, we were great as a, as a cast. 
We all got along really, really well. I'm still talking to most of these people at least once a week, if not multiple times a week. But I would say, you know, as far as the one memory that just really sticks out to me, you know, aside from winning or, or winning a, a certain uh, competition was being able to cook at center field of Dodger Stadium. You know, I don't know how many people can say that, but I have a feeling it might just be the 16 of us that were able to do it that day. Um, I've never been to Dodger Stadium. We got to go through the whole thing, go around it multiple times, you know, see the inside and out, meet Freddie Freeman, uh, and then cook for, you know, the children that are a part of, of his wonderful foundation. So that was something that, I mean, just looking up all the history in that stadium, uh, Vin Scully and, and what have you. So uh, that was something I'll, I'll never forget the rest of my life. All right. Now, what was it like representing the Midwest? And what would you say sets Iowa's culinary scene apart from other regions? And what makes Iowa so special? Yeah, the, that little caveat of, of being able to represent not only Iowa, but the whole Midwest this season was a lot of fun. It was an extra weight on my shoulder, of course, because uh, I'm not just re representing my hometown or state, but each and every person from the Midwest. Uh, but what I really think that I showed people, you know, in my style and what I've picked up just from living in Iowa my entire life is that simplicity can be done really, really well. And it, you know, you don't have to, thinking outside the box is wonderful. And I love all these chefs that do push those boundaries and do all these special things. But Iowa, we're, we're, you know, we're the heart of America. We're the number one pork producer in the country. We have so many wonderful, wonderful farmers and providers that are putting together, you know, different uh, crops and livestock and, and things that you don't get everywhere in this nation. Uh, and that's really where my love of cooking comes from is being able to tell that story saying, Hey, I, I picked this fennel from this farm, or I know the person that, you know, delivered uh, this pork loin to me. All of those things I think are really important in the culinary world because at the end of the day, anybody can cook and, and a lot of people can cook really well. And so to set yourself apart, I think that story and getting people to really understand not only where I'm coming from, but where their food's coming from is important. Yeah, and we're talking with Fox's Master Chef winner, Grant Gillen. All right, what's next? Yeah, so I've got a lot of irons in the fire right now, and I'm, you know, really grateful for each and every, you know, one of these opportunities that has been presented to me after MasterChef. Uh, looking at the opportunity of doing a restaurant here in my hometown of Altoona, that was, you know, my, my idea from the get-go is I want to be able to give back to the community that's given so much to me. Uh, I'm starting by doing some pop-ups starting in December, so working with a couple local businesses to, uh, to get my food out there and say, hey, you know, Altoona, you asked for this. Uh, here we go. It's time to, to start experiencing my food. Um, so that's definitely in the, you know, in the pipeline right now, uh, working with some, some brands and uh, doing videos, of course, with my, uh, with my son each and every Friday on my social media uh, is just the joy of my week. So I, I'm, still, I'm still moving a lot of things around right now, but uh, whatever I do next, I know it'll be for me. Uh, I'll be working, you know, for myself one way or another, and it'll be something that I know I can be proud of and, and my family will be proud of as well. Our thanks to MasterChef winner and Iowa superfan Grant Gillen for joining us today. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand, the premium alternative label of choice. You're listening to Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Let's be honest, we all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's Authentic Brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the Authentic Brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at Authentic-Brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for Authentic Brand. Your Life Iowa reminds you to think before you drink this football season. Hey, Brian, thanks for inviting us to your tailgate. The kids are pumped for the game. Glad you and Amy can make it. Grab a beer. Nah, I'm good. I'm Amy's designated driver. You sure? Yeah, I want to enjoy the game and get my family home safe. That's respectable, man. Well, help me flip these burgers then. Get free resources and learn the facts about alcohol use at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, 
with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? Look no further than FS Seed. FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Your local FS crop specialist is ready to take your farm and yields to the next level. Ready to change the game with bin-busting yields at harvest? Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand. If your company's gear doesn't have the Authentic Brand label, you're missing out. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. We believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online and we'll help set your phone to us mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Welcome back to the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm Michelle Altmeyer, and we're about an hour and a half away from kickoff of Iowa and Northwestern from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Before we get a U.S. Bank scoreboard update, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Hawkeye Football. Let's go to Wrigley Field and bring in John Swisher for a look at the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Michelle, thank you very much. At U.S. Bank, they know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. They're committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of their customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Elsewhere in the Big Ten today, two third quarter scores wisconsin trailing indiana 17 to 7 nebraska and michigan state are tied in east lansing at 10 halftime rutgers is edging ohio state 9 to 7. 230 games number nine penn state at maryland minnesota hosts illinois tonight at 6 30 it's purdue at number two michigan and ann arbor other games of interest drake is leading maris at uh, halftime 7-0 northern iowa hosts western illinois inside the dome at one o'clock and iowa state hosts number 22 kansas tonight at six o'clock inside jack trice stadium top 25 texas over kansas state 17 to 7 at halftime Ole miss over texas is a m 20 to 14 and clemson all over notre dame 24 to 7 tennessee beating up on yukon 35 to 3 in the world of Iowa Hawkeye sports, Iowa field hockey losing to Maryland 2-0 on Thursday. They wait for the selection show 9 o'clock on Sunday night. Iowa soccer will compete in the championship game at Ohio State against number 12 Wisconsin at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Iowa volleyball falling to Michigan last night 3-0. They take the trip to East Lansing today. They'll take on the Spartans tonight. As Iowa women's basketball coming up on Monday, 6-3. FDU is in town to take on the Iowa women. Iowa women's wrestling at East Stroudsburg University at 3.30 today. And Iowa men's wrestling uh, tonight at 8 o'clock. They're at Cal Baptist. Congratulations to all those semifinal winners in the Iowa high school uh, football tournament. They advance on the semifinals starting on Wednesday with eight-player game. And it goes Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That is a look at the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Michelle, back to you. Thanks, Swish. John, we'll keep you updated on scores throughout the day here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. And Hawkeye Football is brought to you by the University of Iowa Healthcare, who has the game plan for your same-day healthcare needs. If you need treatment, 
For a common illness or injury, visit one of the several UI Quick Care or Urgent Care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help you get back in the game. UI Healthcare is a proud sponsor of your Iowa Hawkeyes. And that does it for me this week, and I'll see you next week in Krause Family Plaza for Military Hero Appreciation Day against Rutgers. Our authentic brand game day show continues after this with Rob Brooks and the Hawkeye Roundtable. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. When the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawkeyes win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com slash BWW. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official chicken wing of NCAA football and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a thing that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Want to support Iowa's corn farmers? It's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go, Hawks. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic brand. From game day looks to everyday wear, insist on the authentic brand label. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Oil Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep. We're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! When the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawkeyes win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com slash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals from 3 to 6 p.m. And our after dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday features bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel knots, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official chicken wing of NCAA football and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Their line of full THC cannabis products give me pain relief after an NFL career in a terrifying car accident. Visit their dispensary or learn more at BudMary.com. Welcome back to Wrigley Field as we count down to kick off Iowa and Northwestern, a series that began back in 18. 18- 97. Rob Brooks along with the play-by-play voice of the Northwestern Wildcats, Dave Ennett. And Dave, um, there's quite a scene here. Uh, You're used to it. Uh, This is the third time that Northwestern has played here, but uh, really looking forward to it. And uh, it's one of those novelty games, isn't it? It, Well, it is. and It's special. And it may not be as much of a novelty uh, for this team going forward because with the new stadium coming and plans to to, – take down the old stadium it looks like uh, we're going to be vagabonds the next couple of years and probably be playing some games here although none of that's been decided yet but I, it is a, a special atmosphere i think when we played illinois here in 2010 and everybody had to play coming towards the west side because of the space situation uh, it was I, I think very unique and it was a new experience for everybody when we 
came back here in 2021 against Purdue, they had redone the ballpark. They'd taken out the dugout. Uh, there was plenty of space. It was a normal football game and a great atmosphere. And I would imagine that's what we're going to see today. Got some great weather, no doubt about it. The stands uh, will be packed. And uh, David Braun uh, certainly has some Iowa ties. Uh, coached at Northern Iowa a couple of years before heading to North Dakota State. Um, talk about the job that he has done this year. Well, I think the fact that he has adjusted to being a head coach, number one, being a head coach at the Power Five level, number two, and doing it in the Big Ten uh, under very difficult circumstances, I, I think is something that really is a testament to the kind of guy he is, the kind of coach he is. I mean, no one knew what to expect from David Braun when he was elevated to the interim head coaching position this summer, and uh, I'm not sure, quite frankly, he knew exactly what to expect. But you can just tell he's he's gotten better. Uh, maybe it's like with a player, Rob, where they say the game starts to slow down when you're a sophomore and then a junior and a senior, and maybe things have slowed down for him a little bit as, as he's gone deeper into the season. But he seems very sure of himself when he's speaking with the media, when he's around his players. Uh, he doesn't seem like a rookie head coach, and I think he's done a marvelous job. And, look, there are a lot of people weren't sure this team was going to win one or two games, let alone four, for the chance to win some more here in November. So, yeah, I think it's, he's done an outstanding job. And a big victory last week against uh, Maryland. Uh, Maryland came right down the field, scored first. He thought, okay, boy, this might be a long afternoon. But no panic in the Wildcats. Ended up playing very well. Well, their defense has played well. I mean, I'm not saying their Iowa's defense, but but they played well. And after they gave up that, that first touchdown, then they go three and out with a couple of sacks on their first possession. And you're thinking, well, this really could be a, a long day. But then Bryce Gallagher makes a play, a strip sack. They go in and score. And that completely changed the game. And I think that that's something this team has, has been very resilient, as evidenced by their comeback win over Minnesota when they're down by 21 points in the fourth quarter, come back and win and, and beat the Gophers in overtime. You know, I think you could see then that this team plays really hard. They may not win them all, but they easily could have beaten Nebraska two weeks ago, uh, probably should have won that game, and, uh, you know, won a big game last week against a very good team. They were 10-10 at halftime with Penn State also at home and in the game in the fourth quarter before Nittany Lions uh, got a couple late touchdowns after the game was pretty well decided. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a better team, I think, than people are aware. I'm not saying that's uh, that they're going to play well today or that they're going to win this game, but... Uh, I certainly think this is a very tough game to predict based on what these teams have done coming in. Hawkeye Hydration Stations inside Kinnick Stadium are brought to you by Delta Dental of Iowa, Iowa Corn, and Pivot Bio with locations throughout the concourse. We encourage you to bring reusable water bottles and fill up with fresh drinking water all season long. Delta Dental of Iowa, farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board, and Pivot Bio care about the water we share. More of the Authentic Brand Game Day show continues after the break. Authentic Brand, if your company's gear doesn't have the Authentic Brand label, you're missing out. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Back at Kinnick Stadium this year are Hawkeye Hydration Stations. Brought to you by our partners at Delta Dental of Iowa, Iowa Corn, and Pivot Bio. Located at multiple areas on the stadium concourse, Hawkeye fans are encouraged to bring their reusable bottles and fill up with fresh drinking water all season. When you visit one of the hydration stations, be sure to learn more about the important clean water initiatives of each of our partners. Delta Dental of Iowa, farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board, along with Pivot Bio, care about the water we share. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, 
Corn Grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. This is the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label. It's a statement. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Low rates and high yields from Spraytech Fertilizers. Yes, get low rates and high yields from Spraytech's Full Tech, the most complete adjuvant on the market. Full Tech offers burn control, better fixation on leaves, better homogenization in the tank mix, mixed drift control, better spreadability, and more. Full Tech is changing the way you treat your crops. Get higher yields and more money in your bank account with Full Tech from Spray Tech. Call 515 252 7777 for Full Tech details or visit spraytech.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Rob Brooks back with Dave Ennett as we count down to kick off Iowa and Northwestern. Uh, Dave, quarterback um, uh, Brandon Sullivan, uh, what are his strengths? Uh, certainly it uh, looked like he played well last week. Well, he did play well last week. It was his best game. And, and I think the thing that we started to see last year, he got hurt uh, last year after he had assumed the starting quarterback job and suffered a season-ending injury against Minnesota. But, you know, he's he's – Playing with more confidence now, he came in after uh, Ben Bryant, who was playing very well, got hurt in the Penn State game, and uh, Sullivan's been the starter ever since. And I think, you know, he's shaken off the rust. He is, he's a guy who can make plays with his legs. He can extend plays with his legs. Uh, we've seen that quite a few times the last couple of games, and I think that that's probably the dimension that he brings that this offense really needs. And he's been... I, he's been terrific. You know, is, is he going to make some mistakes? Sure. And he's been sacked a lot and hit a lot. And sometimes uh, he's had an, a tendency to hang on to the ball too long. So I think he's learning now to make better decisions with the football. Hasn't turned it over, you know, which is was a big problem for this football team last year. They've only got six turnovers. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think he's a, he's a guy who is very capable of doing the job. And, you know, I think he's anxious for the opportunity. Other side of the football, you mentioned the defense has been playing well. Who's kind of stood out to you? Well, Gallagher, certainly. I mean, he's the heart and soul of the defense. But then uh, the, the will linebacker, Xander Mueller, another guy who, who by the way, is a, a diehard Cubs fan. And I talked to him this week. He is so excited. He played here in the game in 21, but he's really excited about playing in this game today. And uh, he's, he's had a couple of sacks in the game against Nebraska or, or two against Howard, I guess, uh, had a big game last week. He's the guy who stopped Maryland on fourth and goal at the one by batting down a Tungo Vailoa pass. So uh, he's played well. I think the back seven are really strong. I mean, I, I really do. I think uh, the corners, the safeties, Coco Azuma makes a game-saving play last week. And I think if you look at the defensive line, they've lost some guys. They have a depth issue there because of injury. But the guys who've stepped in have done a nice job. And uh, Aiden Hubbard, who's the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week, had three sacks last week against Maryland. So, you know, they 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 may not it may not be a strength, but they have last time I checked something like 16 sacks, which you know has not been a strong point for them. So, you know, I think o overall the defense and David is the defensive coordinator also. So he's not only serving as head coach, but he's also calling the defensive plays. And you know, I think I think a lot of it has to do with the job he's done. Yeah, terrific coach, no doubt about that. Well. Looking at the field, this is not what I saw in pictures earlier this week, huh? Some some of the white stuff out there? Yeah, yeah. They, we, we had a little snow a few days ago. And I have to tell you, of the three games that we will have played here, this is the best day weather-wise. I remember it was very cold for both the Purdue and Illinois games. And so, uh, you know, this will be uh, a, a great day for football. The, the It's going to be a fast track. I haven't been on the field yet, but... 
you know, they always talk about the field at, at Wrigley, and uh, you know it's natural grass, and it's well-groomed and well-cared for, and it hasn't been used, by the way, in, in, a, in a bit. So uh, it, it's going to be, a, I think, a really fun day, and I know there's tons of Hawkeye fans. I saw them when I was driving to the ballpark. They're, they're, they're spilling out into the, the neighborhood, and I would expect that. I mean, look, Iowa always uh, sells out Kinnick Stadium, and, and quite frankly, Northwestern has had a tough time this year from an attendance standpoint because I think people kind of came to conclusions about what this team was going to be ahead of time. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of crowd we have and how into the game they will be, and I, I suspect they will be. Dave, great to see you. Appreciate your time. Anytime, Rob. Good to see you. Thank you. Hawk fans, cheer for those Mershman Seeds quarterback sacks by the black and gold during this afternoon's game. A $150 donation to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital will be made for every Hawkeye sack by Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. This is the Authentic Brand Game Day Show. When it comes to quality, comfort, and exceptional style, insist on the Authentic Brand label. Embrace authenticity in your wardrobe with Authentic Brand Collegiate and Corporate Branded Attire. The favored choice nationwide. This is Hawkeye Football from Nearfield. Hi, this is Hawkeye coach Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success is not a given. There will be challenges, but with hard work, there are no limits. For years, Iowa farmers have believed in that too. Farmers are the backbone of this country and their dedication to bringing us food and energy has never been more important. That's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate America's farmers. To learn more about ANF and pick up some great ANF merchandise, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What did you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online, and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. This is the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Authentic brand, the preferred label of choice for game day looks and everyday styles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. Get ready, Hawkeye fans. Hudson Southside Tap is your ultimate destination for Hawkeye game days. Swing by and savor our delicious House Bloody Marys for just $6. But that's not all. This year, we're proud to announce that Hudson's is the official host of the Hawkeye Radio Network postgame show, happening right after every home game. Cheer on the Hawkeyes while enjoying the fantastic atmosphere and great company at Hudson's. Find us conveniently located on Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Hudson Southside Tap, where Hawkeye spirit comes alive. Go Hawks! Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Open All is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at openall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your med card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online.
Welcome back to the Authentic Brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. I'm Gary Dolphin at Wrigley Field in Chicago, this historic venue hosting Iowa and the Northwestern Wildcats. Uh, the last time the Hawkeyes played a Big Ten opponent in a baseball stadium was November 24th, 1904, a Thanksgiving game with the Minnesota Golden Gophers at Athletic Park in Cedar Rapids. The Gophers won 11 to nothing. The last time the Hawks, of course, played in a baseball stadium was the 2017 Pinstripe Bowl in Yankee Stadium, a 27-20 win over Boston College. Wrigley Field, Yankee Stadium, Fenway Park, uh, all pioneers of uh, America's game. And speaking of Pioneer, Pioneer is proud to partner with the Hawkeyes and the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the Pioneer Heroes game on November 24th honoring local heroes who positively impact the community and stand as an inspiration to others. Pioneer, proudly celebrating our local communities. Iowa basketball opened its season this week with a 30-point victory over Quincy in an exhibition. Although it doesn't count in the win column, the Hawks displayed what could become their trademark over a 30-game run. Equal parts upperclassmen and newcomers, returnees Patrick McCaffrey, Tony Perkins, and Peyton Sanford, are in the leadership roles. With a recruiting class that includes a couple transfers and a highly regarded class of four freshmen, optimism is high for the Hawkeyes to finish in the Big Ten's upper division and a seventh NCAA tournament bid in the last nine seasons. Fran McCaffrey is within a dozen victories of surpassing Tom Davis as Iowa's all-time winningest coach. McCaffrey likes this mix as well as any roster he's put together. I've got a number of players who have proven to me starting in June that they deserve playing time. You know, it's not, you know, a six or seven or eight-man roster. where We've got over ten guys that I think deserve to play, have an opportunity to play, and that's hard. Uh, so I'll do the best I can in terms of trying to be fair, but at the same time get the key guys as many minutes as I can. Fran, half the roster returns from a year ago, um, and you've got eight new guys, six scholarship players. So it's a nice nice mix, nice blend, huh? I think so. I mean, we got four freshmen, two transfers, two walk-ons uh, that are new, uh, but we have you know essentially three double-figure scorers returning. We lost quite a bit in the front line. You know, when you think about Connor, Chris, and Phillip playing 3,000 minutes, uh, all were all league players. Uh, that's a lot. You know, when you think, you know, Phillip was 25, Connor was 24, and, and Chris was either 22 or 23. Uh, you know, they're old guys that, you know, they, they didn't rattle. They didn't rattle on the road, they didn't rattle on TV, on big crowds. And, uh, you know, this group here, you know, it, has to step up. The guys that, that uh, you know, last year had a certain role will have a different role this year, starting with who's going to be the leader. Uh, it was Connor's team last year. You know, and the year before that, it was, it was, it was Connor and Jabo. Uh, you know, so, you know, can turn, Tony and Peyton and Patrick step into that role? That's what we need to see. Coach, you talked earlier this summer. Uh, you felt it would be your biggest team. Uh, and your deepest team. That's a pretty good combination. And and sandwiched between the old and the new uh, are uh, these two sophomores, uh, DeSante Bowen and, and Josh Dix, two guys that uh, I know you really liked in the recruiting process. Uh, what do you expect out of them? I expect them to play like veteran guys. You know, I said this to you over the summer when we talked. I probably did them both a disservice last year by not playing them more. Uh, I went with my veteran group last year. I should have played those two guys more. But they grew and they played a fair amount. Uh, they had great summers, both of them. Uh, we started Josh the other day. I'm going to start DeSante tonight. I don't want to get into that. He starts one time. He starts another game. I don't want you know, their roommates, their best friends. They're both really good players. And they both are going to be really, really effective for us on a number of different levels. So uh, I'm excited about those two guys moving forward. Seven Hawkeyes finished in double figures in the win over Quincy. Eleven players scored. Ten logged double-digit minutes. One of those is six foot nine inch forward Ben Cricky, a fifth-year senior who led the Missouri Valley Conference in scoring last year at 21 points a game while adding six rebounds. Hear more of my chat with Coach McCaffrey and Hawkeye newcomer forward Ben Cricky on this week's Fight for Iowa podcast, now available on HawkeyeSports.com or wherever you get your podcast. 
Hawk fans, you can drive your team to a victory this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any Quick Star location. Fueled up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick Star, a proud partner of Hawkeye football. We're about an hour away from kickoff. Iowa Northwestern on the lakefront in Chicago at historic Wrigley Field. This has been the authentic brand Hawkeye Game Day Show. Ed Podolak and I are live in a minute with the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hello, Hawkeye fans. This is Bruce Gurlman, and I own Jethro's Barbecue. Have you heard the news? It's really big news. Jethro's Barbecue is now open in Coralville. That's right, across from the Hawkeye Softball Diamonds on the Coralville Strip. Jethro's is your game day headquarters. Call ahead and order your tailgate barbecue from Jethro's. Before the game, during the game, after the game, stop in Jethro's and eat my amazing slow-smoked wings and my world-famous baby back ribs. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Schneider Graphics is a family-owned company providing full vinyl graphic services for over 30 years. We proudly provide vehicle wraps, fleet graphics, wall murals, signs, banners, and more using quality 3M products. Large or small, Schneider Graphics can help you with your next project from design to installation. As a proud partner of the University of Iowa, you can see our work on game day on the Hawkeye team bus and the gates and sidewalks of Kinnick Stadium. Schneider Graphics, located in Des Moines, service throughout Iowa. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. There's no THC cap on Iowa medical cannabis. And getting your card is fast and easy, entirely online. Get your med card today. Visit BudMary.com. Hawkeye Football is brought to you by Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also by Bud and Mary's, medical cannabis farmed and formulated in Iowa. Iowa Farm Bureau, who would like to remind you to support America's farmers. Check out americaneedsfarmers.org. And by SeatGeek, official ticket marketplace of the Iowa Hawkeyes. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. Very often at uh, Historic, uh, the inimitable Wrigley Field in Chicago, where the Hawkeyes and Northwestern Wildcats will uh, kick off here in a little little more than an hour, and uh, it's going to be a great event. Uh, so many hundreds of thousands of alums of both schools and the Big Ten really live in and around Chicago, and every seat is occupied today without a doubt. Beth Getz now joins us, Hawkeye Athletic Director. Beth, as always, is sponsored by the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. 
Uh, I'd ask if you'd been to Wrigley Field, but you, you grew up a Cardinal fan. I know you have to have been here a couple times. I did. I have. I have. Saw some great, uh, great uh, Cards Cub series here and in St. Louis. So, um, uh, you know, you always got to respect your, your competitors. Um, and what a great rivalry that is. But uh, certainly great to be here today. Well, there's not been a better rivalry. I mean, uh, the Cubs and the Cardinals are like Iowa, Iowa State. I mean, they <laughs> genuine right? dislike for each other, but that <laughs> respect, right? It is. Yep. It's a. Co <laughs> it's it's certainly a combination of both, and uh, you know, uh, parks being so close to each other, and uh, you know, I think everybody's probably been in. Uh, in both at, at some point or another, but yeah, it's uh, one of those great ones. But today it's going to look great in black and gold. It sure is, and we hope it's victorious black and gold. Beth, uh, earlier this week, uh, or the end of la last weekend, Brian Ferentz learned that he will not be retained, will not be back next year, uh, 15 years as a player and, a, and an assistant coach. And uh, uh, regardless of whose side you fall on, uh, I think what people uh, we're concerned most with uh, is why the the timing of the announcement uh, I know you've been asked that before yeah of course and and uh, you know certainly appreciate the the question and as we've said a few times now I mean we're gonna leave those details uh, private between between all of us and I'll just say again how um, you know how grateful I am and I know every Hawkeye fan is for all the passion and uh, contributions that uh, Brian has made um, in as many roles um, uh, throughout his time here as a student athlete and an alum and, and obviously now as a coaching staff. But uh, focus right now is, is obviously on cheering these guys on today uh, to a win and, and for a successful season. Fair enough. Uh, speaking of the future uh, for a moment, uh, the, the uh, dates and opponents uh, for uh, the new look Big Ten going forward uh, were announced this week and I was peeking at that earlier this morning uh, at Maryland. Uh, at UCLA, at Ohio State, Washington. The Huskies come to Kinnick. There's two buys uh, sandwiched in there among uh, among the games uh, that start August 31st. So here it comes, ready or not. Yeah, that's for sure, right? You look at the schedule and you're like, whew, these are, these are tough. They're all tough, right? Um, it just speaks to what a high-level conference uh, Big Ten uh, is, and, and adding these uh, four teams only makes it a little bit deeper. So uh, really excited to for all of us to put our eyes on that schedule. Um, really grateful we're starting off right with the two by two by year makes it a little bit easier and um, I, you know I know everybody's a little more comfortable for uh, those of us going out west that we get a buy game afterwards yeah. I think that will assist but it's you know it's an exciting it's an exciting lineup a tough lineup for sure um, but one I know uh, student athletes and everybody will be excited to see how it plays out yeah I appreciate the, the conference giving us a bye week in between at Maryland and at UCLA uh, Hawk fans are checking that credit card for those frequent flyer miles because <laughs> uh, uh, there's I think Eddie Podolak was saying we got 5,000 miles in, in two weeks of uh, trips but That's it'll right. be fun and and that is the state of the game that is the nature of the game uh, with TV being what it is and uh, you know we're proud to be the Hawkeye radio network but we understand uh, with the Pac-12 and, and the Big Ten uh, essentially merging uh, this is the future, and it's going to be exciting with new rivalries, and we still have the protected rivalries, which is important. Really is for our fans. I mean, as as you know, um, just geographically, but, I mean, those rivalries go back a, a long time, and it's great to be able to preserve those. Let's, uh, before we let you go uh, and enjoy the afternoon here at Wrigley, uh, uh, field hockey, uh, top 10 ranked field hockey lost 2 nothing to number 8 Maryland. The Hawks were ranked 7th at the Big Ten tournament this week. Uh, and uh, soccer, way to go, Dave Diani and crew. Uh, they kicked their way into the championship game against Wisconsin. That'll be at, I, uh, at Ohio State tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Congratulations to Dave. Congratulations to uh, Coach Salushi on a great year, and uh, uh, they got to get a bid. Well, I, yeah, I don't know how you leave our team out, but, um, you know, uh, Sunday night selection show, so we'll find out for sure. And uh, the field, as we all know in field hockey, uh, the tournament field, that is, um, you know, it, it, it's really small, so there aren't a lot of at-large bids, and, and so there's always um, a little bit of anxiety um, when you're on the outside. But we've got, I mean, incredible wins over, uh, you know, North Carolina, North Carolina Rutgers, Rutgers yeah, um, yeah. And, and many others. So, um, uh, you know, I, I just uh, I hope we're going to see that, and I know they'll be ready to go next week and you just can't say enough about uh what what dave's group did um i mean he just I, I, they had them ready to play i thought he you know tactically had a, a really good game plan going in when you're playing somebody back they made some great adjustments um in, against michigan state and then to come out and beat a great penn state um, team was just really exciting. So um, looking forward to uh, getting a win here today, flying out tomorrow and being there and uh, 
for them to, to raise, a uh, raise a trophy. You are a busy lady, <laughs> but keep it up. That's, that's why you're in the position you're in. Thanks for your time and your candor. Appreciate it. Enjoy the game. Go Hawks. All right, go Hawks. That's Beth Getz, Hawkeye Athletic Director, sponsored by the Iowa City Area Sports Commission, responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments from state volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Every year, corn growers have a choice to make, and that choice is like a stake in the ground. One that says staying independent, staying family-owned means something on your farm. So plant your independence and plant Wiffles. Coming up next, we've got more of our Wiffles Hybrids pregame show. This is the Hawkeye Radio Network from Learfield. When the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawkeyes win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com slash BWW. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official chicken wing of NCAA football and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. How would you like to be able to listen to the Hawkeye Radio Network while synced up to your TV in the comfort of your own home? Go to SyncMyGame.com to find out how. That's SyncMyGame.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. Right now, you are not at a sold-out Carver Hawkeye Arena watching Iowa rain deep threes, but you could be. You're not having an I can't believe what I just saw a moment, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience with Countdown to Carver from the Iowa Lottery. Whether it's the excitement of women's basketball, men's hoops, or wrestling, don't just watch the action. Be at the center of it all. Enter your ticket and see details at IALottery.com slash VIP. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Iowa football comes off a bye week in a bottleneck with Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Nebraska at the top of the Big Ten West Division standings all at 3-2. and two. One game behind that gridlock is this week's rival, the Northwestern Wildcats. The Hawks have had an extra week to stew on a, a bitter loss to Minnesota at Kinnick Stadium and watched uh, Floyd's pigtail head north for this year anyway, but as the old saying goes, don't let one tough loss turn into two. Good afternoon, everybody. Gary Dolphin with former Hawkeye great Ed Podolak, and uh, uh, the way that Minnesota game ended, uh, no truer words were ever spoken. Don't let one tough loss turn into two, and I think the bye week couldn't have come at a better period. Well, sometimes uh, though you stew on it for two weeks. That's the only thing that um, a bye week does uh, after a loss. But um, a lot of events this week, and uh, I'm one of them is coming in and playing at Wrigley. I mean, um, it's uh, a once-in-a-lifetime deal for these players, and uh, with the history in this stadium, oh boy, it's uh, it's quite a 
quite a spectacle. Dick Butkus used to stomp around and tear up the turf here, and Gail Sayers would glide up and down Wrigley Field. Uh, what, no matter what the weather was, uh, uh, there was nobody like uh, the Kansas Comet. And so there's, there's a lot of football history here, Ed. People sometimes forget. Uh, the Bears did move down Lakeshore Drive to Soldier Field in the early 70s. I know, I know you played there, but uh, yeah, it is. Uh, there's a lot of history beyond baseball. Uh, now they have a ton of concerts here uh, on an annual basis. Uh, we saw Buffett here uh, a few years back. Uh, the late great Jimmy Buffett. Uh, uh, you heard Beth Getz uh, say a few minutes ago here with us that she's not going to get into the details of the timing of the Brian Ferentz announcement uh, this week. Uh, in general, uh, your thoughts on this week? Well, it, um, you know, anytime you have something like that happen to your team in the middle of the season, you're hoping that um, you can get past it. I think Coach was very blunt with that this week. Um, it's just another hiccup that you have to address when you've got uh, kids trying to get well because they had a week off trying to catch up on their courses and classroom stuff and um, it all just has to fit into the same box and so we'll see today how that box fits there's not much to fix on the uh, defense and special teams for the hawkeyes but offense yeah uh, for sure starting with 11 net yards rushing against uh, minnesota uh, and you know that's a week after they ran for 200 uh, up in Madison against the Badgers and, and Minnesota put seven eight nine guys in the box at times and uh, you can bet that uh, Northwestern's going to at least show that look a few times and dare uh, uh, Deacon uh, Deacon Hill to, to beat them through the air well that's that's for sure and uh, you know the head coach here was a defensive coordinator uh, so he's looked at all those films and um, that eight, nine people in the box seems to work pretty good. So I'd expect to see some of that today. Ed Podolak, Gary Dolphin at Wrigley Field. Now, we're, we're situated right behind home plate, which would be great if we were calling a baseball game, but that's also the corner of one end zone. So they're, uh, they're running from the, uh, the Cubs, the home dugout along the third baseline, uh, all the way out to the right field wall. So the majority of the seats in the stadium are going to have a great view of this game. Yeah, you know, and I got to say, uh, the last baseball stadium we did a game in was the famous New York uh, Yankee Stadium, and these seats are a lot better than those. Uh, we, the blimp was between us and the field back there, <laughs> right? But uh, no, these these seats are fine. You mentioned Northwestern's interim head coach David Braun. Uh, he was hired this past offseason to run the Wildcats defense after winning two national championships as coordinator at North Dakota State. And then as the summer progressed into fall camp, player hazing and other accusations were leveled at former head coach Pat Fitzgerald, who did a great job here over 17 years. And there's an investigation that continues to this day. There's been lawsuits and countersuits, and uh, it was just a mess uh, in the public. But, Braun, here the Wildcats are 4-4. Four and four. Uh, a big win last week over Maryland uh, uh, up in Evanston. Uh, and this team's uh, one game behind the uh, top of the uh, leaderboard where there's three or four uh, in a log jam yeah, uh, in and, the West Division. And using really a rookie quarterback, he played a little bit last year, but he got thrown into the fire this week and or this year. And I've been impressed with him. He can throw it and run it. And so you've got to really defend both uh, against him. You speak of the Irishman, Brendan Sullivan. We'll see what Phil Parker has in store for him today. Ed will be back with his keys to the game shortly. Right now, we're going to uh, take a trip down memory lane in the Hawkeye historical winning moment. Presented by Riverside Casino and Golf. Stop by for a relaxing massage at the spa. Fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood and so much more. Thanks to the Keel family for supporting Hawkeye football. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort located minutes south of Iowa City. This is the third time the Hawkeye guys will have played in a baseball stadium uh, now you know about the pinstripe bowl yankee stadium uh, ed mentioned that a second ago that was in 2017 and iowa fought to a 27 20 victory over the boston college eagles the hawkeyes played minnesota in 1904 on thanksgiving at uh, 
the former athletic park in Cedar Rapids, site of the present-day Roosevelt uh, Middle School. That's just a few blocks northwest of First Avenue as you cross the Cedar River in downtown Cedar Rapids. Later, it became, uh, it became Hill Park. Hill Park, and then Veterans Memorial Stadium was built in the 50s. And the Cedar Rapids uh, minor league baseball team uh, was born. And, and uh, whether it was the Reds or the Colonels, they're still there today. Uh, representing uh, uh, baseball in, in uh, that part of the uh, state of Iowa. Well, it's, uh, it's history. The Hawks have played twice against Big Ten opponents in baseball stadiums, uh, and today it's the inimitable, inimitable, uh, inimitable. <laughs> that means it's, it's incomparable. Why not just say incomparable? <laughs> A Wrigley Field where the Cubs call home for most of the year. It's, uh, it's quite the sight to see. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. When it comes to your seed corn partner, you've got a choice. At Wiffles, we've made a choice, too. A choice to remain independent. A choice to remain farm family owned. A choice to stay American. Make a statement. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. Up next, we'll hear from Northwestern interim head coach David Braun on what he sees in the Hawkeyes. That's coming up here on the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye football. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, fiercely independent since 1946. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Welcome back to the Lakefront in Chicago, Wrigley Field, where the Hawks and the Wildcats uh, play Big Ten football in just a little while. Northwestern started this uh, 
a sometimes junket uh, down Lakeshore Drive back in 2010. This is their third game hosted here. And uh, first since 2021, of course, it's Iowa's first ever game uh, at Wrigley Field. Northwestern's lost just one home game this year. That to Penn State, 41-13 in Evanston. Uh, They've also uh, defeated uh, uh, Texas El Paso. They won in overtime over Minnesota and also have victories over Howard, a squeaker 23-20, and last week defeated the Maryland Terrapins 33-27. They lost on opening day at Rutgers, then at Duke, and uh, most recently lost at Nebraska. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Each offering guest spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. Stay where the Hawkeye Radio Network team stays. The Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Northwestern interim head coach David Braun was hired this past offseason to run the Wildcats defense after uh, winning two national championships as coordinator at North Dakota State. As the summer progressed into fall camp, player hazing and other accusations were leveled at former head coach Pat Fitzgerald and following an investigation by the school, Fitzgerald was fired with cause. That episode continues its way through the legal system. Now, here Braun is elevated to head coach. And after a rough start, the Wildcats have improved and rallied to level 500 at four wins, four defeats in facing the Hawkeyes today at Wrigley Field, where many of his boyhood heroes ranged from the infield dirt to the ivy walls. First baseball game I ever went to, a professional baseball game I ever went to, was with my dad at Wrigley Field. You know, drove down, grabbed a hot dog on the way. You know, Mark Grace, Sean Dunstan, Joe Girardi, all those guys are still playing. Ryan Sandberg, uh, remember sitting in the, you know, uh, yeah, you know, walking up the stadium, parking in the back alley. I mean, all all those things, and you know, an opportunity to uh, be be a part of a football game at Wrigley Field. What a unique, special experience to 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 say that I'm getting an opportunity to coach in that game. Uh, pretty pretty special. Really excited for uh, our fan base to experience it, our players to experience this. Um, you know, really excited for 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 my two boys to get an opportunity to experience this. It's gonna be it's gonna be a special day. It's all football today. Northwestern's defense has come a long way. Opening day at Rutgers, the Wildcats gave up two 16-play, 90-yard drives for touchdowns in a 24-7 loss to the Scarlet Knights. Last week, the Wildcats stopped Maryland and quarterback Tunga Valea three times on the goal line, turning the Terps over on downs, preserving a 33-27 victory. And Aiden Hubbard had half of the Wildcats' six sacks and was named Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. Braun feels that Hubbard is emblematic of the team's commitment to improving fundamentally, technique-wise, and being more physical. I I, I think what we're starting to see are a lot of the things, I've mentioned this with some of our other guys in the program, but some things that we're starting to see are the things that we've seen out of of Aiden in practice, you know, on a consistent basis, had a great fall camp, has really developed as a pass rusher, starting to really mature in terms of just his preparation and, and the urgency that he plays with. You know, I, I think last year when you when you turned on the film, or even in spring ball, it, you know, Aiden was doing what he was supposed to. But did it did it have that urgency? Did it have that motor? Did it have that edge that you're looking for out of a a big time Big Ten defensive lineman? And and I, I think you're starting to see that maturing process from a young man that we're expecting to not only perform but also help lead that room. And uh, for him to to have production like that on Saturday uh, is really exciting, but but not surprising. He's uh he's put in a lot of work. Hubbard has four sacks on the year and four and a half tackles for loss. Offensively, quarterback Brendan Sullivan replaced uh, injured Cincinnati transfer Ben Bryant three weeks ago and has been remarkable. Last week against the Terrapins, Sullivan completed 16 of 23 passes for a career-high 265 yards and two touchdowns. He's throwing at a 65% completion rate with five touchdowns. Braun credits offensive coordinator Mike Bajakian for Sullivan's development and for the fact that his quarterback is a warrior. And then you go back and you watch the film and you, you know, evaluate where he needs to be better. And, um, you know, Coach Bajakian expects a lot out of Brendan. Brendan expects a lot out of Brendan. And, uh, you know, I, I think we did a really good job this week of um, getting getting Sully comfortable, um, performed much better around him on offense. And also, you know, with, with the play calling, I think did some really good things to just just find ways to get the ball out of his hands on time, which allowed for him to get into a rhythm. And uh, 
you know, play play his best football. We'll, we'll all be challenged this week in, in so many different ways. Uh, th- this Iowa defense is, uh, my gosh, a model for consistency and um, just the way that Coach Parker and the rest of that staff, I mean, it's it's impressive. Um, we're going to have to detail our work this week. Um, I, I think the things that we're going to hold Sully accountable to is just, just his process, you know, and, and where his eyes are at and his progressions and making good sound decisions, protecting the football. David Braun says you don't find and losses in the stat line, but you can find some pretty impressive numbers. Northwestern running back Cam Porter is just 35 yards away from 1,000 for his career. Likewise, the Hawkeyes' LeSean Williams needs 47 yards to reach that desirable mark. Thanks again to Northwestern interim coach David Braun. Senex is proud to celebrate University of Iowa football. Fuel your fandom with your favorite snacks from your local Senex station. Hawkeye pride, powered locally. The University of Iowa Sports Medicine Injury Update with Rob Brooks is next. You're listening to the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Hi, this is Hawkeye coach Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success is not a given. There will be challenges, but with hard work, there are no limits. For years, Iowa farmers have believed in that too. Farmers are the backbone of this country, and their dedication to bringing us food and energy has never been more important. That's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate America's farmers. To learn more about ANF and pick up some great ANF merchandise, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I think you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point of sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point of sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Would you like to be able to listen to the Hawkeye Radio Network while synced up to your TV in the comfort of your own home? Go to SyncMyGame.com to find out how. That's SyncMyGame.com. When the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawkeyes win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com slash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals from 3 to 6 p.m. And our after dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday features bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel knots, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official chicken wing of NCAA football and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. When you're out of town and want to keep up with the Hawkeyes and other college sports, be sure to download the new Varsity Network app. Available for both Apple and Android. Listen to college sports live with the Varsity Network app. Rob Brooks on the Iowa sideline, right around the 50-yard line. Welcome back to Wrigley Field on the University of Iowa Sports Medicine Injury Update. We'll uh, get to those names in a few minutes. Now joined by Dr. Brian Wolf uh, talking about tendonitis, and that can be a tough one, especially during the season. Knees and Achilles most prevalent? Yeah, we see a lot of it. Uh, you know, and as we get into the, the winter sports, we see a ton of it in basketball. You know, the classic jumper's knee or... 
um, you know, where people just have ice bags on their knees and things. Uh, but we see it a lot in football and some of our uh, fall sports, cross country and runners and, and so forth. Uh, you know, it's just a little bit of a kind of a wear and tear and inflammation uh, on those tendons that are very active during running and jumping. Is it mostly just a pain tolerance issue? Well, a lot of it can be that. I mean, there's a lot of benefit of working on flexibility and making sure the athlete is really, you know, doing rehab and things to, to try to treat the problem. Often some anti-inflammatory medicines can help, but we have, you know, for, for bad cases, uh, a lot of development has happened with uh, ultrasound based treatments where there can be some needling or scraping or even injection of medications like platelet rich plasma or other things uh, and depending on the time of the year and how much time we have to to get them better some of those things come into play and then after the season rest right yes <laughs> it's usually a rest is the best uh, medicine absolutely okay, well we're into november it's pretty nice out here it's, it's a great place let's have fun today all right thanks dr wolf on the university of iowa sports medicine injury update um as uh, kirk ferentz uh, said earlier this week the hawkeyes are in pretty good shape um out today still a defense Defensive back at TJ Hall. He's played in three games this year. Also on the um, unavailable list, running back TJ Washington, who has played in three games so far this year. And I see Luke Lachey on the sideline, uh, really progressing and uh, now is in a, a walking boot and using crutches, but putting some weight on that right leg. That's certainly good to see. One key player for Northwestern on the um, questionable list, tight end Duke Olgus, as um, He's uh, played in all eight games, was injured last week, and is questionable today. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You are listening to Iowa Hawkeye Football. Today's field conditions report is brought to you by your... Iowa Kubota dealers like Raider Outdoor Power in Dubuque. Well, as uh, been mentioned uh, throughout the broadcast today, there has been football played here at Wrigley Field. Uh, this building opened in 1914. The Chicago Bears played here from 1921 to 1970, and previous to that, the NFL's Cardinals, 1931 to 1939. So the configuration, uh, the field has one end zone left of home plate down the third baseline, and the other in right field, right in front of the bleachers. And the grounds crew has certainly worked all week, including um, some outside influence, along with uh, the outstanding crew that the Cubs have to uh, get this field going. You had to remove the mound and all the dirt around the home plate area and plant grass and have it grow and they have done a wonderful job the one thing different with a football natural grass field versus this one is it's much harder much more firm which would make it a fast track today of course so the cats have played two games at wrigley losing to illinois 48 27 back in 2010 and lost to purdue 32 to 14 in 2021 at Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right that's why we want you to know that the new Kubota inventory is arriving daily you have work to do and we have the reliable durable and versatile lineup to help you do it you can visit your local Kubota dealer today for all of your equipment needs to expo experience the power of Kubota visit Raider Outdoor Power in Dubuque coming up next Gary Dolphin and Kirk Ferentz this is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle and this is Hawkeye Football from Learfield how do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Kubota tractors offer ultimate versatility with the quality and reliability you need to do the job right. Stop by and get the number one selling tractor brand in the Midwest for a great price. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Right now, participating dealers get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months. Now through December 31st, 2023. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more information. Check out Kubota's winning lineup. Visit KubotaUSA.com to find your local dealer. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. 
cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, fiercely independent since 1946. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Hawkeye fans, make Hudson's Tap your post-game destination. After cheering on the Hawks at Kinnick, swing by Hudson's Tap at 482 Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Michelle Altmeyer will be there broadcasting live on the Hawkeye Radio Network. The silly moments. The proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Full THC cannabis concentrates, vapes, and gummies are available in Iowa legally at select medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Search for Bud and Mary's online to get a card and find a licensed dispensary near you. Welcome back to the Whiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Gary Dauphin, Ed Podolak will be joining me shortly. We're at Wrigley Field on the near north side where the Hawkeyes and the Wildcats kick off at 2.30 in a critical uh, Big Ten game uh, to the standings. That is, we'll hear from head coach Kirk Ferentz in just a minute. There are five players from the Chicago area who have seen uh, significant action uh, this season on the field. LeSean Williams, uh, Caleb Brown, Jamari Harris, Sebastian Castro's had a great year at uh, the cashback and defensive lineman Jeremiah Pittman. Right now, let's welcome in today's University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital kid captain, Lincoln Veach. At four years old, Lincoln was diagnosed with leukemia and referred to UI Stead Family Children's Hospital. He began chemotherapy, but uh, developed life-threatening necrotizing fasciitis. That's a sudden bacterial infection that can be fatal. Surgeons removed the infection during a series of operations, and Lincoln was given strong antibiotics. Skin from his left leg was used to repair the wound on his right. He began physical therapy and resumed chemotherapy and is now able to walk again. How about that? A walking miracle is Lincoln Veach. Congratulations, Lincoln, this week's University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital kid captain. Lincoln is from the Maquoketa area. I had the pleasure of being in Preston, also in Jackson County. Uh, last Saturday, uh, the folks at the downtown pub owned by the Driscoll family uh, sponsored a uh, side-by-side -side UTV ride. 165 UTVs showed up to raise money for uh, Stead Family Children's Hospital in honor of 13-year-old Kendall Driscoll, who spent a lot of time at Stead Family Children's Hospital as well. They raised $28,000, and uh, the money is still coming in. Congratulations to everybody in Preston, Maquoka, to Jackson County, where the Stead Family actually is from Jackson County. All right, let's hear from the head hawk now, uh, Coach Kirk Ferentz. And, and given the news on son Brian uh, this week uh, and the, the potential for disruption that it could cause, uh, Kirk Ferentz thought the focus for both players and fellow assistant coaches uh, was uh, spot on. As I've told him, I mean, we've, we've handled adversity and bumps, uh, you know, pretty well here. We've had plenty to deal with, and uh, that's kind of the way the season goes. So, you know, it's just uh, uh, not news any of us were, were welcome uh, to get, but... Uh, you deal with it and you move on and just uh, try to stay focused on what we're doing and that's uh, the challenge this week but uh, first and foremost we're playing a team that really played well last week they played an outstanding game against maryland 
So we'll have our hands full there, and then we're also trying to improve. And uh, you know, we're a six and two football team, a great opportunity. So it's it's one week at a time, literally one week at a time, and it's less than three weeks. We'll know what it's going to look like. So all that really matters right now is you know getting ready for this game, and uh, most importantly, playing well today. You've always felt a bye week. Uh, you prefer that comes deeper into the season because that's when more there are more bumps and bruises to, to heal up. And it, how, how did it go, uh, guys? Get the proper medical and uh, uh, attention and rest. And uh, you also felt that uh, Deacon Hill uh, progressed. Uh, how so? Yeah, I think so. Uh, first on the medical front, um, yeah, we had a pretty full list the first week. So, you know, we had a lot of guys that have been playing, you know, maybe not to full speed, that type of thing. Gave everybody a chance to get cleared up a little bit that's been been playing a lot of football. And uh, we come in this game, you know, really healthy. And then um, Deacon, several guys I thought really took some strides. And that's that's one benefit of it. Uh, we don't have much contact. We had no contact during the bye week with the guys that have played. Um, but, you know, still opportunity to do, do team situations, see guys in uh, uh, periods where they have to react to different things. And... Uh, yeah, I thought we made a lot of progress, and certain guys in particular really kind of stepped up. Some guys that have been out missing time, that type of thing, get them caught up. And um, then for the younger guys, guys that haven't played a lot, we got a chance to work them both weeks. And yeah, you're seeing improvement each and every week, and that, that's what you're hoping for. And the team we're playing, I think, is representative of that. They, uh, they've really, you know, if you look from week one to week now, uh, they've really improved, and they played their best football last Saturday. And we'll talk about that now, Coach. Uh, there's very little to fix with the Hawkeye defense and special teams, but that said, uh, you've got some concerns about the Northwestern offense after they hung 33 on Maryland. Let's uh, start with this uh, quarterback, Brendan Sullivan, who's played admirably, uh, filling in for the injured starter. Yeah, you got to start there. He's he's done some things. Uh, played, I think, three or four games last year. Uh, didn't do great. Um, and then, you know, got uh, broke in a couple of weeks ago, but th this is by far his best game. And uh, he's probably more dangerous with his feet, but he's hit some big pass plays, too. And he's one of those guys that can run and throw at the same time. So uh, he's looking down the field, having an opportunity. Uh, you know, the biggest thing, and I think the, the number one key for us concerning him is trying to keep him in the pocket. And, um, you know, not that you want him to throw, but you certainly don't want him to get outside. And they, that was an issue last week. He got outside the defense a couple times. And... They busted a couple coverages, too, and uh, trying to pressure them. So, you know, you just have to play a really good team defense. That's going to be a challenge for us. Um, and then, you know, they do a nice job in the screen game. Uh, run some pick routes every now and then out there, at their, you know, which is what's new there. Uh, but, you know, it's just, uh, you know, we just have to do a really good job of team defense. But it does start with the quarterback. They got a running back named Cam and a wide receiver named Cam, and they're both uh, awfully good. Yeah, the the running back named Cam is uh, probably their best runner. They also have a younger guy who came in last week, gave him a spark. Uh, he had a big screen pass, 50-some yards, I believe. That was a big play. Um, and then, yeah, the receivers are a good, good group. They got three guys with over, you know, 20, 25 receptions. Uh, I think one guy's got 30. So, um, you know, good players. Uh, one guy's a transfer from Arizona, one from Michigan, who's got great speed, also a return guy. And then the other guy's been there for quite a while, and he's, he's a steady player, a really good player. Jay Higgins and uh, uh, Nick Jackson have combined for 166 tackles. That's most by a Power 5 tandem in all of college football. Uh, and the guys, uh, they waited their turn. Jay waited their turn. Nick was brand new, a brand-new veteran coming in. Guys are different in that respect, but, man, do they know how to get it done. Yeah, both of them are really good. And, uh, you know, Jay's an interesting guy. He was under-recruited, at least we thought so. And uh, I think he had all MAC offers. We, we thought he was just, you know, a really unique and special person. Uh, and I talk to our guys all the time about, you know, if, if you want to get better, just pay attention to people that are good uh, and better than you. And, you know, watch and listen and maybe, uh, you know, pick some things up. Uh, you talk about, about a guy who went to school. Uh, you know, he sat in that room with Jack Campbell for several years. And, you know, it's just un unbelievable. He's, he played really well last year, but uh, he's playing, playing great right now. Uh, equally as important, he's just a really strong leader. Just in, you know, one of those guys that does things right no matter what. And he's not afraid to encourage other guys to do the same. And the next interesting, you know, being a uh, transfer, and we lost, uh, you think about Campbell and Benson in the middle, they're two veteran guys. So now you got Jay, and then, you know, we're able to uh, replace uh, Seth with a, a guy like uh, Nick Jackson. And so impressed when we met him back in January. And uh, since he's been here, got here in June, uh, every day's been a great day. He's just a really impressive guy. Maybe not quite as outspoken uh, as Jay, maybe not quite as animated, but just uh, really serious, uh, smart, mature. And I can't say enough about him, too. He's been a great addition. 
Jackson has 65 tackles. That's uh, second on the team and fifth in the Big Ten. Jay Higgins leads the conference at 12 and a half tackles per game, and that Hawkeye defense will be called on again today. As a full-service uh, Yamaha golf car distributor, our friends at Harris Golf Cars have one of the largest inventories of new and used golf cars and utility vehicles in the Midwest, including the Chicagoland area. And Harris Golf Cars offers the best variety of sales and service with a huge parts inventory and service for all brands. Harris Golf Cars, located in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Eddie Podolak is up next with his club car wash keys to the game. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Your Life Iowa reminds you to think before you drink this football season. Hey, Brian, thanks for inviting us to your tailgate. The kids are pumped for the game. Glad you and Amy can make it. Grab a beer. Nah, I'm good. I'm Amy's designated driver. You sure? Yeah, I want to enjoy the game and get my family home safe. That's respectable, man. Well, help me flip these burgers then. Get free resources and learn the facts about alcohol use at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hey, Hawkeyes, this is Coach Kirk Ferentz. We work hard all year long to have the best season possible, just like Iowa's corn farmers do. At the University of Iowa, we celebrate our student-athletes as well as our state's corn farmers. For all of us, it's the same. When you put in the hard work and give it your all, great things happen. Want to support Iowa's corn farmers? It's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go, Hawks. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, plant your independence, plant Wiffles. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. What are you craving? The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, across from DMAC, is proud to offer dine-in and carry-out. Home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza and Chicago-style deep dish, the Wig has all of your favorites, including thin crust pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches like the Turkey Club and Reuben, soups and salads you'll love, and a full bar. Call to order or just come on in for lunch and dinner. The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, what are you craving? Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Their line of full THC cannabis products give me pain relief after an NFL career in a terrifying car accident. Visit their dispensary or learn more at BudMary.com. Gary Dolphin at Podolak back at Wrigley Field in Chicago. And it's time to get the insight. The... Uh, the man who's played football and baseball stadiums uh, over the years, Ed Podolak. Ed's uh, keys to the game are sponsored by Club Car Wash. Log on to clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. A lot of people are predicting a baseball score in this game today between the Hawks and Northwestern. Uh, uh, Eddie, uh, let's hope this is the Saturday that Deacon Hill and the, and the Big O breaks out. Well, you know, everybody thinks it's going to be a low-scoring game. And uh, they both have good defenses. The question is, which Hawkeye offense is going to show up? The one from three weeks ago that rushed for over 200 yards or the one from two weeks ago that couldn't hardly make a first down? 
So for sure, you know, Northwestern is going to put eight and nine people in the box. It worked uh, really well for Minnesota. So you'd expect their temporary head coach, interim head coach, the defensive coordinator. So he's been looking at that. So the Hawks are going to have to do something to make sure that they can soften uh, that defense up. A couple of other things, just uh, adapting to playing in a baseball stadium. Uh, one, both teams are on the same sideline. And, um, you know, the first three years I was in Kansas City, we played in a baseball stadium. And so you get used to the other team being right next to you, and you talk about stealing signals. <laughs> <laughs> That's we, a hot topic we these days. Used to have a, photographer that went down and huddled up with the other team um, and it is a hot subject now but you know it's, it's going to be a neutral site uh, I think there's probably more Hawk fans here than there are Northwestern fans and because of the the way a baseball stadium is configured there isn't that intense noise that you get in a football stadium so the teams are going to have a beautiful day to participate. A little wind coming in off the lake, uh, which, you know, I, I'd like more wind because they do throw the ball pretty well. Yep. And um, we're going to have to run it to win. So it's just fun to be back here um, playing Big Ten football. It's all in front of us. And we got some people healthy. And let's hope that, you know, as Coach said yesterday in our meetings, that Dylan has gotten a lot better in these two weeks off, so I'm ready to I'm ready to watch it. Let's take care of the football too. The Hawks lost the turnover battle against Minnesota. You know what happened there. Uh, Northwestern uh, won won the turnover battle two nothing with Maryland last week, and the result was a victory. And to Ed's point, Sullivan. He can throw the ball, and you got to keep him inside the pocket. That's key, because he is a running quarterback as well. But he threw for 265 last week and two scores. Eddie Podolak's keys to the game are sponsored by the official car wash of the Hawkeyes, Club Car Wash. With unlimited membership starting at just $20, there's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. And celebrate the season with gifts, deals, and holiday feels. Find perfect presents for everybody and every budget. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. This is the Whipples Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. When you plant Whipples, you're not just choosing superior seed corn. You're making a statement, one that says staying independent. Staying family-owned means something on your farm. So make your choice. Plant your independence. Plant Wiffles. Up next are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. Iowa Northwestern straight ahead. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online, and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. 
Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more to keep corn growing Iowa. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, fiercely independent since 1946. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Starting lineups for Iowa Northwestern are brought to you by Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. For the Wildcat offense at quarterback, Brendan Sullivan, 6'3", junior from Davison, Michigan. He's mobile. He was hurt a lot last year. He's much healthier and obviously much better this year. He's completing 64% of his passes, five touchdowns, two interceptions. He'll turn and hand the ball off to Cam Porter. He's healthy. He was hurt earlier in the year. 5'10", 220-pound senior from Cincinnati. But they use a lot of backs. Anthony Tyus the third, will see some action. Talk about big. 6'1", 225 out of Portage, Michigan. And Joseph Hyman broke out last week with a beautiful run of a screen pass for 56 yards for the Wildcats. He's 5'9", 185. Little bitty guy from Little Rock. Uh, he's... Uh, now we're going to have our national anthem right now. Let's join in and honor America. See the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the The incomparable local crooner Wayne Mesmer. He's done Cubs games for 50 years singing the national anthem. <laughs> They're all uh, standing and cheering for Wayne. Wayne was assaulted and shot, uh, what, 30 years ago in an armed robbery and survived and sounds as good as ever. He's done the Blackhawk games. Uh, of course, he's legendary at, at Chicago Stadium with the Bulls, and here, uh, no, no finer a version of the national anthem than Wayne Mesmer. All right, back to the lineups for Northwestern. Cam Porter, their best tailback. Cam Johnson, their best wide receiver. 31 catches, a 12 and a half yard average. They'll throw it a lot to A.J. Henning and Bryce Kurtz. Up front, tackles are Caleb Tiernan and Josh Thompson. Josh Preeb, Dom D'Antonio. 
Ben Rather is the center. We've got to take our final break here. We'll come back, give you the Hawkeye lineup courtesy of Mid-American Energy. For now, this has been the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. At Wiffles each year, when it comes to choosing your seed corn brand, you have fewer and fewer choices. That's why Wiffles is determined to keep giving growers an independent choice, a choice that stands for something, one that means something on your farm. So plant your independence, plant Wiffles. The hy coin toss and the come-and-go kickoff are next. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Even the simplest act can set a chain of good in motion, like choosing Delta Dental of Iowa for your dental and vision insurance, because we invest in your community. So whether you get your plan at work or purchase it through us, you make a difference for others. Visit SharingHealthySmiles.com and choose Delta Dental for your smile, for your health, and for your community. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. This is the Wiffles Hybrids Hawkeye Huddle. Wiffles Hybrids, plant your independence, plant Wiffles. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hello, Hawkeye fans. This is Bruce Gerleman, and I own Jethro's Barbecue. Have you heard the news? It's really big news. Jethro's Barbecue is now open in Coralville. That's right, across from the Hawkeye softball diamonds on the Coralville Strip. Jethro's is your game day headquarters. Call ahead and order your tailgate barbecue from Jethro's. Before the game, during the game, after the game, stop in Jethro's and eat my amazing slow-smoked wings and my world-famous baby back ribs. Step into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. Leaders know there's no guide to greatness. When everyone else says something can't be done, they know it only hasn't been done yet. True leaders weather the fiercest storms and look deep within themselves to rise above and help others find their way forward. At Great Southern Bank, we're proud to partner with visionaries that help raise the tide for all of us. And when you're ready to bring your vision to life, we'll be right behind you with award-winning support. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep. We're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your med card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, Hawkeye Football is on the air. Brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. By your local Ford dealers. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. And by Shields, right there with you. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Now let's join Gary Dolphin for the Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half. Wrigley Field in Chicago where the Hawkeye offense hopes to hit a few home runs today and break out. And uh, the defense does its usual great job of hopefully pitching a shutout. And the baseball uh, slogans and uh, analogy aside uh, at Podolak, uh, it's a great day for football on the lakefront in Chicago uh, in venerable old Wrigley Field. And who would have thought uh, first week in November we'd get this kind of weather? 
I mean, this could be first of October weather. It's decision month, the Big Ten championship game in Indy, just a few weeks away. About a month from today, as a matter of fact, and the Hawkeyes are right in the thick of things. We're going to have the high V coin toss. Rob Brooks is out at, uh, what would that be? Probably short right center field <laughs> for today's uh, toss. You're brought, gonna, brought to you today? <laughs> yeah. Brought to you by High V, the official grocery partner of the Hawkeyes. High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Go ahead, Rob. Look, Lachey, Evans, Higgins, and Lee, the captains for the Hawkeyes. Your referee this afternoon, Ron Snodgrass. Iowa's visitors, you'll call the toss. I want you to repeat his call. You want to make the call? This is Luke the head. Lachey will make the call. The Big Ten logo is the tail. We'll let it hit the ground. What's your call? Heads. He's called heads. We'll, we'll let it hit the ground. And it is a head. Iowa's won the toss. I was won the toss and elected to receive, which, which way? Hawks will take the football. Luke Lachey makes the call. So the Iowa offense to start it off here on a really, Dolph, uh, not very windy time at Wrigley Field, which is uh, hard to say, especially this time of year. All right, Robbie, thank you. Uh, interesting. Uh, Kirk Ferentz wants to get that offense out there after uh, two weeks of uh, polishing and working no doubt uh, well into the day and uh, straightening things out. So the quarterback is Deacon Hill, the sophomore from Santa Barbara. LaShawn, Lee, Lee Sean Williams needs 47 yards to reach 1,000 for his career. Caleb Johnson will see action. The wide receivers, Nico Regani, Seth Anderson. Uh, you'll see uh, Deontay Vines had a nice breakout game last week. Tight ends are Addison Estringa, Steve Stilianos. Johnny Pascuzzi. It's uh, needless to say tight ends by committee. Hayden Large will see more time at fullback, H-back, and perhaps tight end. Up front, it's Mason Richmond and Jennings Dunker at the tackles. Nick DeYoung, Connor Colby, and Logan Jones in the middle. Jones, the center, Colby, and Nick DeYoung are the guards. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. Our opening kick is sponsored by Come and Go. Come and go. Hawk fans stop in at Come and Go before and after every game and experience a fresh perspective on convenience. At Come and Go, you'll find a wide selection of snacks, drinks, and fresh food options so you can always find what you deserve. With Come and Go's new and rewards program, you can save more every day. Whether you're coming in for fuel, food, or more, you choose how to save with Come and Go and rewards. Come and Go, a fresh perspective. Well, we've had some uh, big wins in favor of Iowa today, uh, uh, Edward. Wisconsin lost at Indiana. Nebraska is at a final. I believe uh, Michigan State has won uh, at, uh, uh, at uh, home against Nebraska. So those, uh, uh, the, the Huskers and the Badgers were two of those teams tied with the Hawks for first place in the Big Ten West. Plenty yeah. of football left to go, but they got some help anyway. Yeah, and it's still all wide open. It, it's important the Hawkeyes take care of their business here today. For sure. You can't depend on anybody else. And the Hawkeyes aren't doing that. So we'll see what happens as Iowa gets the ball first. Caden Weijin will be dropping back to receive. And here come the Hawkeyes out onto the field. Max White is back there with him. Luke Akers will kick off for Northwestern. Senior from Nashville. And we're so glad you could join us on the Hawkeye Radio Network today from historic Wrigley Field for the Hawks and the Wildcats. Northwestern has played here three times since uh, this all started. This is what they call the Wildcat Classic in 2010. Here's the run up by Akers, and we're underway at Wrigley Field. It's a short end over end kick into the wind taken by Caden Weijin. Heads up the near sideline, crosses the 20, and then turned over at the 25 yard line. Submarine tackle. And a nice one at that. Uh, downfield was uh, Jaheem Joseph, senior defensive back. Wildcats. Play more of a Phil Parker type defense, 4-3. Don't blitz as often as we've seen him when Pat Fitzgerald 
was at the throttle, the great linebacker and longtime head coach at Northwestern until this year. We'll give you those names in a minute. Deacon Hill up under center, Logan Jones. Hawks are going to run off left guard and a cutback. LaShawn Williams right to left. Plows forward for uh, three or four yards. A lot of purple shirts crowding the line of scrimmage. Yep, and uh, number two, uh, defensive back Hollis makes the tackle. Nobody, nobody blocked him. They had one more man on the line of scrimmage than we had blockers. Garnett Hollis. Hawkeyes get, though, almost four yards. Second down six, call it. Again, under center is Hill. And here's LaShawn Williams on another. Same play. Cut back right to left. And he gets a couple more. Xander Mueller, the middle linebacker, has got 27, 55 tackles. 28 solo. He's been a busy man. Bryce Gallagher, all Big Ten senior from Massachusetts. He's on one side. Kenny Soares Jr. on the other. Up front are Najee Story, Sean McLaughlin, Carmine Bastone, and Jalen Pate. They have terrific safeties in Turner and Rod Hurd. And the Hawkeyes look at third down and about five. Hill to throw and fires way wide. Now we've got a flag. Perhaps Deontay Vines held at the line of scrimmage. But it looks like the ball is going to stay with the Hawkeyes. Yeah, that, that, that's where the Hawks have just not been good this year is on third and four, third and three. Defense, number two. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Ron Snodgrass, the referee today. And it is called on Garnett Hollis, the senior from Battleground Academy in Nashville. They yeah, spot the ball at the 35. If you look at the replay, he was almost tackled. Ball was high, though. They were afraid they were going to call it uncatchable. Wide left, Seth Anderson. Wide right, Deontay Vines. Hawks go with two tight ends. First and 10 at the Hawkeye 35. There's a big hole off the left side. Little hesitation, and then Leishon plows through it and gets close to a first down. Well, that hesitation was well done because it gave him a chance to wait for his blockers to clear out uh, a running lane for him. Good blocking by uh, left guard Nick DeYoung. He got some help. Or is that Rusty Feth? I better double check. Rusty played a lot last week. Yeah it's, Rusty. yeah, it's Rusty Feth. Oh, he has been playing well. The transfer from Miami. It is uh, It is a Hawkeye first down, I believe. Now, two yards to go. Okay, well, LaShawn fights for it. Up near the 45, where he needed to go the line to gain. And let's see where they spot it. We're in the end zone here trying to figure yeah. out that <laughs> line of scrimmage. So, no excuse. But uh, it is what it is. It is first down. He got... Oh, no, he's just uh, third down in the yard. Just shy of the first down. No, we'll get it right. Ball, the nose of the football, just shy of the 45. Let's see if big number 10 sneaks for it, and he does. Fox moved the chains. It'll be first and 10 Iowa just across the 45 yard line and the Hawks are keeping it on the ground save for one pass and that got him a pass interference Yeah, that uh, was a big part of this uh, series but that first down run was eight yards um, took us two more to get the first down but good uh, good blocking on that first uh, play PJ Spencer the tackle up off the bottom of the pile for Northwestern Regani splits wide left Hawks wing two tight ends to the right. Up under center again is Hill. And here comes Jazz Patterson. Little change of pace. He takes a wicked shot as he crossed midfield. But gets a nice gain across the midfield 50-yard line into Northwestern Territory. Devin Turner, one of those hard-hitting 205-pound safeties for Northwestern, came up and tattooed Jazz. But he's got some takeoff speed. Yeah, and when the safety's making the tackle seven yards downfield, you're doing something right. Hawks get... Uh, well, close to three or four on that first down carry. Here comes Jazz the other way, left to right, and nothing there. Ankle tackled from uh, down low and then hit from up front, uh, by uh, up top by Devin Turner. Sean McLaughlin, the senior from Frankfurt, Illinois, grabbed onto him first. Iowa faces third down. The third and four, and I, this is where we've not been good, Dolph. Four minutes into the first quarter, the Hawks have... Gobbled up four minutes off the clock. Now let's see if Hill can hit a pass. 
on third down and four. Out of the gun, looks right, comes back left, and a pass is thrown behind the receiver. Oh, here comes another flag. Yeah, and this time. I did a double take there. Is that Caleb Brown out there? Yes, yeah. Caleb Brown. He was. Uh, Pass interference, defense, number 10, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Theron Johnson gets called for the grab on uh, Caleb Brown, Chicago kid from St. Rita, and that's a big one, 15-yard penalty. Let's take a look at the route run. Weijin was running underneath, and then uh, Caleb Brown ran uh, stone cold into the defender who just shoved him backwards and then grabbed onto him. Ball was whisked behind Brown. Northwestern came in averaging 38 yards and penalties. The Hawks get a break there. This is two pass interferences on the opening drive of the day. And Iowa, with 10.50 to go in the first quarter, has a first down at the Northwestern 34-yard line. The drive continues. Empty backfield. Here's a slot receiver screen to Vines, and he goes nowhere. Northwestern was all over that. Really nice play by linebacker Kenny Soares and defensive end Jalen Pate. Yeah, I think uh, we must give that away because defense knew exactly where we were going with that football. No game. Second down, 10 at the Wildcat, 34. Nice opening game drive for Iowa. That's now consumed almost five minutes of the first period. Here's a snap again on the gun. Now they run the draw handoff to LaShawn Williams. And that play took a, a little too long to develop and to get going. He did gain two or three, but the Hawks are going to face third down and long after a, a nice play by a middle linebacker, Xander Mueller, out of Wheaton North, uh, where uh, Chuck Long went to high school. Well, there's a lot of uh, Chicago area players or Illinois players on both teams because they recruit out of the same pool. Most of the Big Ten recruits in Chicago. There's so many good players. But well, here we go. Big play. Third down and long. And Deacon's looking to throw. Hit from behind. The ball's loose. And it's on the ground. And hopefully the Hawkeyes are back on it. They are. Man, man, oh, man. We've had some issues there. He was just cocking to throw the ball to the right pylon near the end zone. And defensive end, I think it was Najee Story, came in. We'll it's double check. No, check it. It's Jalen Pate came in, knocked the ball out of his grasp before he could bring it forward, and that was a fumble. So the Hawkeyes very fortunate that yeah. they got back on the ball. It was a one count too long. You've got to get rid of that ball if you're in the pocket. Now, I was huddled up on the sideline. Is that a timeout? No, the, the snap clock has just run out. Or did they call timeout? Delay game. Offense. The penalties decline. Fourth down. Uh, I see the ball back at the 39, so they lost five yards on that play. And so Torrey Taylor will punt the Hawks are out of field goal range. That that fumble was big in a couple ways, a couple negative ways. Here comes Torrey Taylor for his first punt as he tries to keep it in the field of play. And it's fair caught. Fair caught between the 10 and 15 around the 13 yard line. So a nice uh, opening drive by the Hawkeyes uh, fizzles out. They got a couple of um, pass interference penalties on Northwestern. Drove it as far as the 34 of the Wildcats. And now a 27 yard punt by Torrey Taylor will give Northwestern its first look at the football here from Wrigley Field. No score. We're about halfway through the first quarter. Hawkeye football is presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. The football season is a non-stop adrenaline-fueled push to the end zone. So show your team colors and fanatic passion all season long for the Hawkeyes with your favorite black and gold gear. Shields is proudly partnered with the Iowa Hawkeyes to bring you your favorite fan gear. So visit Shields in-store or online to kick off every Hawkeyes game with a touchdown. Shields, proud partner of Iowa athletics and football fans everywhere. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. 
Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. When the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawkeyes win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com slash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals from 3 to 6 p.m. And our after dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday features bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel knots, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official chicken wing of NCAA football and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Well, the Hawkeyes moved the ball nearly 50 yards with the help of uh, two pass interference penalties on Northwestern and uh, still can't convert it into points. The opening drive, they did use almost uh, six and a half minutes to start the game here at Wrigley Field. Iowa nothing. Northwestern now has the ball for the first time with Brendan Sullivan at quarterback. 51 for 80, 633 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions. He's really played well last week against the University of Maryland up at Welsh Ryan Field. Northwestern won the turnover battle, won the game. 33-27. But this is the Iowa defense. Cam Porter, the lone setback, goes in motion, and they throw it to the tight end, I believe, instead. A.J. Henning actually was a slot receiver. Transfer from Michigan. Now Michigan transfers all over the place. Not much on first down. Might, may have lost some yards. Good job of pursuing to the catch. Who else? Jay Higgins. Loss of a yard. Second down 11. Porter from Cincinnati. 220-pound senior. He is gifted. They have single receivers either way with a slot left. And here's a toss sweep to Porter, and he's run down from behind, gobbled up in a hurry. Jay Higgins again, along with Deontay Craig. Yeah, really good, solid defense there. They set the edge. Coach was talking to us about that in the pregame. You can't let them get outside. Cam Johnson, A.J. Henning, and Bryce Kurtz are the primary receivers for the Wildcats. Duke Olgus and Charlie Manjuri, the tight ends. Out of the gun, here's Brendan Sullivan. Hawks moving a lot of people around at the line of scrimmage. On third down, third down 11. Straight back to pass to Sullivan. He's running for his life. Down he goes! A Mershman sack way back at the five-yard line. That's a loss of another six. Nick Jackson coming on a red dug. Yep, and that's a, an early call for Coach Parker to blitz this early in the game, but he definitely makes the hit on the quarterback for the loss second sack of the year for uh, nick jackson the virginia transfer what a find they got in him a really good job by joe evans though getting in there to disrupt the play he put sullivan on his horse and nick jackson finished him off so cooper DeGene standing at midfield and on the back line of the end zone is hunter renner and he gets away a returnable punt. Cooper gets away from it. Now he goes back and gets it. And he's heading for the far side of the field. Gets to midfield. 40, 30, flags flying all, the, all along the way. Still on his feet. Tackled inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. There's a flag back at midfield. And then one uh, uh, down near the 20-yard line. And we know that's coming back. Yeah, this is always... During the return, illegal block in the back. Receiving team number 12, 10-yard penalty, first down. Timeout. It's on Jackson Rexroth, and so that'll be uh, coming back to midfield and then some. Timeout on the field, but the Hawks get a three and out and get the ball back. 6.21 to go in the first quarter. No score from Wrigley Field. This is Hawkeye football, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. 
Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Hawkeyes on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Hawkeye Pride, powered locally. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment, committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care, and service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment, knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. After a 52-yard punt by Hunter Renner, a hit and roll, Cooper DeGene with a great job on the return all the way down inside the 15, uh, but an illegal block in the back by Jackson Rexroth. That was the, that's what drew the first flag out near midfield, so they take it back inside the 40 to the 37. That's where the Hawkeyes will have it first and 10. Gary Dolphin with Ed Podolak, our engineer producer Corey Sheets, our spotter and statistician John Swisher. And thank you so much for joining us on the Hawkeye Radio Network this Saturday afternoon as the Hawks fight to keep a share of first place in the Big Ten West. Well, we've had we've had more penalty flags than yeah. points so yeah, far, buddy boy. Exactly right. You know, the, those block in the back on returns, it's always called by somebody way out of position. You know, it's called by somebody 30 yards downfield, but... We're a long ways away, too. <laughs> yeah, and there, was, there wasn't much traffic where Jackson got caught. It was a pretty easy flag to throw. Tight eye. Jazz Patterson is the tailback. They play fake it to Jazz. Great block by Jazz. Now he's, Deacon swings the pass out to Hayden Large, and he's running large downfield inside the 50 to the 48-yard line. Nice design play, Brian Ferentz. Uh, uh, Hayden Large threw a chip block, then released to the short left flat. And uh, Deacon can make that throw. Yeah, coming out of the backfield after the chip block. Gain of about 15. Gives the Hawkeyes first and 10 inside Northwestern Territory, just inside of the 50 of the midfield stripe. And Lee Sean Williams trying to run off the right side. Northwestern run blitzes right into it. And Lee Sean loses yardage. Back to the Iowa side of the field. Xander Mueller, the middle linebacker. He's had a great year. Eight tackles for loss and five sacks to go with his 55 total. R.J. Pearson, the, the uh, graduate transfer from Montgomery, Alabama, likewise in on the stop. Now they give Leishon forward motion back to near the line of scrimmage. Call it second down 10. Here's Hill. Plenty of protection. Now he airs it out downfield, and it is incomplete and a flag again on Northwestern. Deontay Vines tried to come back to the ball, but uh, Garnett Hollis never looked around, and that's yeah. why the flag threw. Yep. And that ball was thrown right, coming right out of the sun. And, uh, that's and he... interference. Defense, number two, 15-yard penalty. First down. That's the second uh, flag for pass interference thrown on Garnett Hollis. And he's got he's got Vines one on one single coverage. So Deontay saw the ball uh, coming, but Hollis never turned around and ran right into him. And you got to give the guy the chance to make a break on the ball. 15 yard penalty puts the football inside the 35 to the 34. So here the Hawkeyes are again. Knocking at the door in Northwestern Territory. And they run Williams off the left side. He bounces it outside. Stop and go move. And ran a long ways sideways for two yards. Well, and that was all on him because that would have been a four-yard loss if uh, he'd have gone down the first time he was hit. He's got, he's got that short built, you know, that build and those big tree trunk thighs. And he kept his balance nicely. That bowling ball kept rumbling. Coco Azama 
Ozma, excuse me, got him down. So it was a short gain. Call it second down, almost nine for the Hawkeyes. The Wildcat 33. Again, Williams running straight over center and left guard, and he's thrown back after a, a gain of a couple. It's like about the 32, 31 yard line. And the Hawks are right back looking at third down seven. Yep, it's back to that uh, defensive strategy that they're not going to let the Hawkeyes run the football. We're going to have to throw it to beat them. Carmine Bastone was there to meet uh, Williams. The Hawks are 26% on third down this year. See if they can improve that number right here. Hill to throw, pressure, tries to set up the screen, and LeSean Williams is blowing up. Xander Mueller sniffed that from the get-go. And we're out of field goal range again, I believe, so this is going to be another punt. Well, no, we're going to give a field goal try. Drew Stevens comes out for the attempt. And Drew is 13 for 16 with a long of 53. Now this will come from about the uh, well, about the 44. Yeah, this would be his long of the year. He's got the wind at his back. Kind of a crossing win out of the north northwest from 54. Ball at the 44. Taylor gets the kick the spot down. Here comes the boot by Drew Stevens. It is no good. No good. Couldn't tell upright. if it hit, did it hit the right yeah, upright? Hit, okay. Uh, Yep. Well, the Hawks are turned away again. Man, oh, man, two great opportunities uh, for the Iowa offense, and they can't convert on either one. Yeah, that football smacked dead <laughs> off the uh, right upright. And that's the wind that you described. It's coming across wind. Over his left shoulder. Yeah, it blew it just, just far enough to hit the, hit the upright. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Northwestern football when we come back. No score between the Hawks and the Wildcats. This is Hawkeye Football, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. No score, Iowa Northwestern, latter stages of the first quarter. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification along the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Football. Thank you for tuning in today. Our flagship stations, WHO in Des Moines. WMT in Cedar Rapids. Hi to the folks listening in in Muscatine, down south of the Quad Cities, KMCS. In Red Oak, it's KOAK, AM and FM. Southeast Iowa, Ke Keokuk in WCEZ have you, has you covered there at 93.9. And in the Quad Cities, WOC 1420 AM. Northwestern football after the missed 54-yard field goal attempt of Drew Stevens. And his quarterback Sullivan for the Wildcats in the gun. And they run the draw handoff to Cam Porter and he gets loose for a nice gain across the 40 up to uh, just shy of the 45 yard line. 
that's close to a first down. Looks like it's going to be second down and two. Call it a gain of eight. Xavier Wampa came up from the safety position. There's nice inside run play there by the Wildcats. Now empty backfield. Here's Sullivan. Sends Porter in motion. Here's the snap. Straight back, three-step drop, turns and throws to the right, nearly intercepted. Oh, Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene would have had a touchdown on that as he he had Cam Johnson covered like a glove. And the ball was popped up into the air. Actually, it was, yeah, it was deflected at the line of scrimmage by big Y.A. Black. Another deflect yeah. by Y.A. So yeah. it's third down and two. The Hawks get a stop here. They get the ball back. Here's Sullivan with a running back behind him. They're going to run Porter. Tries to duck it to the outside. And he's turned upside down and dropped on his head. Now, did he get the first down? Cooper DeGene with the tackle. Yep, and yep. he does get the first down. He got just enough. That's a load. He's about 220. That big body, 5'10", 220. His forward motion got him three. And the Wildcats keep the football at midfield. No score. Closing moments of the first quarter. Sullivan takes the pistol snap. Play fake to Porter. Now he's running for his life. Throws it to the right side. Caught. Midfield, 50 in the 46-yard line of Iowa. Hawks had him trapped in the backfield, but he squirmed away. Marshall Lang, the tight end, was the safety valve, and the tackle made by Jay Higgins. Second down. End up getting six or seven out of that. Yeah, mobile nah, quarterback. Six, second down, four. Like you said, we had him trapped, but he got outside and made the completion. Oh, here's a snap before the quarterback was ready, and it goes all the way back near the... Uh, 30-yard line of the Wildcats where Cam Porter uh, jumped on it. Center Ben Rather. Sullivan slapped his hands first, but apparently that was a two-slap play, and the ball went sailing by his ear hole. He looked, at the, he looked at the bench to get a signal, and the ball almost hit him in the kneecaps. And he noticed nobody else on the offensive line moved, so obviously it was snapped way before they expected it. Third down. That was a 13-yard loss, so it's third and 22. A boo-boo by the, the Wildcat offense. Hawks are rushing four, and they're just going to run the ball. Now Sullivan keeps it, but Xavier Wampa had him hemmed in, and he is crushed. He, I'm uh, not sure what side of town he's on right now. Wampa was the first to get there, and Jay Higgins. Higgins yeah. You're going to run in the open field against this defense. You better be tough, and he showed me some toughness there. Yeah, he sure did, because Higgins had a perfect shot at the rib set. <laughs> Well, and Wampa, what a textbook tackle around the kneecaps. It's our first spot and rose hammer hit of the day by the Hawkeyes. Now the punt by Hunter Renter, or Luke Akers, excuse me. He, hang one, he hangs one near the right sideline, and not a very good punt. Cooper never had a chance to field it, but that may be intentional. Well, you remember... Uh... Our friend from the, the end of the first quarter, from the Wildcat Time out on the field. said, we're not punting it to that guy yeah, today. Teddy Albrecht, who played for the Bears, uh, he said, uh, talking to the Northwestern coaches, they have, there's no embarrassment in kicking it away from Cooper <laughs> DeGene. But it's almost like a nice punt return because yeah. uh, Iowa's going to get the ball at about the 33-34 yard line. 27-yard punt as the first quarter comes to an end. No score. Hawks and the Wildcats. This is Hawkeye Football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So, make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. 
Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hi, this is Joe Mershman from Mershman Seeds. You never really know what's going to happen to that seed after it's in the ground. That's why we introduced Starting Line and Starting Line Plus seed treatments for soybeans. Here's Ben Peeper, our product manager. Starting Line and Starting Line Plus seed treatments are comprised of multiple fungicides, effective insecticides, biologicals, and biostimulants. Nobody can do what we can do with Starting Line and Starting Line Plus. Give every acre a head start with Starting Line or Starting Line Plus seed treatment. From Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. After a 27-yard punt, the Hawks get the ball back to start the second quarter at their own 33-yard line. No score, Iowa Northwestern. Welcome back to Wrigley Field as we go down to the sideline where Rob Brooks is patrolling, uh, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. What do you got on the injury front, Bob? Robbie? The uh, offense gets back on the field. Um, Logan Jones uh, did not finish that last drive. He had gotten up slowly the previous drive and uh, standing over here on the sideline. So Tyler Ellsbury finished the last drive. and looks like he's going to start this drive for the Hawkeyes, so we'll keep an eye on that. Also, Deontay Vines is a little shaken up after that uh, last pass interference call. Was on the bike, running around. He looks to be okay. So the Hawks need all the wide receivers they can put out on the field. Thanks, Robbie, for that update. He's sponsored by U.S. Cellular. We're sponsored by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And by Iowa Corn. Here in Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Corn benefits the entire state. It feeds our livestock, nourishes our families, and provides homegrown, clean-burning fuel for our vehicles. Thank you, Iowa's corn farmers. Iowa with 33 yards in the first period. Northwestern with minus two. And Tyler Ellsbury from here in Byron, Illinois. So you can bet that he's got some family tickets that are cheering for him. Tyler, 6'5", 308 pounds, just out the road at Byron. And he's got to be fired up. He'll snap the ball to Hill. Deacon up under center, one running back. That's Jazz Patterson. And a play fake to him. A rollout right by Deacon. Gets it to the tight end. And upfield comes Addison Estringa. Xander Mueller, the middle linebacker, waylaid him as he got to the sideline. And a nice catch and run afterwards by Addison Estringa, the sophomore from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Gets six, second down four. We'll take it. Yeah. Good ball. Could have gotten to him a little quicker. Vines is back in, by the way. Splits wide right. Deontay Regani wide left. Estringa stands up. He goes in motion now. Again under center is Deacon Hill. Patterson runs it straight into the middle of the pile. And not much movement by the Iowa offensive line there as he falls forward for perhaps a yard or two. The Hawks are going to look at third down. Yeah, third and one. Uh, and uh, again, just not able to control the defense when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. Sean McLaughlin, the tackle, and Najee Story. The junior from Solon, Ohio, combined to make the stop. Hawks need one early in the second period. One yard for a first down. Straight ahead, Jazz Patterson. Bursts through a hole on the left side and gets the needed one yard. Perhaps three total. And the Hawkeyes move the chains as they approach midfield. No score. 13.40 to go first half. Always assume a down power line is energized. Stay far away and call 911. Get more safety tips at midamericanenergy.com. Bryce Gallagher, I'll tell you, he and Mueller, those two linebackers are like Higgins and Jackson for the Hawkeyes. First and 10, Iowa. Here's the toss sweep. Left side for Jazz Patterson. He's tripped up from behind. Run down from behind, or he'd have gone a long way. And a heck of a play by Aiden Hubbard, the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. And, um... Ellsbury was uh, leading that play and uh, did a nice job of getting out in front. I mean, they're running right at us. That was a big hole at the start. And Aiden Hubbard saved a huge, huge gain right there for Northwestern. As it is, 
Jazz got three. It's second down seven. Ball at the 47-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Play fake to him. They blitz. Deacon Hill rolls out right, throws. Tough catch, but a great catch by Vines. And I think he backpedaled his way on the sideline to a first down. Yeah, it looked like it to me, too. That's that bootleg, which um, Hill does a pretty good job. Rod Hurd, the free safety, running with Vines. That's a heck of a catch. The, the ball was overthrown. Now the officials are talking. I, I don't see a flag. I'm sure there's a first down, I think. Uh, are they saying he was conduct, sideline interference, Northwestern, 15 yard penalty from the end of the run, first down. Well, well they got both teams on the same sideline. Uh, well, well, I'd have to look at the replay. Rod Hurd, the uh, free safety, the senior all star from Farmington Hills, Michigan. Boy, when they went out of bounds, it was just Hurd, and uh, you know what? I'll bet he interfered with the official. I'll bet the official was interfered with because there was no interference with Vines or the defender. But the Hawks will take the 15 yards, and here they are again. Only this time, they're at the Northwestern 26. 15-yard penalty after the end of the run. Here comes the end around to Vines. Gets the corner turned and gets perhaps a couple. He is drilled, and we've got an injured Wildcat, and it's Garnett Hollis, Jr., and he's not moving. Face down. Here come the trainers up, on the field. across the field. Play fake to the tailback, and they brought Vines from wide right to the left and tried to run an end around. And Ostringer got a good block. There. He ended up making about five instead of nothing. Well, we'll take a break. Step out. The Hawks are on the move. A gain of four. It'll be second down six. And the ball will be spotted at the Northwestern 26 when play resumes. This is Hawkeye football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Right now, you are not at a sold-out Carver Hawkeye Arena watching Iowa rain deep threes, but you could be. You're not having an I can't believe what I just saw moment, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience with Countdown to Carver from the Iowa Lottery. Whether it's the excitement of women's basketball, men's hoops, or wrestling, don't just watch the action. Be at the center of it all. Enter your ticket and see details at IALottery.com slash VIP. If you guessed that was the sound of a bag of Pioneer brand A-Series soybeans, you guessed right. Well, kinda. It was really the sound of an innovative team that spent decades perfecting a seed with exclusive genetics and the ultimate agronomic advantage. The sort of breeders who don't rest until they've achieved outstanding performance. Pioneer brand A-Series soybeans. Number one for a reason. Visit pioneer.com genetics. Hawkeyes in Northwestern, nothing, nothing. Three minutes gone, second period. Hawks have been in Northwestern territory thanks to a lot of penalty flags on the Wildcats. Iowa's run 21 plays to nine for Northwestern. Four penalties, 46 yards on the Wildcats. And that's helped Iowa position itself right now at the Northwestern 26 early in the second quarter. I see Bo Stevens has come in at, I believe, left guard. And that means uh, Nick DeYoung is not out there. Connor Colby still at right guard. Ellsbury is at center. Tyler Ellsbury. And here we go. Second down six for the Hawks after the injury timeout. Running back is Lee Sean Williams. He gets the call. Nope. Play fake. Deacon Hill goes to the end zone, throws into a crowd, and it's intercepted. Threw into heavy traffic, and Theron Johnson was right there. Nico Regani was the intended receiver. 
And uh, Hill pitched it right to Johnson. Turnover. And Northwestern snuffs out another drive deep into Iowa territory. Yeah, that was, uh, he was covering him like a blanket. And uh, the ball was thrown inside. And uh, Johnson's first interception of the season. Uh, he threw it to the inside, yeah. and Regani was on the outside. He was yeah. on the sideline. Well, ball goes back over to Northwestern. At the Gamer at home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages will score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Iowa Hawkeyes. No score, 11.44 to play here in the first half. We're back after this timeout. This is Hawkeye Football presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. My name is Matt Ditch, and I'm an Iowa pig farmer. Iowa pig farmers like Matt and Melissa Ditch are committed to teaching their kids about doing the right things when it comes to pig care and protecting the environment. As they get older, we do start to have those conversations. Well, hey, Dad, why do we do this or why do we do that? And so they kind of get a firsthand lesson of why we do those things and why they're good for the environment and the pigs and us. Learn more at iowapork.org. We care about Iowa, too. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Trained, you practiced, you sacrificed for the team, you gave maximum effort, and left it all on the field. Now life has a different use for your skills, a greater call to play on the field where victory is measured not in the win column, but in the lives of the friends, family, and country you'll serve. With world-class training, we'll coach you to be excellent in all you do. Don't defer your dreams, live close to home, serve around the world, and play for America's home team, the Air National Guard. What's going on with service these days? Try to call a company to get some answers? You're not even getting a real person. And when you go to the grocery store, you have to check yourself out. This is Joe Mershman from Mershman Seeds. We make it easy for you to do business with us. Offering superior seed backed by best-in-class service. And on top of that, we're going to deliver what you order. Not substituted at the last minute. So contact your local Mershman Seed dealer today. That high level of service is alive and well at Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. Ethan Herkett, Aaron Graves check into the defensive front along with Jeremiah Pittman for the Hawkeyes. No score, Northwestern has just turned Iowa over and Brendan Sullivan and company will take over. Here's the snap and the handoff to Porter and he's tracked down after a gain of five off the left side by Jay Higgins. Some finals in the Big Ten of note, John. Dolph, Ohio State beat Rutgers 35-16. to Indiana over Wisconsin 20-14. to Michigan State escaped Nebraska 20-17. to Penn State over Maryland 14 to nothing in the second quarter. And Minnesota losing to Illinois 14-7. to The Hawks have gotten some help from uh, fellow Big Ten West brethren. But they got to take care of business here at Northwestern. Gain of five, call it second down five for the Wildcats after the interception in the end zone by Johnson of Northwestern. Here's the keeper by Sullivan, gets to the outside, gets a nice block, gets the first down. Crosses the 30 to the 34. Terrific block by the tight end out there. Joe Evans tracks Sullivan down, but not before he got... So they spot him close to seven, maybe eight yards. On the play fake handoff to Porter. Ball at the 33 of Northwestern. Anthony Tyus now in at the tailback. And here he comes. Big hole over right guard. And he trots forward for close to five yards near the 38. Northwestern trying to get that inside rush game going. Yep, they've uh, not been able to sustain a drive. Sustain a drive. Burkett and Nick Jackson combine on the stop for the Hawkeyes. And here's Northwestern ready to go again. Now they hand off to Hyman, the, or excuse me, Tyus. And he is met with heavy contact from Ethan Herkett, who knocked him forward for a couple of yards. And it looks like it's going to be third down, too. That was a wicked, wicked hit by Ethan Herkett, courtesy of Spahn and Rose. Let's see if the Hawks can get a stop here. Tyus stays in a tailback, 
Sullivan in the pistol. And whistles. Got the right tackle moving. All right. I'll take your word for it. It's a big penalty if it's if it holds. False start. Offense number 56. Josh Thompson. Penalty or down. He's only 6'5", 315 pounds. <laughs> he gets rocking. He's rocking and roll. Uh. 9.36 to go first half. Iowa nothing, Northwestern nothing. Iowa's been in Northwestern territory. Every possession. And nothing to show for it. Now it's third down eight. Ball at the 36 of Northwestern. Here's Sullivan. Empty backfield. We've got four receivers in the set. Looks left now, airs it out down the right side, and it's caught and then dropped at the 25-yard line of Iowa. Boy, what a pretty throw. Great throw. Really pretty throw by Sullivan to Cam Johnson. Cooper DeGene, Xavier Wampa in coverage. Cooper looking back, uh, looking over his shoulder for the ball. A lot of contact, but they let him play on. Cam Johnson, the transfer from... Oklahoma State, 31 catches for nearly 400 yards on the season and one touchdown. And they were looking for him there on the fade route. But Northwestern has to punt the ball away. Hunter Renner lets it go. It hits. Cooper DeGene grabs it. 360 spin, gets up the near sideline. <laughs> Grabbed it right in the face of the Northwestern gunner and turned it into a 12-yard return. Oh, my. I mean... That gunner was right in his neck, but as the ball bounced in the air, it was high enough that Regine could grab it and move upfield. Cooper having words with Charlie Manjuri, <laughs> young man from Peoria. 50-yard punt and a nice return by Cooper DeGene of 12 yards. Boy, he is something special. No score. Hawks and the Wildcats hooked up in a good one. The ball will be at the Iowa 20 when play resumes with 9.08 to go first half. This is Hawkeye football from Wellmark by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But... <sighs> the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Can you think of anything that costs the same today as it did 10 years ago? There isn't much. That is, unless you're a mid-American energy customer. Thanks to all the renewable energy we're generating, our customers pay nearly the same rate for electricity today as they did back when we were all singing, Call Me Maybe. And with mid-American making even more investments in clean energy, you can count on enjoying those same affordable rates for the next decade. Now that's obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back to Hawkeye football from, uh, keep wanting to say Evanston. We're not far from Evanston, but we're on the near north side of Wrigley Field. And the Iowa Hawkeyes and Northwestern Wildcats are scoreless. Iowa's had its chances three or four trips into the uh, Wildcat territory. Three for sure, maybe four, maybe all four possessions. And Northwestern has been an exercise in futility with penalties. And it all ends up... To being a couple goose eggs and check in with Rob Brooks here after this first play uh, for an injury update the Iowa offensive line as Tyler Ellsbury settles over the football and about to snap to quarterback Hill Lee Sean Daniel or Lee Sean Williams is out there leading uh, blocking uh, on a uh, not a tight end no actually it was Caleb Brown oh Cooper DeGene 
Well, we got two number threes on the roster, and DeGene was in the left slot and came across the formation, and Hill gave it to him. So everybody's been harping for Cooper on offense. They got him seven yards yeah. on first down with LeSean Williams leading the way. Huh, that's... That brought all the Hawkeye fans out of their seats. Safety Devin Turner threw Coop to the ground, but it's second down short. The ball at the 33-yard uh, line of the Hawkeyes. Comes a quick handoff, straight ahead running. Nice play, and a first down run up around the 40. Dejean still in the game. In fact, Lee Sean Williams. He came across in motion. Well, he drew a lot of attention. Yes, he did. Xander Mueller, the linebacker, made the stop. Cooper is out of the game now. So, okay, Kirk Ferentz, Brian Ferentz are showing a little Cooper DeGene in all three phases today. First and ten after a gain of close to five for LeSean Williams. Now Hill's up under center. Tight end, Estrenga goes in motion. Hawks are going to run off the right side with Williams again. And good blocking initially. He gets upfield for two or three. Williams with 27 yards on nine carries. Deacon Hill is five out of six for 26 yards. Najee Story on the tackle. Yeah, they, they, their defense is very mobile. They get around really well. You can get them blocked initially, but boy, they recover in a hurry. They give Williams three. The Hawks break three wide receivers wide left, including number three, but it's Caleb Brown. And Hill's looking that way. Now he comes to the short side of the field and runs a naked screen throw for LeSean Williams. LeSean broke to the short right flat, and Hill just pop flied it to him. Xander Mueller wasn't having any of that, though. He tracked him down for little or no gain. Hawks are 2 of 4 on third down. They've got third down, and they say no gain. Third down, 8. 6.48 to play. In the second period, Iowa, Northwestern, no score. Brown goes wide left. Vines is in the slot with Regani. And the shotgun snap from Ellsbury is delivered. Hill had time. Now a hold is going to be called as he throws it away. But long before he got rid of the football, uh, the flag was dropped at the uh, in the Iowa backfield. And you know they're going to get somebody for a grab. See if Northwestern elects to take the penalty or declines. Holding offense, number 56. The penalties decline. Fourth down. It's on Nick DeYoung. Let's check in quickly with Rob Brooks on an injury update with that offensive line. Rob? Yeah, Dolph, right now, as you mentioned, uh, Young, Bo Stevens in there at guard, Ellsbury at center, Colby Stunker, and um, that's kind of the third combination used so far. Now, both of the players are on the sideline. Uh, they're has been an illness that has run through the program this week. I heard earlier on the sideline that might be part of it, too. Torrey Taylor gets rid of the ball, and it's going to roll out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Torrey Taylor doing what he <laughs> does best. Hawkeye football is sponsored by Wimmers at the Gamer at Home. Wimmers premium quality hot dogs and sausages will score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork. Combine it with natural spices, and you get the best-tasting hot dog. Wimmer's the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. 46-yard bounce and roll punt by uh, Torrey Taylor, exactly what he wanted to do. And there's no score, 0-0. Zero, zero. This exercise in offensive futility continues. 6.22 to go in the first half. Pioneer boosts your yields by combining industry-leading R&D with rigorous local testing. At Pioneer, what's next happens here. Pioneer. Hawkeye football is brought to you by your Lennox dealers. We want to thank our Lennox dealers for their great support of the Hawks all season long. Out in Denison, stop in and see Verlin's Plumbing and Heating, the home of Brendan Sheriff. In Des Moines, it's Lozier Heating and Cooling. They've been there a long time. Paul's Plumbing and Heating is in Mount Pleasant. Kalen's Indoor Comfort in Sioux City. And North Central Iowa Services in Webster City. We lost a couple of great Hawkeyes this week uh, that uh, we want to give shout-outs, tributes to. Uh, first off, Nora Lee Balmer, 95 years old. Nora's, Nora Lee's family 
ran plumbing su- plumber supply in Iowa City for seven decades. She passed away. Great Hawks supporter, she and her family. Season tickets to football, basketball, wrestling. Uh, and they had a great relationship with Forrest Evashevsky back in the 50s when this Hawkeye football really took off, save for uh, the great years in the 20s. So our sympathies to the Balmer family and also Jim Edwards up in uh, Piasta. Uh, Edwards precast concrete, those white concrete inlays at Kinnick Stadium and the red brick. Uh, those are courtesy of uh, Edwards, the Edwards family. Edwards Concrete uh, in Piasta and Dubuque. Uh, Jim Edwards, the patriarch and a great Hawkeye fan. And he loved his Green Bay Packers uh, passed away uh, this week. So we remember those two great Hawks in our thoughts and prayers. Yeah, you know, they, the Ball might have been, family might have been around in their 20s. The Balmers, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like four or five generations. Yeah. 70 years, he said. A lot of Hawk fam- families that way, and the Balmers are one of them. So the ball's at the 12-yard line when play resumes. 12-yard line of Northwestern for Northwestern. I tell you, Torrey Taylor in this defense is joined at the hip, isn't it? Aren't they? And as Robbie's report said, the a flu bug or some type of illness running through the Iowa, most notably the Iowa offensive line. And hopefully it's more of a strength issue and not outright sickness. Here's Brendan Sullivan with Porter the tailback for Northwestern. Slot receiver goes in motion. Sullivan's going to keep the ball after he play fakes it to the tailback, and he's driven into the ground by Logan Lee. Second down coming up after a short gain of two. Jay Higgins was in the neighborhood, as he always is. Just say Jay Higgins on every play on defense. To and you can say somebody. Deontay Craig yeah. got a piece of him, too, <laughs> seemingly on every play. Wildcats trying to run out of the shadow of the goalpost here at Wrigley Field. Sullivan in the short pistol. Hands off to Porter. He's knocked sideways. What a play by the defensive tackle, Logan Lee. He, uh, he took the guard, shoved him into the backfield, and Porter ran right into it and bounced off him and may have lost a yard. Ethan Herc had finished him up. But watch this play by Logan Lee. He takes the guard and just runs him right back into the tailback. Porter had no chance. Third down 11 after a loss of a yard. Loss of three, actually. Sullivan had gained two on first down. Ball back to the 10. Hawkeye defense rushing four. Here's the snap, low snap. Sullivan gets it under control. Throws to the sideline, not even close. Jamari Harris was all over the other Cam, Cam Johnson. The camshaft got yep. cut in half on that series. <laughs> that ball was thrown short. Fans wanted a flag against the Hawkeyes. Not going to happen. And three yards deep in the end zone will be Hunter Renter. Averages near just about 40 yards a punt. He's got a long of 54 on the year. The senior from Mishawaka, Indiana. Hawks have had a player or two from that neighborhood. Here's the snap. Renner runs to his right and hits a ground ball that uh, Cooper has no chance to return. And it's caught up near midfield. So a good job by Hunter Renner. That ball hit it about the 30 and bounced and rolled up to the 46-yard line where the Hawks will have it in Northwestern Territory. And that's uh, one of those punts where they said, don't let this guy catch the ball back there. If you have to kick it on the ground, see how many yards you can get off of it. 35-yard punt. And here's the Hawkeye offense again. They've spent the first half in the Northwestern end. And unable to dent the scoreboard. Drew Stevens had a field goal try of 54 yards, hit the right upright early in the half. Let's see if the Hawks can finish a drive off here now with five minutes to play second quarter. Deacon Hill, shotgun snap, and he's blasted as he cocked a throw, and down he went. It's that Hubbard who... Yeah, Hubbard again. He had three sacks last week. He had half of their six sacks against Maryland and gets his first today, and he had to come untouched. Yeah, he was untouched, and I don't know whether it's because our offensive line now is uh, oh, not my. communicating yeah, he, well. But he, he just was... stunted to the outside, went right around the tight end. 
had two guys, the tackle and the tight end blocking one guy, and just a great play by Aiden Hubbard. So it's second and 15. The Hawks go backwards. Hill fakes the throw, now runs a draw handoff to LaShawn Williams. He gets the yardage that was lost back, and then some. Bryce Gallagher, the linebacker. What good blocking by the yeah. interior there for the Hawks. Well, that was a draw play, and it was well executed. Broke wide open. They got 11 yards. He ran at least eight or nine yards before he, anybody laid a glove on him. And Gallagher saved the first down for now. It's third down and four at the Northwestern 40. Hawks have nine first downs in the first half. Hill throws, and a missile of a pass hits Seth Anderson and two defenders right there with him. Rod Hurd might have got a piece of it, and it's uh, incomplete. Punt coming up for Torrey Taylor. Well, it was a real quick inside move, and uh, ball was right where it needed to be, but like you said, a lot of mustard on it. Torrey Taylor standing at his own 45 will send the ball back to the Northwestern goal line. Oh, and he hits a high floater that lands in the end zone. No chance for Cooper DeGene or Devin Hilson to get down there and cover it up. We'll step out. Northwestern has the ball back. Another Iowa possession in Northwestern territory. Fizzles. No score. Nothing, nothing. 332 to go after a 40-yard punt by Torrey Taylor. 332 to go second quarter. This is Hawkeye football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield returns to the heartland. Tony Perkins leads the Hawks onto the big stage of Carver Hawkeye Arena. Coach McCaffrey brings back three starters and welcomes an array of instant impact playmakers. Visit HawkeyeSports.com or call 1-800-IA-HAWKS. What's the best part of turning 100? You. Our neighbors we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank, celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. Hawkeye football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. There's no THC cap on Iowa medical cannabis. And getting your card is fast and easy, entirely online. Get your med card today. Visit BudMary.com. Hawkeyes nothing, Northwestern nothing on the lakefront at Wrigley Field in Chicago. Welcome back to Big Ten coverage. On the Hawkeye Radio Network, Gary Dolphin at Podolak, Robbie Brooks down on the Hawkeye sideline, where both teams are on the same sideline. We've had one interference penalty on Northwestern. In fact, Northwestern has gift-wrapped five penalties for 51 yards, which has led to five Iowa possessions in Northwestern territory in uh, the first quarter and a half, and nothing to show for it for the Hawks. So the last time Iowa scored a touchdown was right before halftime against Minnesota. And the struggles continue. I mean, the Hawks have 81 yards, 25 passing, though, 56 on the ground. LeSean, LeSean Williams, 40 yards, 11 carries. Northwestern's leading ball carrier, Cam Porter, has 19 yards on five attempts. The Hawkeye defense doing its thing. Sullivan's two of five for four yards. Yeah, I mean, that's, and they haven't let him outside to run either. So they've really taken him out of the game at this point. Do you love the Hawkeye Victory Polka? Now's your chance to put the Hawks on top while also helping local charities in eastern Iowa. Go to iowaswarm.com. That's iowaswarm.com. And join the swarm. Northwestern first and ten. Here's Sullivan throwing to the left. Sets up a uh, slot receiver screen. And that gains uh, four or five. A.J. Henning, the former Michigan Wolverine, had two blockers out in front of him, and Sebastian Castro ran right through him. Yep. And also uh, over there in the area was Kyler Fisher. Second down six after a gain of four. Joe uh, Anthony Tyus, the tailback, is out there. Started this series. They switched tight ends 
Now Tyus was screened out wide left. Now he comes back behind center and he gets the handoff and he's going to lose two or three, maybe more. Joe Evans leaving the charge. Uh, Yellen Rawhide. <laughs> Deontay Craig was there as well. Man, oh man, and another injured Wildcat. Over on that sideline, one of the guys out trying to throw a block, Ben Rather, the center. Iowa's lost its center, Logan Jones, uh, for most of this first half. Maybe an illness versus an injury, and now Ben Rather is down for the Wildcats. The exciting moments, the proud moments, the hard moments. Well, Mark, Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion. Making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the right plan for you at wellmark.com slash touchdown. That's wellmark.com slash touchdown. And Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited, Iowa's official bowl tour is proud to announce the Iowa Hawkeyes are officially bowl eligible. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited is Iowa's leader for game tickets, air travel, and hotel. Sign up to automatically receive official bowl travel information. They'll get it to you, and then you decide at HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. Well, they've got Ben Rather rolled over on his back now. He was on his belly. Help, going to help him to his feet. They're working on his right shoulder. Had a big crowd today at the Hawkeye Huddle on uh, North Clark Street. The Bamboo Club. Thanks to uh, Lindsay and Elizabeth and the crew, Kevin and John. Great effort, uh, the Hawkeye Huddle. Of course, uh, thousands of Iowa alums live and work here in the Chicago area. All right, they got Rather off the field and a new center. Third down and seven for the Wildcats after a loss of a yard. Sullivan, straight back to pass. Hawks get pressure on him, and, and now a uh, pass incomplete thrown wide out in the left flat, wide of A.J. Henning. He's barking out there that he was interfered with by... I think Quinn it's Schulte. Be holding against. Oh, there is a flag yeah, in the Northwestern backfield. Northwestern. Well, let's get the call from Ron Snodgrass and a nothing nothing score. Cut block. Well, Northwestern's thrown a few of those over the years. What are the Hawks? Personal foul. Chop block. Offense number 65 and 27. Penalties decline. Fork down. Jackson Carcello, who just came in at center, gets called for the cut block. Junior from Northbrook. Glenbrook North. They call it on, on the running back as well. Anthony Tyus. And let's see. Yeah, it was Tyus that came from the tail. Now they double team Nick Jackson. Well, either way, the penalties decline. And the punt is gotten away by Luke Akers backing Cooper DeGene up and he fair catches at the 28. He hated to do that. It was out of the sun. He yeah, could he not find it. Got it at the last and he thought he better call fair catch. So the Hawkeye offense will trot out onto the field. Northwestern has 22 yards of offense. Iowa 81. And the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Zero. 48 yard punt by Luke Akers. We'll get a sideline update from Rob Brooks after this first play. 28-yard line of Iowa. See if the Hawks can close out the final 225 of the half with some kind of a scoring drive. Williams in the backfield. He gets the handoff running left to right and gets a yard to the 29. What do you got, Robbie? For Northwestern, um, Ben Rather, the setter, who started 11 games last year as well, uh, spent some time in the medical tent. He's able to return. And then remember, defensive back Garnett Hollis uh, came over to the sideline after tackling Deontay Vines. Sixth leading tackler for the Wildcats. Uh, had some sort of upper body injury. He's being evaluated in the locker room. Vines and Regini split wide left. And Ostringa, the tight end, splits out right. Second down nine 
for the Hawkeyes. Hill to throw. Nope, they run a draw handoff, and uh, LaShawn's going to lose two or three. The Hawkeyes are going to face third and ten. Xander Mueller not fooled by that pass fake, and then the old draw handoff to LaShawn Williams loses a yard, maybe two, back to the original line of scrimmage. Interesting. I thought Northwestern would have called time out there, get the ball back. Well, it looks like both teams are content to get to the locker room and regroup for the second half. These defenses have owned the day. Third down, ten. Hill to throw. They blitz. He lets he lets it go and well over the intended target, Nico Regani. So Tory Taylor will come out to punt again. I was talking to Tory at the hotel this morning, and I said, well, how many punts do you think you're going to have to... I said, it'd be nice if we didn't see you today. He goes, ah, I think about nine, mate. I think about nine. This will be his fourth. So he's halfway there. And a flag throws is thrown as uh, Taylor gets it away. It'll roll dead at the uh, 25 yard line of uh, Northwestern. Northwestern football, but let's check out the flag with 49 seconds to play in the first half and no score. Ron Snodgrass, one of the veteran the veteran officials anywhere. Return team. Illegal motion? Yeah. I, how, how can that be? I, have, that's what I mean, that either means. they came across the line of scrimmage. Illegal motion. Maybe not enough guys on the field. Oh, no, that wouldn't be. That wouldn't be a penalty. Or too many guys on the field. <laughs> I don't know. The way this first half is gone, it could, could be anything. Uh, Halloween has extended to Wrigley Field, at least for these offenses. 46-yard punt if it holds. They're asking Kirk if he wants to. Uh, Illegal formation on the defense lined up on the center. That penalty's declined. First down. Oh, yeah. You can't hit the center anymore when he snaps the ball. So you can't put anybody over his nose. Um, and um, yeah, we're looking at the replay, but I don't know that he's over the center, is he? Let's see. Uh, I, I, I didn't see that penalty, but they get Grayson Mertz, the linebacker. For, well, you know, linebackers, they want to hit everybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter. The Northwestern will come out, and uh, I'm guessing they won't get too aggressive here. Maybe take one shot down the field. As they send Cam Johnson wide right, he's their best receiver on the season with 31 catches. Cam Porter, their top tailback. Back there with Sullivan. Sullivan now runs for his life, and he's obliterated by Y.A. Black. Second set. Now the ball comes out, but they blew him dead, oh, I he believe. Was, he was dead. Well, <laughs> he, and the ball. Out Iowa, the he, and, he and the ball were dead. This might be a good time to go to Bud Murray's, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. We got a time out here on the field. Getting a medical cannabis card in Iowa. It's a good idea. Might be. Well, I, I've got mine with me. <laughs> as easy as talking to your doctor, join thousands of Iowans like me using medical cannabis, and today would be a good day. Search BudandMary.com to learn more. You know Bud and Mary well. They're great people, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, yeah. In yeah. Des Moines. Yep. Great and family, great family. We appreciate their support of the Hawkeye Radio Network and Hawkeye Football. So Iowa has called timeout. Right thing to do after the uh, loss of uh, about five for Sullivan. Why a black belly flopped on him? That didn't knock the wind out of him. That Irishman is, well, he is one tough dude anyway, and he had a lot of injuries last year. Second down, 15. They're just going to run off the edge to Cam Porter, and he's 
busted after about a three or four yard gain by Deontay Craig. The Hawks will call timeout again. Now they're letting it run. Oh, they are. Now they got two timeouts left. Why would you call the first timeout and then not call timeout? Now Kirk is arguing something. I, he's. <laughs> this is. Uh, Halloween all over again. I mean, Michael wouldn't want to put any part of this. He'd get run out of the building by that Iowa defense. <laughs> Northwestern with 22 net yards. There have been two Mershman seed sacks. A number of spot and rose hammer hits. Contractors, you're busier. Time out. Iowa, they're second. You're busier than ever this fall, contractors, with weather like this. Why not? 30-second timeout. But you've got this high-quality building materials like GAF. Use the Spawn and Rose visualizer to plan the perfect roof and blend an elegant architectural look with exceptional performance. GAF, we protect what matters the most. With several Spawn and Rose locations nearby, you can focus on life's other important things this fall. Spawn and Rose, buy easier, build better. These defenses have dealt out some two-by-four hits. Courtesy of four Spot by and Rose. Four. Yeah, four by four. I you know, uh, I think. Um, We're that, back to 41 seconds, yeah, by the way, on the clock. I think Kirk uh, had said we called timeout, well, and they didn't get it. Both teams on the same sideline. There's a lot of bodies to look over there for the officials' timeout. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that side judge or line judge is right there. The ball is at the 25-yard line. It's third down and 10. So give Porter a yard gain on that last run. And now what does Northwestern do? Three receivers. And they flip it to the tailback. He's got blockers. And is he going to be... He ran out of bounds. Just shy of the first down. Yeah. A.J. Henning went in motion. And Sullivan turned and threw it straight sideways on third down and ten. I think he could have got upfield for the first down. Yeah. But but he did. Plus, he runs out of bounds. Yeah, he stopped the clock, saved us a timeout. And Cooper DeGene's going to get a chance to return the punt. Quinn Schulte escorted Henning to the sidelines, and good contain coverage by Cooper DeGene, too. And here's Hunter Renter to punt. He'll step into it about his own 18 yard line. Here's the snap right on his numbers. Good rush by the Hawks. Renner gets it away, and it's bounding and rolling. Cooper, Cooper DeGene has no chance to return that. It rolls dead inside the 30. Yeah, I think that punter was practicing that a lot this week. He <laughs> hit it that low. He was working on that. Yeah. Low so the Hawks, bounding. 29 seconds to play. First half. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye football. Thirty-nine yard punt by Hunter Renter, a uh, Renner, and the Hawks are going to take a knee. Well, that was pretty apparent. If Cooper DeGene didn't return it for a touchdown, yeah. we're going to the locker room. Nothing, nothing at the half. This is Hawkeye football from Lurfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup for the 2023-24 college athletics season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Directors Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect. 
that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye football. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this has been the Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half. Hawkeye football is brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye football. Bud and Mary's, cannabis for the people. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa football. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Halftime, 0-0. Zero, zero. The Hawkeyes in Northwestern. Northwestern had 29 total yards of offense in the first half, 15 passing, 14 rushing. The Hawkeyes 81 yards on 25 through the air, 56 on the ground. Northwestern obliged mightily with five penalties for 51 yards. And I think all but one Iowa drive got, got to Northwestern territory. And a couple of them deep into Northwestern territory, but Hawks couldn't finish it off. Ed, it's... Uh, same story that this uh, this offense is just unable to jumpstart itself and granted Northwestern's got a, a very good defense but it's uh, it's uh, it's a pattern yeah it, you know there's nobody that really electrifies you on our offense and let's start with the quarterback I mean he gets the ball every time he's going to touch the ball on every play the only excitement we had was Cooper DeGene <laughs> came in and ran a reverse um, but you know it's it's beyond being well, pathetic you know, I guess uh, the receiver is unable to get open uh, LaShawn Williams had a couple of nice plays he ran for 41 yards on 13 carries a 3.2 average Patterson Jazz with five carries for 14 yards but it's uh, yeah receiving Vines has two catches for nine Hayden Large uh, caught a screen pass and ran for 15 yards. That's Iowa's longest play from scrimmage. Uh, it is what it is. There's nowhere to hide. they got to figure out a way to, to get this thing going. A uh, couple injuries, some sickness in the offensive line hasn't helped. But the Hawks did have the ball for uh, twice the time in that first half. Almost 10, 10 more minutes in time of possession. Just uh, great field position, just unable to do it. And anything. if you look at the scoreboard of what happened... In the Western Division today, I mean, uh, the ball's on the rim. All we got to do is tip it in. Dunk it. Yeah. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. It'll continue in a minute. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. No score at the break at Wrigley Field. Both teams are pitching a shutout. This is Hawkeye Football from their field. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. Hawkeye football all season long. This is Iowa football from Learfield. Train, you practiced. You sacrificed for the team. You gave maximum effort and left it all on the field. Now life has a different use for your skills. A greater call to play on a field where victory is measured not in the win column, but in the lives of the friends, family, and country you'll serve. 
With world-class training, we'll coach you to be excellent in all you do. Don't defer your dreams. Live close to home, serve around the world, and play for America's home team, the Air National Guard. Treat yourself to one of our award-winning entrees at the Machine Shed. Come get your hands around one of our famous pork tenderloins, our most popular sandwich. Served either deep-fried golden brown or unbreaded and grilled. Or try our roasted, stuffed Iowa chop that is stuffed with a warm apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Trust me, you won't regret it. This is Jeff Grunder, and we can't wait to have you over for dinner at the Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Halftime, no score, Iowa Northwestern. Let us know where you're at around Iowa and the Midwest today. We'd love to give you a shout-out on Twitter, at Gary Dolphin, at Gary Dolphin on Twitter, Facebook, facebook.com slash Voice of the Hawks. Let us know what you're doing, where you're at, and we'd love to give you a plug. Hawkeyes got two sacks in that first half from Nick Jackson and Y.A. Black, two uh, Mershman Seed sacks. That'll help Stead Family Children's Hospital. They've got a wagon load of Spahn and Rose hammer hits, uh, but no score. Iowa, 81 total yards, Northwestern 29. Here's all you need to know. Average gain, average yards gain per play. Iowa 2.4, Northwestern 1.3. Our halftime stat check is sponsored by SeatGeek, now the official fan-to-fan ticket marketplace for the Hawkeyes. Whether you're buying or selling football tickets, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, so Hawkeye fans can fan. Deacon Hill, 6 of 10, 25 yards. Brendan Sullivan, 4 of 8, 15 yards for Northwestern. Both have quarterback ratings in the 60s. LeSean Williams, 13 carries, 41 yards. He needs six more to get 1,000 for his career. And for Northwestern, Cam Porter has 23 net yards on six carries. Vines has caught two passes for Iowa. And A.J. Henning has three grabs for 10 yards for uh, Northwestern. No score at the intermission. Iowa Northwestern. Our Bud Light halftime show continues in just a minute. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Pioneer is proud to partner with Iowa and Nebraska in the Pioneer Heroes game on November 24th. This coveted trophy game is about more than winning. It's about those in our local community who inspire us in our everyday lives. From the school bus driver to the volunteer firefighter, there are those that make a difference and simply put, make our lives better. Every community has their heroes, and Pioneer is proud to honor those who stand as an inspiration to others in the Pioneer Heroes game. Hi, this is Hawkeye coach Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success is not a given. There will be challenges, but with hard work, there are no limits. For years, Iowa farmers have believed in that too. Farmers are the backbone of this country and their dedication to bringing us food and energy has never been more important. That's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate America's farmers. To learn more about ANF and pick up some great ANF merchandise, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. The Hawkeyes play here. Iowa. Touchdown! How about that play call? This is Iowa football from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over. Hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university.
Live from the Learfield Network Studios, this is the College Scoreboard. And from Master Control, I'm Bo Lewis. We are scoreless at the half. Let's check the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Elsewhere in the Big Ten, the new number one, Ohio State, beats Rutgers 35-16. to Kind of a slow start for the Buckeyes. They finally get it together. Indiana survives over Wisconsin. Big win for the Hoosiers, 20-14. to And Michigan State tops Nebraska 20 to 17 right now number 11 Penn State is leading Maryland 21 to 7 and Minnesota up by a field goal over Illinois 17 to 14 later number three Michigan will host Purdue in the top 25 it went overtime Texas and number 23 Kansas State in the first possession Texas kicked a field goal K-State took their possession went for the win no good Texas survives 33-30 over number 23 Kansas State. Number 10 Ole Miss gets past Texas A&M. Not without a fight though. 38-35 the final there. Number 15 Notre Dame upset today by Clemson. 31-23. Irish never led that game. Number 17 Tennessee big over UConn. No surprise. 59-3. Right now number 18 Utah is leading Arizona State. 48-3. It's Air Force. They're undefeated right now. 8-0 ranked 20 fifth and losing to two and six army right now 23 to three that game is late number two georgia and number 12 missouri this is going back and forth uh, georgia took the lead missouri has now tied it they're all locked up at 10 number four florida state and pittsburgh also tied at seven number nine oklahoma and number 22 oklahoma state this one's nearing halftime and it's the last bedlam ever oklahoma state leads 17 14 louisville is up on Virginia Tech 14 to 3. It's number 24 Tulane and East Carolina locked up at 10 right now in the second half. Oregon will welcome California. Kansas is at Iowa State later today. Number five, Washington travels to LA for number 20 USC. Number eight, Alabama in Tuscaloosa against number 14 LSU. That'll be a good one. Number 16, Oregon State in Boulder for Colorado and UCLA is at Arizona. That is the late game. A couple of games that have gone final already. Arkansas beat Florida 39-36. It was uh, See, South Carolina gets past Jacksonville State 38 to 28 in a game that was very, very close, much closer than South Carolina wanted it to be. North Carolina over Campbell 59 to 7, and Sam Houston State gets their first win of the season. They're now one and eight to the last team in Division One to get a victory this year. At the half, we're locked up and scoreless. 0-0, that's the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. You can bank on us, U.S. Bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. This is Iowa Hawkeye football from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with the University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Hawkeye football all season long. Touchdown, Iowa! Touchdown, Iowa! This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Hawk fans, are you looking to travel in style like the Iowa Hawkeyes? Windstar Lines provides luxury charter bus service, van service, and employee shuttles. We travel throughout the Midwest, providing ground transportation service to or from anywhere in the continental United States and Canada. With multiple locations throughout the Midwest, call Windstar Lines to transport your group. Our friendly, safe drivers will get you to your destination in style. Visit GoWindstar.com to book your travel plans today. Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that, too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, 
salads, and real ice cream shakes. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. This has been the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Hawkeye Football is brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Pioneer, what's next happens here since 1926. And by 988 Lifeline, there is hope. 24-7. Call, text, or chat 988. Welcome back to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin with a Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield second half. Wrigley Field in Chicago where the shadows have pretty much engulfed uh, the infield. Heading out toward the right field wall where the other end zone is and there's still some sunshine leaking through the clouds but that's about it in fact the skies are clearing and hopefully that helps the Iowa offense uh, Gary Dolphin with that Podolak back in uh, Chicago thanks so much for joining us today on the Hawkeye Radio Network where Iowa and Northwestern are nothing nothing at the half the Hawkeye specialty teams uh, now trotting back onto the field Tory Taylor has been busy uh, as you would expect 13 total possessions by Iowa and Northwestern today at 13 total possessions. Neither team has reached the red zone yet. I mean, the Iowa defense is just covered like a blanket, the Northwestern offense. The Hawks have had multiple possessions in Northwestern territory, due in large part to 51 penalty yards on the Wildcats, but unable to do anything. Well, you know, it's that same story we've been seeing this year on offense. Third and three, third and four, can't make a first down. And um, it's happened again today. We don't have, seem to have anything in our cap that we can call then that uh, will pick up a first down. Iowa has nine first downs, but to Ed's point, uh, many of those have come off Northwestern penalties. Wildcats have two first downs. And, and to me, Ed, here's the stat, courtesy of SeatGeek. Average yards per play, Iowa 2.4. Northwestern 1.3. I mean, that, that surprises me. It's over one. I mean, my goodness. It's, it, well, you know, it's the old Big Ten football. It is. Back, uh, and then November, some. Yeah, November <laughs> and six to three and nine to six and. And there were some different scores today that helped Iowa out. Wisconsin lost. Um, Nebraska got beat. Illinois, uh, when last we saw, was leading Minnesota. We'll get an update on that score. So all the teams tied with Iowa are struggling like the Hawkeyes are on offense, but there aren't many that have a defense like the Hawkeyes. No, and I think so this is going to come down to a defensive play by one team. Turnover. Or in my opinion. Block yeah. punter. Well, uh, Deacon Hill. Six of ten for 25 yards. Had one intercepted in the end zone. There's the Illinois update. Minnesota now has taken the lead at halftime over the Illini. 17-14. That game up in Minneapolis. So the Hawks are trotting onto the field now. Kirk Ferentz leading the way. And he'll uh, meet our Rob Brooks on the Iowa sideline. Let's go to Robbie. Okay, Dolph, uh, appreciate it. Of course, this is a um, kind of a different scenario. Different ours, route. Uh, the a coach, a different yeah. route to get to, to Actually, get to you. Um, haven't been able to find Yeah, coach he's Ferris looking yet. for you. I Where can is see. He? He's, he's looking for you. <laughs> At yeah. the 50-yard uh, the line right now. So, yeah, he's still across the, the way they're talking to the officials. So, yeah, that, trying to uh, figure out which way to go here in the third and fourth quarters. So, well, while he's working his way over to you, it's a, a great time to join the Iowa Lottery's free VIP club. Members receive free plays, special offers, insider news, and can enter promotions to win cash and other great prizes. Uh, visit ialottery.com/vip to learn more. Go ahead, Robbie. Coach, uh, defensively, obviously, uh, just 29 yards for Northwestern. Uh, keeping things in front, tackling in space been good. 
Yeah, it's uh, really happy with what they're doing. They've done a great job. And, uh, you know, uh, if we come up with a turnover, too, that'd be great. But doing a really good job there. Some good things on special teams. Some opportunities we missed. And then, uh, you know, certainly offensively, just got to, you know, got to quit on ourselves. We move the ball first couple drives, uh, self-destructed inside the 35. And, yeah, just got to try to eliminate those errors. Got different combos up front, but on offense, uh, it seemed like you did control field position. Yeah, we did. And, uh, you know, it's just we got to come out with points. And, you know, in some ways, we left nine points right the first half. So we got to start over again here and try to uh, try to come out with points. 0-0. Zero, zero. Thanks, Rob. And that's uh, the key thing. You look at it, now it's a 30-minute football game, as Coach talks about um, all the time. We'll kind of keep our eye on that offensive line and see if we um, can't generate um, some points uh, when given an opportunity. Yeah, he said, uh, you know, start over 0-0. Zero, zero. It's literally 0-0. Zero, zero. Rob Brooks with Coach Ferentz on the Hawkeye sideline. But let's talk a little basketball. We know the Hawkeyes can score. They're both men and women, and they both kick off their new season. Uh, next week, uh, the Hawkeye men host North Dakota. Actually, the women tip off on uh, Monday night against uh, Fairleigh Dickinson, FDU. Caitlin Clark leading the charge again for the Hawkeye women. As the wins and losses start counting now, and the Hawkeyes of uh, Fran McCaffrey entertain North Dakota on uh, Tuesday night. Here, both games on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Rob Brooks will have the uh, ladies' call on Monday night. I'll be at uh, Carver with Bobby Hansen on Tuesday night and just as Eddie is well prepared and fired up ready to go each game day so is Bobby Hanson look forward to another year with Bobby well you guys get a lot of nights together <laughs> you and I are only, we only get 12 well, 13 of the bowl game but... and 14 if we can somehow get get to Indianapolis oh yeah huh? well, well it's all out there it is it's right there uh, for the Hawks but they got to find a way somehow, some way to get in the end zone or at least kick field goals. I mean, the only scoring chance, uh, Drew Stevens had plenty of leg into that 54-yard field goal, but this cross win here at Wrigley Field just pushed it right into the right upright. Yeah, see, it's kind of open down there on that end of the field, it too. It is. That's so that wind is left more field effective. Area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But a new half, buddy boy, right? Yeah. The lights have come on at Wrigley. And Iowa won the toss and uh, took the ball first, so the Hawks will kick off to Northwestern to start the second half. No score. As we head to the third quarter. It's Anderman. Just look at this. Andrew Mueller had 11 tackles. For yeah, the middle linebacker. I'd, He's special. I'd try to get somebody on him. Well, I, I don't think it's been for a lack of trying. It's just he's he's that good. And and Aiden Hubbard, who had three sacks last week against Maryland, he's got Northwestern's only sack. So here we go, new half. Coco Azuma is back deep at the goal line. Anthony Tyus, one of those talented running backs for the Wildcats as well. He's the up man. And here comes Drew Stevens. Northwestern will take the wind, the breeze in the third period. And we're underway. Ball is a high end over end kick taken at the uh, fair caught, I should say, at the five yard line by Azuma. That was planned. And so the ball will come out to the 25 yard line. That's where Northwestern puts it in play first and 10. Yeah, he's looking at the coaching staff and going, that ball was on the seven-yard line. Could have returned and it. I had a good return, and so he's not very happy with the coaching staff's decision. He's one of those talented safeties. He had the interception against Maryland last week uh, deep in uh, Northwestern Territory that sealed the deal for the Wildcats. Twin receivers go left. Single receiver to the right for the Wildcats. Tyus is in the game, and he's going to get the ball as he races out of the backfield. Thrown at him by Sullivan. Boy, that looked like a hold on uh, Sebastian Castro. Uh, excuse me, Joseph Hyman starts the uh, third quarter at tailback. No flag, but Castro ran right through the hold and forced him out of bounds for little or no gain. Well, you talk about pursuit. That receiver caught the ball. There were five Hawkeyes within two yards of him. No gain, second and ten. Now they're going to run Porter off left guard and tackle, and he gets... 
way late, but there's a flag at the foot of the offensive lineman. And I see the holding call coming from the... Holding offense, number 87, 10-yard penalty, second down. Well, they're going to get senior tight end Thomas Gordon. He lined up trying to create some room for Cam Porter, and the sixth penalty of the day will send Northwestern over 60 yards. So the penalty, the Hawks will take the penalty, give the down back at second and 20 for Northwestern. And the ball is at the 15-yard line of the Wildcats. Second half just underway, no score. They run a stack, receiver set wide right. Sullivan's looking that way. Now he's going to tuck and keep the ball, and he's grabbed by Jay Higgins and spun out of bounds after a gain of three. Just great pursuit by Iowa. And a smart deal there by Higgins. He didn't slam him down. He had him uh, in his arms, and he just let him go after he got out of bounds. The Big Ten's leading tackler. What a year he's having after Jack Campbell yeah. uh, had a spectacular career. Jay waited his turn, and boy, he's making up for non-playing time. Third down. Third down, almost 17. They run straight ahead with Porter, and he is grabbed from behind and flung down by Jay Higgins again. <laughs> and Logan Lee got him underneath, submarined him. Man, oh man, Phil Parker's defense is just... We've run out of superlatives. Yeah, I mean, and it's a different personnel every year, different types of defenses. Uh, you know, good up front, good in the middle. Next year, great in the secondary. It's just two number one draft choices lost from last year. There might be a couple defense. number ones again this year. We know of one. So here comes the punt from about the five yard line by Hunter Renner. And it's blocked. Punt is blocked. It's rolling around on the ground. Northwestern. Picks it up, but it's a block punt covered by Charlie Manjuri, the tight end, and here may be the break the Hawks have been looking for. Well, Thompson is jumping around like he was the one who blocked it. Well, he got a block for a safety earlier this year, got hurt, and now the sophomore from Hempstead High School in Dubuque, we think, has another one. Yeah, it looked like from the replay, he got his left arm up. Let's look at the replay. As Renner stepped right into it, oh, he just came across. He got blocked, but stuck that big left paw out there and smacked that football right in the nose. So here the Hawkeye offense is first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Come on, Deacon. Turn that beacon on. Ostrenga, the tight end, goes in motion. Hill on a play fake roll out to the right. Has the tight end, Ostrenga. He stumbles forward inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Nice play, well executed at both ends. And a gain of seven. Xander Mueller, the uh, middle linebacker on the stop. Yeah, and that play has worked earlier. The bootleg, the quick throw to the tight end. Hawks' first trip into the Case IH red zone, sponsored by Case IH and your local Case IH dealers. Learn more at caseih.com slash Hawkeyes. Second down three. Been a while since they've been in this good of a position. Second and short. Hand off and a stop and go move by LaShawn Williams. And he plows inside right guard and tackle. And the scrum reaches the 15-yard line. That should be good enough for a first down. Well, I don't see the signal yet. Well, no, they are going to be a little short. Well, now well, they now, now they moving. change it. First now and ten. Moving. Tackle made there by Grayson Metz, the outside linebacker. But by then, the, the offensive line had a good head of steam, and LaShawn ran right up their backside. Ball just inside the 15-yard line. No score early third quarter. The Hawks have blocked a punt attempt. Now trying to turn it into points. Here's LaShawn Williams. He breaks free off right tackle and dives inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. That's a gain of almost 6 on first down. Carmine Bastone, the tackle from St. Charles, prevented further damage. Yeah, and that was Williams all the way. He ran through a tackle at the line of scrimmage and just kept going. And that was Devin Turner, the safety, and he usually doesn't whiff. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. Tells you how strong LaShawn is with those trunks. Second down, call it four. Maybe five. Ostrenga again stands up, goes in motion. 
Here's the snap. Hill up under center. Gives to Jazz Patterson. He blows through a hole at Garden Center. Gets inside the five. Nice game by Jazz Patterson. And they're going to call him just short. It's going to be third and about a half a yard. Xander Mueller, Devin Turner combined on the stop again for Northwestern. 10.45 to play. Third quarter. Well, now they move the ball back outside the five, so apparently his knee was down. Third and one. They need to get to the four. Hayden Large comes in. Tight eye. They're going to try and push Deacon Hill for the first down. Looks like the spot's going to give us a first down. Well, I don't know how you can tell in that mass of humanity. Oh, I see the head linesman yeah. has his foot down at the four. It's first and goal, <laughs> Iowa. I saw him on the sideline while you were picking out the tackler. I saw those motions come from the sideline. All right. Two or three Wildcats were doing their best to submarine underneath the center and keep Hill from reaching the first down marker, but he did. Now the Hawks need to finish it off. Regani splits to the left. Multiple tight ends out of a tight eye. They're going to run off the left side with Jazz Patterson. He gets down to the two before he stopped. Hole was there. It closed in a hurry. Bo Stevens leading the way. Yep, and a good tackle by, was it Coco Azima? Coco Azima and Bryce Gallagher, the linebacker. We've called his number a lot today. Second down goal at the two. Nine and a half to go third quarter. Hawks trying to dent the scoreboard at Wrigley for the first time today and get the lead. Regani goes right side this time. Large the blocking back for Jazz Patterson. Here's the snap. Play fake. Roll out right. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Iowa. Deacon Hill flips it to Addison Estringa. And the young sophomore from Sun Prairie High School in Wisconsin gets the Hawks on the board. Beautiful play fake to Jazz Patterson. And Deacon with a roll out right just waited for Estringa to clear. That play has worked today. Oh, it has. And I mean, talk about wide open. But they all just took off after Patterson. And with the fullback leading him, too, and the tight end came across from the left side behind the line of scrimmage, and they lost him. He put the ball, Hill did, put it right up in his cage. Addison got those hands up and turned and stepped across the goal line. The point after is good by Stevens. Seven to nothing, Iowa has the lead six minutes into the third quarter. The Hawkeyes go 25 yards, seven plays, and used four minutes. Nothing wrong with that. Touchdown throw of two yards. Hill to Ostringa. 7-0 Hawkeyes. And we're back after this timeout. This is Hawkeye football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I think you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Game day with Hawkeye Village. Get game tickets, free game extravaganza, all you can eat, drinks, and more. Perfect for groups or families. Limited availability. Call 800-424-2957 or email group-sales at hawkeyesports.com. Join the Hawkeye excitement at Hawkeye Village. Leaders know there's no guide to greatness. When everyone else says something can't be done, they know it only hasn't been done yet. True leaders weather the fiercest storms and look deep within themselves to rise above and help others find their way forward. At Great Southern Bank, we're proud to partner with visionaries that help raise the tide for all of us. And when you're ready to bring your vision to life, we'll be right behind you with award-winning support. Full THC cannabis concentrates, vapes, and gummies are available in Iowa legally at select medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Search for Bud and Mary's online to get a card and find a licensed dispensary near you. Hawkeyes find the end zone. 25 yards, 7 plays, 4 minutes of time use. 3.59 to be exact. 
And a two-yard touchdown throw on a beautiful play fake by Deacon Hill to Addison Stringa. Remember, this drive started after the Ontario Thompson block punt, his uh, second of the season. All of our scoring drives this year brought to you by Shields. Boy, it's good to yell out Shields. Shields name. Yeah. Haven't done that in a while. For all your Hawkeye gear, Shields is right there with you in Des Moines, Sioux City, Iowa City, and Cedar Falls. Shields. 7 to nothing, Iowa. 9.04 to go third quarter. Now the defense needs to do what it's been doing all afternoon long. It's a run up by Drew Stevens, and this time Coco Azuma may return. Now, <laughs> forget that. He fair caught the first one, and Stevens says, you're not getting this one. He blasted it right through the end zone. Northwestern will take over first and 10 at its own 25. Here in Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Corn benefits the entire state, feeding our livestock, nourishing our families, and providing homegrown, clean-burning fuel for our vehicles. Thank you, Iowa's corn farmers. First career touchdown for young Addison Estrenga. And hopefully the first of many. Porter the tailback, Sullivan the quarterback. He's been bottled up all day by this Iowa defense. Let's see what happens on this series. Joe Evans puts the pressure on him, gets him to force to the outside, and he's run out of bounds after a short gain. So it was Deontay, or Ethan Herkett, who was putting yeah. the pressure on him from the opposite Herkett side. Just, he, he, like, disappeared. So there was an official looking right at it, so I guess it wasn't holding. Joe Evans gets credit for the tackle. No gain for Brendan Sullivan. Second down, 10. Box rushing four out of the gun. Snap from center. Here it is. Low snap. Sullivan picks it up. He's hit by Castro as he throws the ball. Oh, the blitz was called at the right time, but Sebastian just couldn't quite get there. And the pass complete to Cam Johnson on the wing for a first down. Yeah, that was a great throw by the quarterback. He got really hit, but it was a good timing throw to it to the outside. A, a square out. Hard charge, a stop right in front of Cooper DeGene. Nothing Cooper could do about it. And Cam Johnson, who's their best receiver. Now, here's their best tailback and Cam Porter, and he gets loose for three or four more. The line of scrimmage was the 36, which was a gain of 11 for the first down. Quinn Schulte and Y.A. Black combined to stop Cam Porter, and he got four right to the 40-yard line of Northwestern. Second down, six. Northwestern trying to sustain it, a drive. Single receivers, two to the left, one to the right for Northwestern. On a play fake, Sullivan to throw. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. He's got some running room. Gets the first down. He's hit at the 48-yard line, and that'll be a first down. He can run yep. if he gets outside the hash. Yeah, they almost had him trapped, but... Uh... They did. Joe Evans was... Putting the heat on him again. Good blocking on Joe. He just couldn't quite reach him. Sullivan got to the outside, gained eight. Seven ten to go third quarter. Seven nothing Hawkeyes. Northwestern has yet to reach 50 yards of total offense. They're close with 47. Sullivan to throw again. Now he's going to be swarmed under. He I don't, yeah, I think he did get back to the line of scrimmage, but Logan Lee has put together some minutes here. Yeah, you know, and he's from this area, and so, you know, he had walked out as one of the captains, which is the first time this year, but I'm glad that that happened. He took out the interference, and Jay Higgins right behind him. So he actually lost a yard. Second down, 11. Here's Sullivan to pass. Nope. Quarterback draw, and he's knocked down in Iowa territory at the 46 by Xavier Wampa. And, uh, oh, Sullivan, slow to get up. Now, Ben Bryant, now he's okay. Looks like he's okay. Ben Bryant, who was their starter, has been injured and out for three weeks. Northwestern's going to look at third down and four. That was, she showed pass all the way, and then he tucked and ran. That was a quarterback draw all the way. Yeah. And actually, he hit his head on his own offensive lineman. Oh, that's what it was. He was a little shaky when he got up. Yeah. Third down, four. The ball at the Iowa 46. 
Here's the snap to Sullivan. He's straight back in the pocket. Throws to the wing. And is it caught or incomplete? Now they're calling it a catch. And that's enough for a first down. Cam Johnson again. He's their go-to guy. And they're picking on the corners. Yep. And, Quick uh, outs. Yeah, that's nothing you can do about that pass right there. Now, I don't know. I think they'll review that. I think that ball hit the ground. All right. Well, we'll see if old legalized Podolak is uh, correct here. Yeah, here come the whistles. Yeah, I, looking at the one review. The was a completed catch. The play's under further review. Timeout well, on the field. Cooper DeGene was waving his arms immediately, and they didn't call invalid for a catch. Yeah. <laughs> he was saying that was incomplete. He did not catch the ball. <laughs> All plays under review this season on the Hawkeye Radio Network are sponsored by Athletico. Physical therapy is usually the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or even surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, the sooner you can start changing everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. Rob Brooks has an update on the U.S. Cellular sideline. Robbie? Starters uh, along that offensive line, uh, Logan Jones um, out for today, uh, right foot in a walking boot, boot and uh, Rusty Feth uh, still in uniform. One thing, too, Dolph, we haven't seen um, running back Caleb Johnson. I don't remember him uh, playing at all, but he is dressed uh, on the sideline. It's been um, Sean Williams and uh, Jazz Patterson yeah. the entire way. Good point, Robbie. I forgot about Caleb. They've got so many good backs. Well, keep bird dogging that story for us. Time out on the field. Iowa leading Northwestern 7 to nothing. This is Hawkeye football presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. When the game goes into overtime, But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Seven nothing Iowa. We come back to live action. It was an incomplete pass on Northwestern. Eagle Eyes Podolak had it all the way, and instead of first and ten, it's fourth down and four. So Northwestern will punt. At least they're showing punt from the Iowa 46. Hunter Renner had the last one blocked. Ontario Thompson doing the honors. Here he comes again. He's got that rugby style run. Here's the punt, and it gets into the end zone. Uh, even when Cooper DeGene is nowhere near the football, he draws a lot of attention. Northwestern's gunners took their eye off the ball and eye on Cooper, and it hit and rolled into the end zone. Hawks catch a break there. And that is two big plays there in a row. Not a first down, and the ball's punted into the end zone. So uh, in a game this close, those are two plays we can look back at. And Will, 46-yard punt. Of course, a net of 26. Hawkeyes have it first and 10, leading 7-0 at their own 20-yard line. Okay, running game. Yep. Short passing game. Do your thing. Hill under center. LeSean Williams looks off the left side and busts through. 
bounced off a couple a couple Northwestern defenders ran into each other and into LaShawn. They bounced off each other. Again, it shows you how strong he is from the waist on down. Yeah, he kept his feet moving and his shoulder pads forward, his head in front of his shoulder pads, and broke it for almost a first down. He now has a 1,000 career yards rushing. Congratulations, Lee Sean Williams. He's far from done. Kenny Soares, the linebacker, and Theron Johnson, the defensive end, get credit for the tackle. He got upfield across the 25, a gain of seven. It's second down, second down three. Hill running out to his right. Throw it away, young man. There you go. Thank you. Deacon Hill ran back toward the goal line, had Xander Mueller draped all over him. Well, and almost, finally, finally got rid of the football. But it was almost to the wrong person. Yeah, he, he wasn't going to intercept that thing. It was well beyond, it was off his fingertips. But Deacon's got to. Number three, Brown is now playing as 81. And he, Deacon's got to get rid of the ball sooner than yeah. that. Live for third down and three, which the Hawks do have. Caleb Brown comes into the game, but he's wearing number 81. So he changed from three. Maybe they're going to put Cooper back in offense more. Third down, third down and three, and they run a draw handoff. And the second effort may have gotten the first down for the Hawkeyes. LeSean Williams. Boy, he runs hard, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He gets everything he can out of every run. I think this is the first down. I think it is, too. Bryce Gallagher. He's 235 pounds, and LaShawn just dragged him across the 30 to the 31. First and 10, Iowa. 340 to play third quarter. Hawkeyes have a touchdown, the only touchdown of the game. Deacon Hill to tight end Addison Estringa. Tight end you. Positive plays again. Here comes a run blitz, and not much for Jazz Patterson. Boy, he took a, a shot. And we got a flag down. I don't like it. That's normally when you get a chop block. Holding. Nope, holding. Offense, number 76, 10 yard penalty, first down. And that's on center Tyler Ellsbury, who's in for the injured Logan Jones. Oh, boy. Yeah, Jazz got three or four positive yards, but the hold will nullify that and take it back to the 20, the original line of scrimmage, where it's first and 20. Tyler Ellsbury out of Byron, Illinois, and Sean Considine is the head coach out at Byron High School. Sean, proud of the young man. Here's a quick handoff to Patterson and Northwestern, knowing that Iowa at first and 20 is not going to be very liberal down here. Patterson bumper cars ahead for two yards. Aiden Hubbard on the stop along with Jalen Pate. Not second down 18. Best you can do here is unless somebody gets wide open run the ball, run the clock and turn it over to Torrey Taylor. Yep. Don't make a mistake. Don't turn it over. Caleb Brown goes wide right as does Reganey. Nobody to the left side other than the tight end. They're going to run off the left side. Well, Sean Williams ganged up on at the 25. He's shy of the 25. Third down. Third down and close to 15 yards. Theron Johnson and Xander Mueller. We've been calling their names uh, a lot today. Mueller's got 15 tackles, 10 solo. And uh, Gallagher has a half a dozen. Jay Higgins with eight leads Iowa. Third down, 16 for Deacon Hill and the Hawks. Now wide left comes uh, Jacob Bostic. We haven't seen him in a while. And the Hawks run a draw handoff for perhaps two yards. So, Torrey Taylor will come on and punt the ball with a minute 35 to go, third quarter. And Iowa leading 7 to nothing. Hawks have had the ball for 24 minutes today, 16 for Northwestern. So they won the time of possession. They've made fewer mistakes. And Iowa has Torrey Taylor. He steps into another one. And it's an end over end punt. Hits at the 30. 
and is grabbed there by the Hawkeyes. Ball started to come back upfield, but uh, fortunately Kyler Fisher got in the way. So the Hawkeye defense will trot onto the field as we step out. Iowa football is sponsored by Authentic Brand. Hawk fans, we're bringing you the game live, game day coverage in the incredible style and comfort of Authentic Brand. The Authentic Brand jackets are comfy today, aren't they? No, and you've no. got a what, little it's, sweater pullover yeah. there, sweatshirt pullover, uh, followed by your Authentic jacket. Ask for Authentic Brand by name at your local retailers or visit Authentic-Brand.com for a 24-7 shopping experience. And remember, at the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best-tasting hot dog. Wimmers, the official hot dog of the Iowa Hawkeyes. 38-yard punt by Torrey Taylor. And with Iowa leading 7 to nothing, come back in a minute here in the final minute of the third quarter. This is Hawkeye Football Bum, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Welcome back to the Nitrogen Stabilizers Draft. Up the night technology, first pick, just like the last 46 years. That's what we love about this sport. We just don't know. We know. It keeps nitrogen in the corn's root zone for eight weeks, compared with two weeks for others. With the first pick, farmers select. Up the night technology from Corteva Agriscience. Ah, that's it. I'm going for a pretzel. The pick is in. Up the night technology from Corteva Agriscience with InServ and Instinct Next Gen Nitrogen Stabilizers. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Treat yourself to one of our award-winning entrees at the Machine Shed. Come get your hands around one of our famous pork tenderloins, our most popular sandwich. Served either deep-fried golden brown or unbreaded and grilled. Or try our roasted stuffed Iowa chop that is stuffed with a warm apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Trust me, you won't regret it. This is Jeff Grunder, and we can't wait to have you over for dinner at the Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Northwestern takes over at its own uh, 33-yard line. Quarterback Brendan Sullivan, 6 of 11 for 26 yards on the day against this Iowa offense. But they're starting to look for Cam Porter, or excuse me, Cam Johnson more. Here's the snap. Play fake to the tailback, a rollout to the left, and the ball's dropped. Now it's picked up by Iowa. Jay Higgins, Johnny on the spot, grabbed it. As the tight end got backpedal and stumbled and dropped the ball, but they're calling it incomplete, and I think that's the right call. Yeah, I think it, and it was not a lateral. Thomas Gordon, the intended receiver. Second down, 10. Burkett was getting some pressure on Sullivan, and he may have dumped it sooner than he wanted to. And the tight end, Gordon, was really covered up well by uh, Fisher, the linebacker. Second down, 10. Tailback is Anthony Tyus. Here's a throw to the left side, caught. Up near the 40, first down by Bryce Kurtz. He's got 30 catches on the air. First time they've gone after him today. Now they say he's a yard shy. Knee down at the 42-yard uh, line. Jamari Harris in coverage, and it's third down one. Northwestern one of nine on third down today. Got to believe they're going to run something straight ahead here. Yep, there they go. And the first down by Anthony Tyus, just across the, uh, maybe the 45-yard line of Northwestern. That'll be the last play of the third quarter with Iowa leading 7-0. Deontay Craig and Jay Higgins combined for the stop. Through three quarters, the Hawks leading Northwestern 7-0. It's the end of the third quarter. Timeout. Fans, when you need that big star to carry the team, look no further than the Honda Pilot. 
redesigned, bold, and more powerful. This eight-seater can't be beat. Carry on at your central Midwest Honda dealer. Make sure you drop by Richardson Honda up in Dubuque. See Chad Richardson and the crew and their great service department. Uh, out in West Burlington, it's Brad Deary at Brad Deary Honda. 7-0 Hawks, 15 minutes of football remaining. This is Hawkeye Football presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Kubota tractors offer ultimate versatility with the quality and reliability you need to do the job right. Stop by and get the number one selling tractor brand in the Midwest for a great price. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% APR for 84 months. Now through December 31st, 2023. See us or go to KubotaUSA.com for more information. Check out Kubota's winning lineup. Visit KubotaUSA.com to find your local dealer. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Singing, take me out to the ball game here at Wrigley. Michael Wilbon, a Northwestern graduate, well known journalist, TV analyst, loves Bobby Hansen and the Bulls. He still talks about that era. Every time we go to Welsh Ryan Arena, Michael's usually there for Northwestern basketball, and he comes over and gives Bobby Hansen a big hug. <laughs> <clears throat> Through three quarters, the Hawkeyes leading Northwestern 7 0. Northwestern has a first down at uh, the uh, Iowa 45 yard line. So second possession in a row, they've reached Iowa territory. And had to punt from midfield last time. So the Hawkeye defense, hopefully with enough gas in the tank, it's 7-0 Iowa. Third quarter touchdown throw. Short flip from Deacon Hill to Addison Estringa of two yards after a block punt by Ontario Thompson. Special teams and defense have been spectacular again today. Can they continue to hold serve for 15 more minutes? Hi to Matt, who's in a tree stand in Minnesota. Deer hunting season's here. Teresa's in Dyersville listening in. Scott in Tucson. In Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Robin's there for a wedding. Kurt Kreider and his family are out in Vegas. Chad's in Bel Air, uh, Bel Air, Maryland. Hi to Susan in Cedar Rapids. Kim in Clayton, North Carolina. Coles in Hannibal, Missouri tuned into the Hawkeyes, as is David in Ankeny. And Matt in Royal, Iowa. Got more. Got everybody checking in on Twitter and Facebook. We'll get to more, but let's go to the fourth quarter. Northwestern football. Here's Sullivan. Single tailback. He rolls out to his left. This is a quarterback keeper all the way. And he is hit hard as he got up to the 48-yard line. I think I said the 45-yard line of Iowa a moment ago. It was the 45 of Northwestern. Well, we got a new quarterback, Eddie. Jack Lausch, sophomore from Brother Rice High School in Chicago. So uh, Sullivan's taking a pounding today. Well, I think that when he his uh, offensive lineman hit his helmet on that last series, yeah, good as point. He, as he went down. Higgins and per Jeremiah Pittman get credit for the tackle. Here's Lausch. He's going to keep the ball again. He's in there to run the football and is forced out of bounds as he streaked around the left end of the Iowa 48. That's a gain of four. Jamari Harris was there to make sure he didn't do any further damage. And now he came out. And Lausch is coming off the field as Sullivan... Yeah, Sullivan's back in. He might have had an equipment adjustment, too, with that helmet. Third down and four for Northwestern at the Iowa 48. 
They're going to run to the outside with a tailback. Trying to get to the corner. Doesn't. And is flung back. But he may, may be close to that first down chain. Let's see where they're at. Yeah, at the 40-yard line, it is a first down. Anthony Tyus, with a great second effort, got the needed four yards. Yeah, he got outside, and I guess it was Castro who took a bad angle coming up. Here we go. A quick snap of the football, and here's Sullivan. He goes down. He had Wampa bearing down on him, and he made the right judgment there. He just slid on the seat of his pants. Right about into first base. Yeah. And uh, picked up a couple. He doesn't look too healthy the way he got up. and He doesn't. He's moving awful back. slow, but he's the veteran out there. And he'll stay in. No gain, they say. Second down, 10. Ball at the Iowa 39-yard line. 7-0 Hawkeyes early fourth quarter. Here's Tyus getting to the outside. And he gets decent yardage inside the 35 to the 33. Jamari Harris and Quinn Schulte combine on the stop again. So Northwestern's going to look at another third down and short. Third down and two, maybe three yards. Twelve and a half to go in the game. I think they're in four down territory here. Yeah, I think so too. This is... Uh, well, they got to the 33 last time, and they're at the 32 right now. 31-yard line, so this is their deepest penetration. And they get another first down off the carry by Cam Porter. So they played three tailbacks today, and they're all over 200. Well, no, uh, two of them are over 220 pounds. Nice game there. Good blocking in the middle. Nick Jackson with a tackle, but a first down for the Wildcats, and they're going with a hurry up, trying to wear out the Hawkeyes. Here's Jamari Harris coming up with contain. And knocks Cam Porter down at the 25-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Ethan Herkett helped out. And they give him three on first down. Second down, seven. The ball at the 23-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Seven-nothing Iowa. We played three minutes here in the fourth period. Hawks rushing four. Here's Sullivan in the pistol. Snap. Straight back to pass. Now he's flushed, rolls out right, throws. Has a man caught inside the 20 to the 18-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Cam Porter released from the backfield. And we got a flag back at the line of scrimmage. Holding. Holding. Offense. Offense. Number 68, 10-yard penalty, second down. Well, they've had equal guilty partners and uh, parties in that offensive line. I think almost everybody's been called for a hold today. The first on Josh Preeb, the uh, senior from Niles, Michigan. That's a big flag there. Northwestern, that'll be their seventh penalty and over 70 yards. That's hard to get back when you're playing the Iowa defense. Yeah, and he, he just had no choice, but he was getting beat by Logan Lee. And he just tackled him. Logan's had a heck of a game. Second down, 17. Ball back outside the 35. Sullivan throws to the sideline. It's caught, but is it a catch? They're saying it is a catch by Cam Johnson. One official couldn't tell. The other one made the... Now we're going to get a good look at it. Yeah, now, did he have his foot down when he secured the football, though? That's, you know, Northwestern is going to go with a quick snap, so the play stands. Straight ahead running for Anthony Tyus on third down and four. And he's well short of the first down marker. Got maybe a couple. 10.26 to go. Start keeping an eye on that clock. Iowa leading 7-0. Jay Higgins and Joe Evans on the stop. I'm surprised. I thought they'd take the field goal here. Fourth down and one. Iowa sends linebacker Fisher in. Wampa comes out. Now they're, they're at least showing that they're going for it. Fourth down, a long one. That's a big gamble against this defense. Here's Sullivan. Yeah, they're... Well, no, they do a toss sweep to the outside. And I don't know. Did he get it? Looks like he did. They did a, they, a long count like they were trying to pull Iowa offside. Yeah. And then at the last second, they snapped it. And Anthony Tyus got the first down. They give him forward motion to uh, 
to the 18-yard line. Nine and a half to play in the game. Iowa 7, Northwestern nothing. Wildcats move the chains, and now they're in the, the red zone. 13-yard line of the Hawkeyes, inside, just inside the 15. Here's a fake on the draw handoff. Sullivan keeps the ball, and he's gang-tackled at the 12. Fell forward for a yard. Hawks weren't biting on that no, one. No, and that was a very good job. Uh, like we were talking to Coach about, you can't let that quarterback get outside. And it's a great job of getting out there and make sure he couldn't get outside. And it was Nick Jackson. Yeah, he was one of four Hawkeyes right there. Ball at the 12. And second down nine for the first down. The 12 of Iowa. Sullivan has Cam Porter next to him in the backfield. Three receivers. He's looking for one of them. Fires and incomplete. The ball was thrown behind. Oh, oh now they get a, a late flag on Cooper DeGene. Bryce Kurtz was the intended receiver. This ball is uncatchable. Well, there's no doubt it's uncatchable. That's interference. Defense. Number two. Or three. Excuse me. Ball be placed at the two-yard line. First down. Wow, what a big play. Let's look at the replay. Kurtz was the outside receiver. They had three receivers, two in the slot. Kurtz, oh, my goodness. Kurtz uh, just took an inside angle, and... The ball was overthrown. There was... Uh, Cooper uh, had his hands on him, but it, I don't know that that classified as, as a, a, a pass interference, but it's going to go that way. Iowa's uh, third penalty of the afternoon is a big one. Now it's first and goal at the two. 7 nothing Iowa. Wildcats trying to get the equalizing touchdown. There's the handoff straight ahead, and down to the one center and left guard comes 220 pound cam porter ball inside the one second down goal eight and a half minutes to play in the game northwestern clearly their best sustained drive of the day 15 plays will be number 16. Here we go. Well, they tried a, a quarterback sneak, and I I don't think he got any gain at all. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he's put the ball down inside the one again. It'll be third down and goal. Third down and goal. Terrific job by the Hawkeyes pushing back there, Eddie. Yeah, we got officials time out here. I guess it's Unstack people. Caleb Tiernan. The left tackle was the last one to get up. Well, they got the turf torn up there. Now the Northwestern crowd having it say the Iowa crowd is saying, hold them out. Third down and goal. 7.40 to play. Well, if you like defense, this is the place to be today. Hawks got one, two, three, four, five, six guys with their hand in the dirt. Sullivan under center. Tight end in motion. Here's the handoff to Tyus. He's met and driven back by Jay Higgins. The ball's on the ground. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. Tyus held on to it. I thought the Hawkeyes were claiming they had it. They were jumping up and down. It's fourth and goal inside the one. <laughs> yeah. Last week, Northwestern stopped Maryland on three straight goal line pushes. Boy, Higgins, did he deliver a blow to Cam Porter. Fourth down and goal. Ball at the one. He may have lost yardage. They got to try and get Sullivan to the outside. You would think. Or somebody going outside. Sullivan tries it again. I don't it. think he got Didn't in. I don't think he got in. Both linesmen say no. Yep. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a stand by that Iowa front. <laughs> you think we're in Kinnick Stadium. Oh, my goodness. What a stand. Uh, first and goal from inside the one. How'd it look like down on the sideline, Rob? 
Scott Dolph uh, heading right into a huge contingent of Iowa fans. They are 50 rows deep, and boy, did they help. And this takes you back to that Syracuse uh, four-down yep. uh, stop that we saw several years ago. Unbelievable job up front. Yeah, and that was eight downs, remember, because uh, the safety got called for pass interference. Yes. Eight, they wouldn't have got it in either. <laughs> no, and they could have tried eight here, and it wasn't going to happen. I, I, Boy, I really got to, I don't know who's calling the plays. Mike Bajakian? They, uh, I know Mike's a de- uh, defensive coordinator. They got a new offensive coordinator, but I'd have to question four straight drives against one of the best rush defenses in America. And the turf was really bad there. You see him repairing the turf. Again? You don't think they were motivated. They've given up one rushing touchdown all season long. Yeah. It's still one rushing touchdown. Iowa holds on to the 7-0 lead. They're going to take some time to repair the field that's dug up there at the 1-2 yard line. 7-0 Hawks, six and a half minutes to go. Deacon Hill's got to lead them out of the forest from the one. This is Hawkeye football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Back to action here in uh, Chicago at Wrigley Field. They've got the field repaired. Iowa has the ball at its own one. Deacon Hill on first and ten ran a simple quarterback sneak and didn't get much. So now Northwestern's turn to gang up on the Iowa offensive line. 7 nothing Iowa. Clock will run at 6-19 to play. They still have a problem with the well, curve. They, the yeah, they dug up. Can they move the ball to the other hash mark? I don't think so. Well, they'll they'll call time and let's step out for a 10-second station identification break. Station ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Football. Look at it. I see... 7 nothing. Iowa hangs on to the lead. They continue to, they, they've dug up the field again after one play. We might have to get a road grader in here and <laughs> scrape it off and resod it. But back to uh, Wrigley in a minute. This is Hawkeye Football presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to Wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. 
the choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? Look no further than FS Seed. FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Your local FS crop specialist is ready to take your farm and yields to the next level. Ready to change the game with bin-busting yields at harvest? Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com. Welcome back to Wrigley Field. They continue to repair the uh, around the one or two yard line. I mean, you've got 10, 12, 300 pounders with those big old cleats digging up the ground and uh, they've had to repair it again. Up in Minneapolis, Illinois has a 21-20 lead on Minnesota with 11 and a half minutes to play there. So tight games in the Big Ten West all over today. Nebraska lost at Michigan State. Wisconsin lost at Indiana. Here the Hawkeyes lead Northwestern 7-0. 619 to play in the ball game, but Iowa has the ball at its own one yard line. They're trying to drive it out any old way to give Torrey Taylor some punting room after a tremendous goal line stand by the Iowa defense. Ostringa, the tight end, goes in motion. Deacon Hill's going to run straight forward and squirms for two or three. I think he got, he got all the way out to the six. Yeah, he's just shy of the five. Actually, they're going to spot him at the three where his knee went down. Oh, boy, I didn't see that. I thought he was on top of somebody. And we've got a big old gopher hole again. <laughs> I mean, can't, they, apparently they can't go to the other hash mark. No, I, I don't know the rules. Um, I mean, the other hash mark. Well, you remember back when Gail Sayers was running here, they didn't have oh, really good field yeah, conditions. He, the Kansas Comet was something else. Was the day he got five touchdowns. Yeah, that, but he also swap. suffered a serious knee injury. Yeah, got right here in the end zone. With the 49ers, yeah. Time out on the field. Hawkeye football is brought to you by Iowa Corn. And the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination, both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. 7-0 Hawkeyes, 5.49 to go. This is Hawkeye Football, sponsored by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Can you think of anything that costs the same today as it did 10 years ago? There isn't much. That is, unless you're a mid-American energy customer. Thanks to all the renewable energy we're generating, our customers pay nearly the same rate for electricity today as they did back when we were all singing, Call Me Maybe. And with MidAmerican making even more investments in clean energy, you can count on enjoying those same affordable rates for the next decade. Now that's obsessively, relentlessly at your service. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, what? He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more. So fans can fan. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Well, here we go. Third down, eight. Iowa has managed to grind it out to the three-yard line, its own three, leading seven to nothing. 
And uh, I'm guessing that Deacon's going to either keep the ball hill and run another quarterback sneak or a simple handoff. And the handoff is to LaShawn Williams, and he gets out to the 7 or 8. So a little more breathing room for Torrey Taylor. Oh, now we got an injured Hawkeye down. And it looks like it's Bo Stevens. Oh, boy. That poor kid just can't stay healthy. He's grabbing for his left left knee. And this young guy highly thought of coming in as a youngster out of Blue Springs, Missouri. He's a redshirt freshman. And finally healthy enough to play. And he's had to come in for the injured Nick DeYoung. At guard, 6'6", 307, Blue Springs High School. And you know Liddell Betts is from Blue Springs. And let's hope uh, it's just a momentary dinger. Hawkeye football is sponsored by Quick Star. Hawk fans rev up the excitement of the Iowa Corn Seahawk Series with unleaded 88's winning drive. Pump eight gallons or more of unleaded 88 with quick rewards at your nearest Quick Star. And you're in the running for fantastic prizes all season long. Show your Hawkeye spirit by filling up with unleaded 88 at any Iowa Hawkeye branded pump. Discover more at quickstar.com slash winning drive. That's quickstar.com slash winning drive. Quickstar, a proud partner of Hawkeye football. 7-0 Iowa leading with five and a half minutes to go here at Wrigley Field. We'll come back with more coverage of today's game with Northwestern after this. This is Hawkeye Football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. With the Hawkeyes, every touchdown is more than just a touchdown. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to make it to the end zone. And while our fields aren't the kind you throw passes on, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Settle the score with superior tools by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes. Go Hawks! Young redshirt freshman uh, guard, Bo Stevens. They brought out a golf cart with a stretcher to get him on there. And something with his left leg. He's already got a heavy brace on that left knee. He's had an assortment of injuries throughout his career, his young career. Redshirt freshman. And, boy, you hate to see that. Yeah, and, you know, when it's something like this, they're worried about joint damage to even get him up and let him limp off the field could be almost a dislocation of the knee oh boy yeah we just saw the replay he was trying to drive his man to the inside and when he put the left leg down it just buckled it just buckled and he crumpled to the ground that's he is in a lot of pain and he knows it yeah and those are tough guys yeah when they show Pain like that. Yeah, it's... he is he is wincing tremendously and oh man, what a bad break. He just who was it? I can't remember the coach. He said knees were not built for football. <laughs> you can try and protect him as much as you can. But uh, that's just a doggone shame for Bo Stevens. Let's check in with Rob Brooks on the Hawkeye sideline, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. Yeah, Dolph, you said it as well. Uh, Dr. Brian Wolf is um, on the cart with uh, Bo Stevens, and they're going to wheel him back uh, into the locker room and um, hope for the best. Kirk Ferentz was out there, and you kind of knew as you saw the replay. Um, he grabbed his knee right away and really didn't move it much at all out there, and you, you can tell he's in a ton of pain. He's been through a lot in his career and was playing well. Torrey Taylor to punt the football from deep in his own end zone and he rifles one out to near midfield it's caught on the run 
And down the near sideline, they're going to have great field position again near the Iowa 20 is A.J. Henning. That's a bad punt. Yeah, he's, Torrey. He's had two or three bad punts yeah, today. I don't know if his uh, leg is just wearing out on him or what. but And that one, uh, I shouldn't say it was with the wind, but a crosswind. So the Iowa defense is put in a tough spot. Again, a 37-yard punt by Taylor. And he's he's been out there a lot today. But you're right, Ed. He, he, he least of all, would not be happy with that. He was... Uh, yeah, no hang time. And that's what he's known for. He's forced out by Kale Kalarik, defensive back. Northwestern has it first and 10 at the Iowa 22 after a 20-yard return. 23-yard line. Here's Sullivan. They run straight ahead. Now trying to bounce it to the outside. is Anthony Tyus. And he doesn't get far. He gets inside the 20 to the 18. It's a gain of four. Second down six. Under five minutes to go. Iowa leading 7-0. Tyus lone setback. They have twin receivers to the wide side. Single receiver to the short side of the field. And they're going to run the big running back Tyus again. And he is swallowed up by Ethan Herkett. Now check that, Deontay Craig. Great Junior play. from Fort Wayne keeps making big play after big play, doesn't he? Yeah, he got off the block, and that that guy's as big as he is. I don't know how they gave him a yard, but they did. Third down and five for Northwestern. This snap will have a little over four minutes to play in the game. Now empty backfield for Sullivan and the Wildcats. He's got five receivers set. Long snap count. Now he's back to pass. Nothing open over the middle. He's going to run out to his right. Going to try and run for the first down. Nope, he has the first down at the, uh, or maybe not. Bryce Kurtz, who's come alive here in the second half, caught the ball and backed out of bounds. It is a first down. He got right to the first down marker. Good play by Sullivan. Primary receiver was covered up, so he, he can escape with his legs. He got out in the right flat, and Kurtz came to a stop at the 11-yard line between the 12 and the 11. That's first and 10. Northwestern right back down there, knocking at the Hawkeye door. New set of downs. Here's the snap to Sullivan. Looking to throw. Now he's going to cover up and run. He gets inside the 10, knocked down at the 5. A tough run by Brendan Sullivan, the quarterback. Iowa back down there in familiar territory. That rush defense has been so good all year. Nick Jackson tripped up Sullivan. Well, has a nice gain of five or six on first down. 2.55 to play in regulation. Hawks trying to keep Northwestern out of the end zone or at least hold them to a field goal try. You got to believe they're in four down territory again. Second down, four, just inside the five. This is a keeper again by Sullivan. They try to block for him, but he's going to lose yardage. Oh, that Iowa defense is something special. Yeah, and who do you think was over there leading? Deontay Craig, let me guess. Well, and Joe Evans is right there, too. Those ends have had a spectacular season for the Hawkeyes. Another spot and rose hammer hit distributed by Craig and Evans. Craig ran all the way across the field. Evans held him up. Third down and four for Northwestern. They go multiple tight end heavy. One wide out. That's it. Now they shift. Send a tight out, a tight end wide right. Third down and four from the five. Sullivan backs up, looks to throw in heavy traffic, and it's caught for a touchdown. Through to the back line of the end zone. Well covered was Cam Johnson, but he comes down with it. And Northwestern's within a point after try to, of tying the game. Jamari Harris was in coverage. Seven to six, Hawkeyes. Yeah, that was really good um, protection of the quarterback. It was. He had plenty of time to loop the ball in. That's a tired Iowa defense. Jamari Harris running with Cam Johnson, but he got up in the air and Sullivan put it where only he could catch it. 
Point after try is right through, and we got a tie game at seven with a minute 50 to go in regulation. Timeout on the field. Six plays, 22 yards. Don't forget that punt return by A.J. Henning of 20-plus yards. That was big from midfield off Torrey Taylor's foot. Tie game. We start over. Hawkeyes get the ball when we come back. This is Hawkeye football presented by Walmart. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Joe Mershman from Mershman Seeds. You never really know what's going to happen to that seed after it's in the ground. That's why we introduced Starting Line and Starting Line Plus seed treatments for soybeans. Here's Ben Peeper, our product manager. Starting Line and Starting Line Plus seed treatments are comprised of multiple fungicides, effective insecticides, biologicals, and biostimulants. Nobody can do what we can do with Starting Line and Starting Line Plus. Give every acre a head start with Starting Line or Starting Line Plus seed treatment. From Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. The Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that, too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, salads, and real ice cream shakes. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. Tie game at 7-7. Northwestern playing this entire fourth quarter in the Iowa end. Finally dents the end zone. Five-yard touchdown pass. Brendan Sullivan to Cam Johnson. And the point after try is good by Luke Akers. And with a minute 50 remaining in regulation, we start over. Six plays, 22 yards, and the Wildcats use three and a half minutes of clock. Well, Edward, Deacon Hill's got any tricks in his bag. Let's see him now. Or Brian Ferentz. 7-7 seven, seven game. Otherwise, we're looking at overtime. Now, both teams still have their full complement of timeouts. Yep. And um, it's another story here. It depends on what, where we get this ball in field position because I don't think Kirk is going to risk an interception. Uh, I think he'd rather go to overtime. Go to overtime. Pioneer is a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the Pioneer Heroes game coming up November 24th in Lincoln. Honoring local heroes who positively impact the community and stand as an inspiration to others. Pioneer proudly celebrating our local communities. And the kickoff is taken. Yeah, one of those little... Uh, Max White is uh, pushed out of bounds uh, across the 25. I think he got across the 25. It was right into the Northwestern bench. Yeah, 28-yard line, so a nice return by Max White of the Jack Olson kick. So the Hawks have a minute 46 to get into field goal position for perhaps a game-winning score. And Deacon Hill is in an empty backfield. Four wideouts for Iowa. Hill to throw. Quick release to the receiver, Regani, a slot receiver. And good blocking by Iowa. And he gets up across the 35 to the 36. Xander Mueller, the middle linebacker, with another tackle. Well, that should stop the clock in the last two minutes until they get the oh, he Well, didn't they're make short it. of the first down. I thought Sec he made the first second down. down and two. They definitely want to get a first down. LaShawn Williams going to run the ball. Good blocking. He gets the first down. Now it'll stop with a minute 16 to go. Ball across. To, uh, I didn't quite get to the 40 of Iowa. So they need. Um, 20, 25 yards to give uh, Drew Stevens a shot. Neither team has used a timeout yet. 106, the clock starts to run again. Devin Turner on that last tackle. Here's Deacon Hill in the gun with Williams in the backfield. He's looking to throw. Fires it up the sideline. Caught. Caught at the 45. Squirming down to the 40-yard line is Caleb Brown. Welcome home, young man. What a throw that was. That was double coverage. They had him underneath and over the top. 
That was a zip missile there. Yeah, he laid it right in over the defensive corner and in front of the safety. Caleb Brown down by Rod Hurd, the safety. But a gain of uh, 20, a little over 20 yards. So the Hawks are in business. Here's LaShawn Williams. Took a look outside, cut back inside, and gets to the 30, 37 yard, 38 yard line. Timeout is asked for by, yeah, I assume, Northwestern with 27 seconds to play. Charge timeout, Iowa. Their uh, first of the half. Take that back. First and 10, or excuse me, timeout, Iowa. It'll be second down. Well, that was a great throw by Deacon. Now, we're, we were behind uh, the throw, so we had a great view of that thing. And on a perfect plane. Yeah, and he got it there in a hurry. He had to in double coverage. 23 yards officially on that yeah. pass play from uh, Deacon Hill to Caleb. Caleb Brown, the transfer freshman from Ohio State who was in Kirk's doghouse at midseason. Didn't see hiding her hair of him for the better part of a month. And now in his hometown of Chicago, he makes a big play in the Iowa passing game. Hill is 10 of 15 for 65 yards. Second down, eight at the 37-yard line of Northwestern. Hawks have two timeouts remaining. Here's LaShawn Williams squirming forward for three to the 35-yard line. Now, timeout asked for with 24 seconds remaining. Guessing this will be Northwestern's timeout. Devin Turner and R.J. Pearson on the stop. Charge timeout, Northwestern. Their first of the half. Two remaining for each team. 24 seconds to go in regulation. The Hawkeyes at the 35-yard line. Normally, I'd say they're in field goal territory for well, Drew Stevens, but it's Wrigley Field. The wind is uh, winds died down. Yes. Rob, what's it like down at the field level? Wind uh, won't be an issue on this one, Dolph. And okay. Drew Stevens just about 10 yards from me, going through his warm up. LeVar Woods came over, kind of gave him a fist bump. Seems pretty relaxed. He's uh, spinning the football on his finger like you see with basketballs. So just kind of going through his routine to try to get ready. Well, I'd like to see five more yards here on third down and seven at the very least. Now Hill's up under center. Tight end Estrenga goes in motion. He's got the lone catch for a touchdown today for the Hawkeyes. And LaShawn Williams runs straight into the teeth of that Northwestern defense and goes nowhere. He was just centering the ball where Drew Stevens likes it. So we got a timeout Iowa. Charge timeout, Northwestern, their second. This make is that, the 32nd timeout. Make that timeout, Northwestern. I think um, Iowa will use their timeout when they get set to go in and kick the uh, field goal. No, no gain for Williams. So the ball's right at the 35. Kick will come from uh, about the 42. So it'll be a 52-yard field goal attempt by Drew Stevens. He has been money. His entire career, he missed one earlier today from 54 that hit the right upright. He had plenty of leg on it, so the, the leg strength is not an issue here. But, oh, the wind gods at Wrigley Field down through the years. Drew is uh, 13 of 17 on the year with a long of 53. So this would be, he's only had one blocked. This would be about... It looks like about a 53-yard kick in when it's all said and done. Here we go. 19 seconds to play. We await the snap from Luke Elkin. Here it is. Taylor gets the spot down. And it is good. Right down the middle. Right down Clark. Main Street Clark. Right down the middle of Lakeshore Drive. Drew Stevens. I think he matched his career high of 53 
yards, or uh, long of 53 yards. We'll get the official word here shortly. Oh, man, did that thing have some extra leg. Oh, yeah, and never wavered out of rim right down the middle. It's officially a 52-yard kick for the go-ahead field goal with 14 seconds to play. I mean, that ball never moved. It was straight down the gut, right at the Northwestern band. In fact, it went into the band. The tuba player caught it. <laughs> Plenty of length and great accuracy. 10-7, Iowa has the lead. And now 14 seconds to go. This will be something on the ground, I would think. Yeah, Northwestern has one timeout left. Well, if you, if you kick it on the ground, the clock start, starts when the player picks, picks it up, up the ball. Well, RJ uh, in Orlando, Florida like that. He's checking in on Twitter. Derek in Iowa City. Steve is a Hawkeye grad. Charge Nin timeout, Iowa. Their second of the half. It's a 1983 Hawkeye grad. He's over in Finland. Finland listening in on the Varsity app, uh, Varsity Network app. So Steve gets the award for listener the furthest away. But I'm sure it sounds good. I had a chat in Hull. Emily is on the road. Stay on the road, Emily. Eric just yelled, holy cow. <laughs> Doug's in Clear Lake fishing. Hope we didn't wake up or scare the fish uh, with that call, Doug. But... Drew Stevens rarely goes fishing. He knows his length. He knows he's been so good. Brett on the tractor in West Point. Byron in Providence, Rhode Island. JP's in Sioux City. Boy, a ton of people checking in on Facebook, and we won't get to them all, but thank you, everybody. We'll save a couple uh, shout-outs for next week. The Shields scoring drive. Seven plays, 37 yards, a minute 32 of clock. And a 52-yard field goal by Drew Stevens. Iowa has the lead, 10 to 7. They need to melt 14 seconds off the clock. And Drew Stevens. Yeah, they told him. They, Lavar Woods told him, kick it out of the end zone, and he does just that. So the ball come out to the 25. 14 seconds, first and 10 for Northwestern. And now they're forced to throw the football with one timeout remaining. All of our Hawkeye scoring drives this year brought to you by Shields. Shields right there with you in Des Moines, Sioux City, Iowa City, and Cedar Falls. That Iowa defense deserves this one again. Yeah, they do. And Deshaun Lee in, so they got six defensive backs. Yeah, they got Evans, Logan Lee, and Deontay Craig, three rushers, linebackers, and six DBs. Out of the gun, Sullivan. Cam Porter in the backfield. Sullivan looks left, comes back to the right, throws to the short underneath man in a crossing route. And it's caught by Kurtz across the 40. They'll spike the ball here and talk about it with six seconds to go. Northwestern preserves the one timeout. They have to do that if they throw deep and make a, a reception, at least give their man a try for field goal. Well, I don't know why the clock stopped. I, I, well, he spiked the ball. Oh, did he? Yeah, he I'm spiked sorry. the ball. So it's second down and 10. Iowa leading 10-7. The ball at the Northwestern 42. So they're 20 to 25 yards away from at least a, a legitimate shot. Sullivan to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Now he's rolling out to his right and throws it away. One second to go. Last play of the game coming up. Oh. One second. Why couldn't that ball stay in the air one more second? That's what you call the home court, <laughs> home field advantage. Yeah. That's called hiring a smart clock yeah, operator. that's right. So Northwestern will use a timeout. So here comes a trick play. Yeah. So George in Dunedin, Florida, Brett in Manson putting up Christmas lights. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody in Manson. The West Delaware Music Department, before their big musical tonight, huddled around the radio. Well, I I hope it wasn't scheduled to start at 5.30. <laughs> Let's hope in one second this thing's over. Keith's out in Utah, George in Phoenix. 
Patrice in Heston, Kansas, listening to the Hawks, as well as Christopher in Chesapeake, Virginia, and Wendy in Marco Island, Florida. A high rent district there. And let's hope Wrigley becomes the Hawks' turf. One play left. Sullivan. See what they've drawn up. It'll be the hook and lateral. And it'll be a couple laterals. They have five wide receivers. Empty backfield. Sullivan's got good arm strength, but we'll find out just how much in a minute. Here he goes. Back to pass. He's hit. Now they shovel the pass forward and immediately tackled. <laughs> immediately tackled by Jamari Harris's A.J. Henning. Hawks win! Hawks win at Wrigley. It's a poor imitation of Harry, but the Hawks <laughs> win. Oh, my, what an effort by that Iowa defense. And Deacon Hill with that 20-yard, 23-yard strike to set up the winning field goal to Caleb Brown. Caleb Brown, of all people, and the Hawks find a way, the offense finds a way to get it done in the clutch. And Drew Stevens, in the end, after missing in that same end zone earlier in the game, I mean, ice in the veins is what it takes to do that. Kirk Ferentz, as stoic looking as ever, walks over to talk to uh, the Peacock Network folks. Jamari Harris with a sure tackle on inning. He wrapped his arms around his arms. He's going to make sure he didn't lateral that yeah. thing. And, and you know, a, a three-man rush put great pressure on Sullivan. He it got up to off stride and just flipped it forward. They got him out of the pocket. A great effort by both teams today. What an atmosphere. And the celebration has started for these thousands of Hawk fans who have made the trek into Chicago and Wrigley Field. And it's been a lot of fun, Edward. And I think it was it, it was the under, according to Las Vegas. <laughs> I mean, this is this is Big Ten football is finest. You get that goal line stand, unbelievable. Four plays from inside the one. What Northwestern did to uh, Maryland last week, stopped them on three straight rushes, turned it over on downs. And Northwestern went down and kicked a field goal. Denied a tying touchdown, went up by 10 and won by 6. Today, the Hawks get the goal line stand. Northwestern ultimately ties the game, but Iowa goes down to kick the winning field goal. Uh, and, and many, many guys to pat on the back. Most notably, quarterback Deacon Hill, who's been much maligned by many in the media. And uh, he's still learning, like Kirk keeps saying, he hasn't played much what? in three years. Yeah. And uh, he's had some rough moments. But that pass to Caleb Brown, that's a highlight reel. Oh, well, let me tell you something, because they had the perfect defense call. They had a cover two. They had the cornerback underneath and the safety behind. And he had to throw it there. It's the only spot he had. And he got it done. That's a happy visiting dugout where the Hawks swarm has just ended up in front of a couple thousand Iowa fans that have <laughs> crowded around the dugout. And now they're going to uh, go down the line and uh, high-five a few fans with Iowa winning 10-7 to over the Northwestern Wildcats. That's the final score, but we're just getting started. We're coming back with the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show here in a minute on the Hawkeye Radio Network. The Hawks go to 7-2 uh, and two on the season off the shoe. 7-2 and two off the shoe of Drew Stevens. A 52-yard field goal with 14 seconds to go. Uh, pulls the Hawks to victory. This is Hawkeye Football presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Looking for more college football action following our broadcast? Check out the College Football Blitz for free by going to the Varsity Network app. It's the college football audio version of the NFL Red Zone channel every Saturday from noon to midnight Eastern. Just search College Football Blitz on the Varsity Network app. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over, hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. 
See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones, we know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need so you can focus on what's most important to you. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. This is Hawkeye Football. Touchdown, Iowa! Touchdown! This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. Board Iowa's corn farmers, it's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go Hawks. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Their line of full THC cannabis products give me pain relief after an NFL career in a terrifying car accident. Visit their dispensary or learn more at BudMary.com. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, Hawkeye Football has been brought to you by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. By your local Ford dealers. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Also brought to you by Honda. To see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Case IH. The Case IH Red Zone is brought to you by Case IH and your local Case IH dealers. Learn more at CaseIH.com backslash Hawkeyes. And by Come and Go. Download the new Come and Go app to save on fuel, fresh food, and beverages. With Come and Go and Rewards, you choose how to use your rewards. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. We await the snap from Luke Elkin. Here it is. Taylor gets the spot down. And it is good. Right down the middle. Right down Clark. Main Street Clark. Right down the middle of Lakeshore Drive. Drew Stevens. Drew Stevens with a 52-yard field goal with 14 seconds remaining. And the Hawkeyes a break a seven-all tie and win it over the Northwestern Wildcats by a count of 10 to 7 and uh, we know we'll at least keep a share of first place uh, for the next week when Rutgers comes calling to uh, uh, Kinnick Stadium and Rutgers put up a great fight at least for a half three quarters with Ohio State today before the Buckeyes with all that talent uh, won it here's uh, we're checking on the Illinois uh, Minnesota score in Minneapolis Illinois leads Minnesota 27 to 26 with 50 seconds to go in the game. Uh, who has the ball? Minnesota? Minnesota looks like it has the ball around its own 20, 25, 30 yard line. So <laughs> there have been hair raisers all over the place today, Eddie. Wisconsin uh, went on the road, got bumped off at uh, Indiana. Indiana's had its struggles, but they played really well the last couple weeks. They played Ohio State strong. Uh, but this Big Ten West is uh, the Big Ten Wild West. Well, and what about Michigan State, who really haven't, yeah, they haven't at home, played worth it? Defeated, defeated Nebraska yeah. today. And so we know that two of those that were tied at 3-2 and two coming into the action today have lost. That's Wisconsin uh, and, uh, and Nebraska. So now we await the final in the Illinois... Uh, Illinois-Minnesota uh, game and the Twin Cities. Celebrate Hawkeye football victories this season with a free small Frosty with purchase. Head to a participating Wendy's within 72 hours of right now and of each Hawkeye football victory. One person, one per person, in-store only and not valid with other offers, digital or delivery orders. Please, Wednesday, uh, Wendy's. 
a proud supporter of Hawkeye football. Thanks to U.S. Cellular. This is the U.S. Cellular postgame show. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. It's always great to hear the organ over here at Wrigley Field. Our postgame coverage, courtesy of U.S. Cellular, uh, we're going to, uh, we hope, visit with kicker Drew Stevens. I don't know. There's so many defensive heroes, it's hard to pick one, but, but we must, Edward. Yep. Well, you've got to... Uh, we could pick the defensive line collectively for that yeah. goal line stand. No question but about it. We're, we're going to try and grab Logan Lee. He, he played a phenomenal second half in particular. You know what? He's had a tremendous career. And this season has been... Yes. And you know when... Solid. They, they elected him to be a captain today, too, because, you know, they vote each week on that, and that's the first time, you know, I looked at it. The captains, all three of them that had uniforms on were defensive players, you know? And um, <clears throat> uh, Lachey was out there, of course, because... Luke. Yeah, he, you know, and he had his crutches. and Five sacks by the defensive line today. So it's hard to pick hard to pick a, a an old Dominion best in the game, but we're going with uh, uh, kicker Drew Stevens, who has been so rock-solid steady his entire career. Uh, and uh, Logan Lee, a defensive nose man, tackle for the Hawkeyes uh, off uh, today's game, uh, off the uh, today's victory for the Hawkeyes, 10-7 over Northwestern. Let's let's give you our Mershman Seeds quarterback sack recap. For every Hawkeye sack, Mershman Seeds donates $150 to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. The Hawks had five sacks today. Jackson, Nick Jackson, minus eight. Y.A. Black had one for a negative four. Uh, Jay Higgins, who else? He had one. Uh, Xavier Wampa had one uh, early in the game. And Joe Evans, of course, picks up his seventh, seven and a half sacks on the year uh, for Jolton Joe Evans. Five sacks equals a donation of $1,470, courtesy of Joe Mershman and Mershman Seeds. That's the quarterback sack recap presented by Mershman Seeds, your friend in the field. John Deere supports our John Deere run of the game, and, and Ed, uh, we're, we're going to give it to uh, Lash, uh, LeSean Williams. Now, his longest run of the day was 10 yards, okay, but he went over 1,000 for well, his I think career. that might have been our longest run of the day, too. <laughs> it was. And so, yeah, I mean, uh, now he's up, what, over, uh, over 500, 500 yards this year. Yeah, 1,000 for his career. And, uh, you know, he's a young guy yet, so he's got plenty of... Uh, Plenty of football remaining in a, a black and gold uniform. Let me look at his numbers. He had uh, he had 472 yards coming into today on 86 carries. That's an eight five and a half yard average. That's not been easy uh, to do today. Lashawn uh, Lashawn ground out 24 carries, 79 yards with a long of 10, 3.3 yards per rush. Knowing uh, that the Wildcats, like Minnesota. A couple of weeks ago, we're going to gang up on the run. Boy, he and you know he carried the ball a lot on a successive plays too, and um, so he's in real good shape. Uh, you know he's um, really a great player, and like we were talking earlier, um, Caleb uh, Johnson, we didn't see him today, so maybe he had the flu which we heard was going around the team. Yeah, and Jazz Patterson's healthy again. Uh, he had a nice supporting role with 21 yards on eight carries. But for this day and this hard-fought victory over Northwestern, our, our John Deere runner of the game is Lee Sean Williams, sponsored by Bodensteiner Implement, your trusted John Deere dealer with 10 locations in Northeast Iowa to serve you. Get a quote online at B-O-D-I-M-P dot com. That's B-O-D-I-M-P dot com. Bodensteiner implement and our John Deere runner of the game. The Iowa pork lineman of the game is Deontay Craig, sponsored by Iowa's pig farmers. Just like the Hawkeyes lineman, pig farmers use continuous improvement to bring their best to the game. Learn more at iowapork.org. iowapork.org. Deontay Craig. You know, six tackles, three solo, a half a tackle for loss, but he is so much more disruptive well, he uh, when, he, when he doesn't make the tackle. Yeah. He, or as disruptive, I should say. Well, he had pressure on the quarterback a lot of times, and as you pointed out, the one time came all the way across the field to make a tackle on the running back. Uh, 
on the opposite side. He and Joe Evans have been so solid their entire careers, but we're again today. Congratulations to Deontay, the young man from Fort Wayne. He's our Iowa Pork lineman of the game. Hawks win it. They hold on and win it on a field goal by Drew Stevens from 52 yards, 10 to 7. More U.S. Cellular postgame show coming up. U.S. Cellular, a proud sponsor. U.S. Cellular is built for the Hawkeyes. They're built for great interceptions and better reception. Watching touchdowns instead of touch screens and waving before streaming. After all, game day only comes once a week. U.S. Cellular, built for us. From Wrigley Field, this is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford tough trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Football. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. The Hawkeyes play here. This is Iowa football from Learfield. When the Hawkeyes win, you win. Head to your local Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings after the Hawkeyes win for a free appetizer with a purchase of $20 or more. Visit HawkeyeSports.com slash BWW. Join us for happy hour with great deals from 3 to 6 p.m. And our after dark lineup from 9 p.m. to close Monday through Friday features bar food specials, including bird dogs, pretzel knots, and fried pickles. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official chicken wing of NCAA football and a proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let me ask you a question. What has 27 challenging holes, bent grass fairways and greens, a great location just five miles northwest of Des Moines, a perfect setting and venue for corporate and fundraising golf events, a driving range, season passes for avid golfers, and a great food and beverage division? You're right. The answer is Beaver Creek Golf Course, the same place I have never, ever seen a beaver. If you like to golf, you'll really like Beaver Creek. Welcome back to more of the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Hawkeyes pull it out of the fire, 10 to 7, beating Northwestern at the end on a 52-yard field goal uh, from Drew Stevens. Welcome back to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Uh, we uh, are waiting for Drew Stevens. The special teams unit just came out to the center of the field. It, it is Wrigley Field, and uh, Drew Stevens, Tory Taylor, Luke Elkin, and others uh, uh, took a couple of group photos and why not uh, what a precious moment it always is when you come to Wrigley Field for whatever the reason and today it was for Hawkeye football and uh, a terrific game a real physical slugfest low scoring game as we thought it would be it was uh, more of a baseball score at 10 to 7 which uh, th that's usually a low scoring game at Wrigley Field well and at halftime both pitchers were Pitching, Pitching a shot. <laughs> zero, yes, zero indeed. at halftime. And, uh, well, we're glad that the Hawkeye bullpen, led by Torrey Taylor and Drew Stevens and 
uh, Drew Stevens in particular. He missed one from 54 and it hit the upright. The wind just got a hold of it at the end or he would have had two on the day. That's how close this game was. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. We're at the dinner bell hour. 10-second ID break on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Football. Our 50,000-watt flagship WHO booming into the night back in Iowa and around the Midwest, thanks to WMT 600 in uh, Cedar Rapids. Also in Cedar Rapids, 100.7 uh, on the dial. FM, Hawkeye football, Oskaloosa, a longtime affiliate at KBOE 104.9 FM. Out in Omaha, we say hi to KXCB, 1420 AM and 106.5 FM. Hawkeye basketball team will be out at Creighton uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, taking on the Blue Jays in uh, men's basketball. Uh, here all the action this fall and winter, football, whatever's yet to come, and then a great basketball lineup with men and women on the Hawkeye radio network. All right, we have, uh, we have Logan Lee on the, on the phone, on the microphone down near the uh, dugout. Uh, have you got enough strength to visit for a couple minutes? Of course, I, of course. <laughs> well, uh, you and that D line uh, showed your true colors uh, today in that goal line stand, uh, Logan. Uh, take us through that uh, sequence. Well, we we prepare. We have a scout team that's been doing a heck of a job uh, the past few weeks, just helping us prep in that goal line stuff. Our jumbo formations, um, something we've take we have taken pride in over the course of the. Um, over the history of the Iowa football program, it's just it's just great to be able to stop them on the one yard line. That's huge. Even with that tur uh, that uh, turf uh, being uprooted, <laughs> flying around down there, and uh, you, I'm guessing some of you guys had the back in the back of your mind, or at least had talked about it. You've given up one rushing touchdown all year. No, I, I had no idea that was the case. That's pretty darn cool. <laughs> all well, right, we, Ed. We want to know how that happened. <laughs> yeah, no I mean, kidding. I, I didn't want to bring it up because that's something you can't explain. You gave up one at some point. Right, right, right. <laughs> one only. One only. That's, uh, that's, that's a good start to the season. Well, you, guys, you guys have really been operating as a collective unit all year. I mean, it takes uh, whether you're rushing four and rushing three at the end. That might have been one of the prettier plays because you flushed Sullivan. You, you, you ran into him, made some contact uh, with a three-man rush, and uh, that forced him to throw it when he didn't want to. Right, right. Yeah, Joe really – Joe and Craig ended up uh, – flush him out so that was nice so uh, he just stepped up right into me but um yeah couldn't be prouder of the guys right now it's just great to see everybody celebrate and uh yeah it's just got great a great team win you've got a lot of family here i'll bet oh darn right we do <laughs> there's uh i think they took a party bus up here actually so well of course from from orion right yes I mean, sir come on yes sir six foot five 290 pound logan lee our guest here he is uh, one of our best in the game courtesy of uh, our friends at uh, old dominion trucking uh, uh, you know, uh, what's been the story in your mind, the key to this defense, the consistency all year long? You've been so solid, uh, really, at all three levels. Biggest thing is having a group of guys that are able and willing to do their job to the best of their ability. That's that's the biggest thing. Uh, all three phase, all three levels of the defense just have guys that are, are willing to put their bodies on the line and uh, not just go after statistics, but really just do their job to the best of their ability. And when everybody's working as one unit, it's uh, it's pretty to see the way way things go. And you and special teams have been kind of uh, hooked up at the hip all season long. I'm sure you guys were so confident in Drew there uh, with 14 seconds left always always uh we, we have a ton of confidence in all three phases um always willing to trust the guys the guys on the team we just got such a great willing to put in the work and able to uh just continue pushing forward so it's it's amazing uh great feeling right now oh well, congratulations you got drew stevens standing right behind you that's right yeah, it's probably... it's going to be like this uh, the rest of the way uh minnesota wisconsin uh, Nebraska all lost today, and so this game of chess is going to continue for three weeks, won't it? Wow! Uh, yeah. Golly, <laughs> golly, well, you're, I that's don't... Uh, that's convenient. 
It, that is, <laughs> it's convenient. Yeah, whether it road or home, it's never easy. But congratulations, Logan. Uh, four tackle day, uh, uh, a bunch of solos uh, thrown in there, and uh, the Iowa defense uh, uh, lives to uh, uh, celebrate another victory as well. You should, and that goal line stand is going to stick with a lot of people for a long time, Logan. Darn right. We've got a long way to go, but it's, uh, it's a great win today. Thank Thanks, you. Logan. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Our, uh, one of our Old Dominion Freightline bests in the game, sponsored by Old Dominion. Old Dominion Freightline works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freightline. Well, that's Logan Lee. We're now going to visit with uh, uh, Drew Stevens, uh, who... Uh, Got robbed by the wind gods there at the end of that 54-yard attempt. But, boy, there was no doubt about that 52-yarder, uh, Drew. Uh, uh, nobody better than you at making adjustments, and you sure did there when the game's on the line. Yeah, thank you. Talk us through that winning field goal. Well, I mean, I knew that we were going to end up getting a chance. I mean, give credit where credit's due. Offense got me in that position. Nobody's going to want to hear that, but that's how it what happened. That's, that's what happened. Offense got me in the position, and shout out to my coaches for giving me the opportunity. And, uh, you know, obviously I had that uh, wind adjustment I needed to make based off that first half kick. And then, I mean, as soon as you run out there, though, it's all you black out, and it's all execution. Training's behind you. This is just the cash out phase. Well, you know, and you got Tory Taylor, you know, his the pressure on him to get that ball set just the way he wanted it. Um, that has to be a really great to see the ball sitting just how you want it. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, I was going to say that I don't even worry about that. Like, it, I, it actually never even crosses my mind. Like, some players can lie just to give confidence to their teammates, but no, like, I seriously do not think about it because they're like that all the time. They prove it in practice. They prove it in games. They've never given me an issue. So shout out to those guys. Yeah, and, and let's not forget Luke Elkin. Huh? Uh, not that we are, but I saw the group of special teamers out there at center field and Wrigley Field getting a couple photos. Uh, that, that was a warm moment. That was really a, a fun scene to look at. Yeah, you, you can't you can't forget Luke. I mean, he's he's very underrated as a long snapper, and he does his job exceptionally well. Drew Stevens, one of our Old Dominion best in the game. So I'm thinking you're from North Augusta, not too far from uh, the Augusta National. What would that be, 52 years? What is that like a, in football, a four iron? <laughs> 52? I mean, I don't know. Sandwich. I don't know what your four iron is. Sandwich. I'd say I, I can't my, hit it that far. A hooded that's probably, that's probably five wood. A very knockdown sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> knockdown sandwich. And you put it right in the tuba players. <laughs> <laughs> he caught the ball. It was a thing of beauty. Uh, uh, you, you mentioned the offense, and I want to go back to the offense. That uh, that laser that uh, Deacon Hill threw to Caleb Brown, you were you were standing on that sideline watching it. What did it look like from your angle? Uh, would it surprise you if I wasn't watching it? <laughs> uh, I no, knew. you were probably practice kicking yeah, by then. I knew true. the situation. I was getting ready to do my job. Well, you look I, at that I, I on tape. You look at that on tape. You're going to love it. It was a perfect line drive catch for 23 yards. Yeah, I got I got faith in Deacon. When it it's all in crunch time. That's what that's when boys become men. That's what happens. Yeah, like that goal line stand, right? Oh man! <laughs> Shout out defense. Yeah. Shout out defense. Repeatedly all doing long. great things. Yeah. Hey, appreciate your time, Drew. Congratulations! Uh, a wonderful victory for the Hawkeyes, and three weeks to go, and you're in first place. Yep. Thank you, Drew Stevens. <laughs> a man of few words, but he's got a big toe. Oh yeah. You His toe's noisy. <laughs> you remember a unit? We were talking about him the other day, and Kirk said. He had that worst spring I've ever seen. I said, what are we going to do with this guy? And then he said in the fall, he came back, and that's when it didn't look like he even shaved. That was a year ago. He and still now. got that baby face, but, <laughs> boy, he, he's a man. He grew up some today. But, you know, he's so matter-of-fact about everything. I mean, his kickoffs are always yeah. through the end zone, at least 98% of the time. And, boy, did he come up with a, a big field goal. He's now uh, 14 for uh, 18 on the season, uh, along a 53, but that 52-yarder looked pretty good to me. Congratulations to Drew. 
And thanks to our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion Freight Lines. Uh, Old Dominion Freight Line. Old Dominion works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Drew Stevens' field goal, the measure of difference in a 10-7 Iowa win over the Northwestern Wildcats here on the road. And now it's back home for a, a solid Rutgers team next Saturday. That's a 2.30 kick, and Kinnick will be rocking. Back with more U.S. Cellular Post Game Show in a minute. This is Hawkeye Football from Learfield. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. The football season is a non-stop adrenaline-fueled push to the end zone. So show your team colors and fanatic passion all season long for the Hawkeyes with your favorite black and gold gear. Shields is proudly partnered with the Iowa Hawkeyes to bring you your favorite fan gear. So visit Shields in-store or online to kick off every Hawkeyes game with a touchdown. Shields, proud partner of Iowa athletics and football fans everywhere. The Hawkeyes play here. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Hawkeye fans, Hudson Southside Tap is your ultimate destination for Hawkeye game days. Swing by and savor our delicious House Bloody Marys for just $6. But that's not all. This year, we're proud to announce that Hudson's is the official host of the Hawkeye Radio Network postgame show, happening right after every home game. Share on the Hawkeyes while enjoying the fantastic atmosphere and great company at Hudson's. Find us conveniently located on Highway 1 West in Iowa City. Hudson Southside Tap, where Hawkeye spirit comes alive. Go Hawks! Get low rates and high yields from Spraytech Fertilizers. Yes, get low rates and high yields from Spraytech Fulltech, the most complete adjuvant on the market. Fulltech offers burn control, better fixation on leaves, better homogenization in the tank mix, mixed drift control, better spreadability, and more. Fulltech is changing the way you treat your crops. Get higher yields and more money in your bank account with Fulltech from Spraytech. Call 515-252-7777 for Fulltech details or visit Spraytech.com. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Iowa Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is brought to you in part by Splash Seafood Bar and Grill, Mershman Seeds, Farm Credit Services, Lennox Heating and Cooling, Beaver Creek Golf Course, Gilchrist Jewett, and Spray Tech. Show your support to our local Iowa radio business partners and support those who support the Hawkeyes. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Hawkeyes hold on for a 10-7 win over the Northwestern Wildcats. Iowa now 7-2 on the season and 4-2 and uh, in Big Ten West Division uh, rankings. 4-2 uh, and two, at least a share of first place for another week. Uh, there were some upsets uh, this afternoon. I haven't seen all the Big Ten finals, but uh, most of them went Iowa's way depending on who you're pulling for, of course. Our Iowa corn drive of the game now is sponsored by Iowa's Corn Farmers. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Corn grows feed for our livestock, food for our families, and clean burning fuel. For your next drive to the game, drive clean with unleaded 88 and support your local corn farmers. Iowa corn. Looking to see, checking some of these numbers here. Uh, we'll get the Iowa corn drive of the game in a minute. Let's go to the Case IH Red Zone recap. 
It's time for our Case IH Red Zone Recap. The game might be over, but there's still more to see this season. From all of us at Case IH, thanks for being a part of the Red Zone. Talk to your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes and learn more. Hawks got to the Red Zone just one time today, and that was at the end of a seven-play, 25-yard drive. Uh, Deacon Hill and company used up four minutes in a two-yard touchdown throw. Deacon Hill on a nice play fake and a rollout found uh, the young uh, sophomore tight end Addison Estrenga for his first career touchdown. The point after try by Stevens was good, and the Hawkeyes uh, went up seven to nothing. Uh, Northwestern would catch the Hawks late in the game, but Iowa uh, found a, uh, another drive that uh, uh, put Drew Stevens in position for a 52-yard three-pointer. And that's the way the game ended with the Hawkeyes scoring with 14 seconds to go and winning 10-7. to Hawks get in the uh, red zone in the third quarter at the end of that short drive. Seven plays, 25 yards uh, for Iowa's only touchdown. That's our Case IH Red Zone recap of the day. More U.S. Cellular postgame show is coming up. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online, and we'll help set your phone to Us Mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. With the Hawkeyes, every touchdown is more than just a touchdown. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to make it to the end zone. And while our fields aren't the kind you throw passes on, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Settle the score with superior tools by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes. Go Hawks! Hawkeye football is on the air. He's at the 15. He's inside the 10. This is Iowa football from Learfield. For Iowa's corn farmers, it's easy. Buy corn-fed meat, dairy, and eggs. Fill your cup with safe drinking water right from the tap and fuel your vehicle with homegrown unleaded 88. Let's go, Hawks. Today's agriculture demands expertise, and no lender delivers more ag expertise than Farm Credit Services of America. More than simply having the financial products and services you need to do business, we have the knowledge and commitment to help grow your business. From financing the next season to growing the next generation, we work to achieve your goals. We're Farm Credit Services of America. Call 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Hawkeye Football on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your med card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Welcome back to more of the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Gary Dolphin at Podolak. We're waiting for uh, Kirk Ferentz to join us. Thanks again to our Old Dominion freight line, best in the game. Drew Stevens, who kicked the game-winning field goal, and Logan Lee, who spearheaded another incredible effort by the defense. Uh, Eddie, I was just looking. I uh, went to break there. I was trying to find the Case IH Red Zone recap numbers for the season. I knew they were pretty good, but I didn't think they were this good. Iowa, with uh, one Red Zone trip, 
and certainly we'd like 20 more, but on the year 20 of 21, uh, uh, proof positive, when they can get there, good things are going to happen. Yeah, that's, um, that's really a number that really surprises me, too, but that um, is one of those uh, numbers that are very, very important if you're going to have a winning season. Let's uh, check out uh, another one of our feature sponsors, uh, Iowa's Egg Council who is tackling hunger every day. Thank you, Iowa Egg Council. They bring you their TFLs, the Tackles for Loss. Now, we had mentioned Iowa uh, piled up five sacks today by five different players. Well, they had eight tackles for loss. Jay Higgins had two. What else is new? And then one each for uh, Nick Jackson, Ethan Herkett, Xavier Wampa, Joe Evans, Y.A. Black, a half a tackle for loss for Deontay Craig and Cooper DeGene. That is team defense. Well, how many eggs is that? In there? Well, <laughs> I, I know that there, there's like a thousand eggs a tackle for uh, loss. One hundred dozen eggs to Iowa. Iowa Food Banks, courtesy of the Iowa Egg Council, for every TFL tackle for loss. Uh, Iowa Egg Council donates a hundred dozen, not a hundred eggs, a hundred dozen. Those chickens are working yes, overtime. Those hens, huh? those those hens, hens are, better be fed right. They're cluck, cluck, clucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they better be. That's a lot of feed to produce yeah. a, a hundred dozen eggs. Uh, the Hawkeyes are healthy, too. They love eggs. And eight tackles for loss shows how much extra energy they had today. Thanks to Iowa's Egg Farmers and the Iowa Egg Council for their generosity in tackling hunger uh, in Iowa. And after every Hawkeye victory, you win with Buffalo Wild Wings. You win a free shareable for the next two days at any Iowa Buffalo Wild Wings location. That's right. With every Hawkeye football victory this season, Hawk fans, stop by Buffalo Wild Wings and you win. Visit HawkeyeSports.com backslash BWW for more details. That's HawkeyeSports.com backslash Buffalo Wild Wings, BWW. And that's a victory for the Hawks and Buffalo Wild Wings tonight, 10 7, here at Wrigley Field over the Northwestern Wildcats. Let's uh, start our stat recap while we await Coach Ferentz's uh, arrival. On the day, Iowa total yards 169, Northwestern 170. Hawks threw for 65 yards, rushed for 104. Northwestern 81 rushing yards, 89 through the air. Penalties were a big factor today. Northwestern had seven for 71 yards, and that contributed to maybe uh, half to uh, at least a third of Iowa's first downs. Well, and we didn't take advantage of it very well in the first half because it kept some drives going for us, got us into their territory, but we didn't score. So, um, but it was important at the time that they happened. Sure was. Uh, Iowa owned field position and therefore time of possession in the first half. Seven penalties, 71 yards for Northwestern. The Hawks penalized three times for 30 yards. Hawks had 14 first downs, Northwestern 12. Iowa 4 of 12 on third down, Northwestern 6 of 17. Iowa ran 56 plays, Northwestern 61. In the end, the time of possession was about even. Iowa had a decided advantage in the first half. Iowa ends up with one more minute in time of possession. The Hawkeyes had the only tur turnover uh, of the day. That was an interception in the end zone when Iowa was driving. Uh, but uh, fortunately, it didn't come back to, to bite all the way through. Uh, red zone score, as we mentioned, Iowa's only trip into the red zone. They converted on a touchdown individually. Deacon Hill, 10 of 15, through, throwing the ball, 65 yards. The touchdown pass to Addison Ostringa. Uh, he had one interception, uh, one intercepted, a quarterback rating of 111.7. Brendan Sullivan for Northwestern, 12 of 19 for 81 yards. A touchdown throw that tied the game in the fourth quarter, a quarterback rating of 116.3. LeSean Williams goes over 1,000 yards for his career. Congratulations, LeSean. 24 carries, 79 yards, a 3.3 average. Jazz Patterson had 21 yards on eight carries. For Northwestern, uh, Tyus. Tyus rushed for uh, 36 yards, 12 carries. Uh, check that. Uh, Tyus ran for 40 yards on 10 carries. Anthony Tyus, Northwestern's leading ground uh, gainer. Cam Porter. Uh, on the year, their best running back. He was held at 36 yards. That run defense did it again, Ed. Yep, and both of them are a load, too. They both weigh about 220, 220 yeah, 225. 5'10", and um, so you know that 
with those tackles for loss that we that you just talked about, that's some kind of defense when you can tackle those guys for a loss. Brendan Sullivan scrambled for 24 yards, the Northwestern quarterback on 16 carries. Addison Estrenga, the young tight end, caught three passes uh, for Iowa, 15 yards, had the only touchdown grab. Iowa's leading receiver on the day, Caleb Brown, that one catch for 23 yards that set up the game-winning field. Yeah, goal. Hopefully was... now he emerges and matures and evolves. Yeah, and um, that was... He's been running some good patterns, but uh, like you said, we didn't see much of him for two or three weeks, and so now he's back, and let's hope with a lot of confidence. A.J. Henning was uh, the leading pass catcher for Northwestern, at least in numbers. He caught four. Uh, Kurtz had the most yardage, 33 yards on three catches. Bryce Kurtz, uh, he uh, came alive in the fourth quarter, and kept giving Northwestern hope, but the Hawks prevail in the end and win it 10-7. Uh, see if there's anything else. Uh, both teams uh, lost a fum- uh, fumble the football, but but got it back. Turno- turnovers uh, were even uh, at uh, one aside uh, on the day. Actually, Northwestern did not turn the ball over. Iowa had the one interception. So those are the uh, key facts and figures on today's game. Let's go to the uh, defensive chart. And we see Jay Higgins, 12 tackles. He should keep the lead again uh, in the Big Ten for another week. Jay came into today's game, uh, the Big Ten's top tackler at 12 and a half a game. Nick Jackson followed up with seven. Uh, Deontay Craig, what a day. Six tackles, three solos, one for loss. Wampa had a couple big hits. Uh, the X-Man had five tackles, three solos. For Northwestern, their outstanding linebacker, uh, Xander Mueller, 19 tackles, 12 solo. His fellow running mate at linebacker uh, Gallagher had eight with two solo. And uh, back to Mueller, he had one and a half for loss. He had a pass breakup. I mean, uh, Northwestern, uh, you know, they follow the old Pat Fitzgerald rule. They always have terrific linebackers. Yeah, I mean, he's 6'3", 235, and he's a senior. That's good because we won't have to see him again. (laughs) Our stat recap is brought to you by SeatGeek, sponsored by SeatGeek. We've got some breaking news you Hawkeye football fans are going to want to hear. SeatGeek is now the official fan-to-fan marketplace of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Whether you're buying or selling football tickets, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, so Hawkeye fans can fan. And back to our Iowa Corn drive of the game. We're going to go with the the drive that uh, puts Drew Stevens in position for that 52-yard field goal uh, brought to you by Iowa Corn. Uh, Hill to Reganey for 10 uh, on the first play of that drive. This was a uh, 3-6-7 play drive. Uh, Deacon hit Reganey for 10. Then LaShawn rushed for a couple. Hill to Caleb Brown to the... uh, to the uh, Iowa 39-yard line. That was a 10-yard grab. Then LaShawn William, uh, Williams rush uh, for a 10. Williams for 9. Uh, Williams for 7. And that set up uh, uh, Drew Stevens' field goal to 52 yards. So Hilda Regani, uh, Hilda Brown, two big pass completions there. The one to Regani in, in the slot here got him across midfield, got him a big first down, and really put him in position. And then, uh, of course, Hill lasered that one to uh, Caleb Brown. Uh, what a big catch for Caleb on a big stage. 23 yards that put, uh, and then three straight LaShawn runs that put Stevens in position for that 52-yarder. Well, you know, that first uh, first down or the first pass that to Regani was real important because it got us thinking we could get in field goal range. Got a little momentum train going. Yeah. That is our Iowa corn drive of the game. Uh, Why not? The game-winning field goal by Drew Stevens followed. Iowa corn. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Corn grows feed for our livestock, food for our families, and clean burning fuel. For your drive to the game, drive clean with unleaded 88 and support your local corn farmers. Thank you, Iowa's corn farmers. Scoring drives are not much to talk about, but they're wonderful to, uh, when uh, the Hawkeyes win. Uh, the Hawkeyes, it was a 0-0. No scoring in the first half. In the third quarter, the Hawks got on the board first. Uh, when after uh, taking over in great field position, the Hawks drove it seven plays, 25 yards, down to the two. 
where uh, Addison Ostringa broke free off the right edge. Deacon Hill on a play fake rolled out and found him in the end zone right at the goal line, actually, and he crashed into pay dirt. A two-yard touchdown pass, point after try by Drew Stevens, was good. And that uh, coming with nine minutes to play in the third period uh, at the end of a four-minute drive, 7 nothing Hawkeyes. In the fourth quarter with just a minute 50 to go, Again, another heroic effort by the Iowa defense. But Northwestern finally uh, punctured the scoreboard with a a 22-yard six-play drive. Now, this is after Iowa was backed up in its own territory. That This followed the great goal line stand. Uh, Torrey uh, Torrey Taylor, who punted six times on the day for a 39-yard average, didn't hit his best, and Henning returned to 20 yards deep into Iowa territory from midfield. Six plays later... Uh, Johnson, a five-yard pass from Brendan Sullivan, and uh, the point after try by uh, Jack Olson was good. Double-check my numbers here. Cam Johnson on the receiving end of that Brendan Sullivan touchdown pass of five yards. Uh, The Cats used up three and a half minutes to get the game tied at 7-7. And, of course, we uh, from there, with just under two minutes to go, the Hawkeyes uh, got the ball back, and they drove it in across midfield on the Iowa corn drive of the game that I just described to you. And Drew Stevens uh, put it through the uprights from 52 at the end of a seven-play, 37-yard drive. Uh, with just 14 seconds to go, the defense did the rest, and the Hawkeyes get out of town with a victory here in the Windy City. The final score, Iowa, four, uh, Iowa 10 and Northwestern 14. <coughs> That is our Seat Geek postgame stat recap as we continue to uh, wait for Coach Ferentz uh, to join us. <clears throat> Do we have any, any late word on when he might be joining us? Yeah, he's out there now. Oh, he is? Okay. He's with the Big Ten Network, and he's already taken a shower. He's got his sport coat on and he's ready to go. Oh, okay. I guess we're... Uh... Yeah, we're we're taking a back seat to the Big Ten Network, huh? Uh-huh. I have, to have to talk to Kirk about that. Well, let me give you a, a couple more angles here. Iowa's defense limited Northwestern to 170 total yards and 12 first downs in the game. That's a season low by the Iowa defense uh, and the lowest since 2022 when Nevada got 151 yards. The Hawks allowed a season low 81 passing yards. That's the fewest since Rutgers got 41 in 2019. Uh, Northwestern had first and goal. I want to come back to that goal line stand. Cats had first and goal from the two-yard line in the fourth quarter. Iowa's defense got a turnover on downs, which stopped after stopping the Wildcats, three straight runs from the half-yard line. Iowa's defense has allowed one touchdown or less in seven of the first nine games this season and 16 of the last 22. I mean, that's defense. That's run defense in particular. Yep, it's... And here comes Coach. I can see him put the headset on. Uh, Coach, can you hear us okay? Sure can. Okay. Congratulations uh, from a demoralizing loss to Minnesota two weeks ago and then a lot of... uh, a lot of things happening uh, uh, across the bye week and, and this week to uh, uh, just a tremendous win for the program. Great defense, clutch plays by Deacon Hill. you got to be most pleased. I really am. And I, you know, I've said this before. The uh, single best part of my job is working with great people, quality people, whether it's 1981 or, you know, however many years later this is. And uh, uh, it's just been a common, common bond or a common theme and uh, just really proud of our guys. Um, today was no walk in the park, uh, pardon the pun, you know, ballpark, but uh, <laughs> the guys just, uh, they never flinched. They just kept fighting, kept competing. And, uh, you know, I think anybody watching the game today uh, knows our guys really care about each other, and that's that's what teams do. How about the block punt by Ontario Thompson that set up the 22-yard drive for the score? Uh, I mean, that kid, uh, that's two big plays, one for a safety back in Iowa City, and, and, then, and then this one. I know he was injured for a while, but it's good to have him back out there. He's got a long arm reach. Yeah, you know, LeVar had that schemed up a little bit, and we thought uh, Ontario was the right guy for that job, and uh, credit to him, he, he uh, delivered, and He's still, uh, you know, a really young player develop, delve, developing, but he has no idea how good he can become. Uh, but that, that, uh, yeah, what an exciting play and what 
a great, uh, you know, little series of complimentary football that was. You know, we got the stop, uh, got the block, and then, you know, put it, put it in there for a touchdown. So it was just, just good team football, good complimentary football. Well, one good thing, too, is he gets to learn from Logan Lee. You were talking about that. Look at the people that are better than you are and listen to them. Well, we had Logan Lee as our player of the game, and uh, what a game he had. Yeah, he's so similar to uh, Aaron Campman in that, you know, married, both guys married, and both guys uh, you'd think are 45 years old. It's just the way they do things <laughs> and the way they uh, talk and all that. So, uh, you know, Logan... <laughs> Logan's a really a tremendous young person, great leader, and uh, playing really good football for us as one of our older guys. The coach, you told us all week that you thought Deacon Hill had improved over the bye week, and he hit 10 of 15. That's a great completion ratio today, but the one for the touchdown was a, a thing of beauty, and then that 23-yarder to Caleb Brown late in the game that set up the field goal. you got to be so proud of the, the way Deacon has fought back. No question. How, how many yards is that last one? 23? 23 to Caleb yeah, Brown, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to make a difference uh, to our offense, that'll sure help if we can throw and catch a few of those. And uh, I do think he has improved. And I know he's working his tail off. All of our guys are. Uh, but, you know, you can't microwave confidence. You can't microwave certain things, you know. And uh, but I, just, I give him a lot of credit. All of our guys are just working away, uh, playing through injuries, things like that. And just uh, really proud of this whole team. Well, they had on that 23-yard pass completion and they had double zone call they had a, the corner underneath safety behind and he just flipped it right in there so Look, like beauty looked like a football play didn't it yeah it sure did like a real football play <laughs> how about the atmosphere here at wrigley kirk uh, you got to experience today uh, uh now there, there was some uh, some drawbacks with both teams on the same sideline, but uh, uh, some tense moments, but it, it was just a terrific atmosphere. And, and how about the Iowa fans? Yeah, well, first of all, credit to the officials. I thought they did a great job of uh, using common sense and discretion on the clock and just, you know, all the substitution stuff, which don't mind telling you, we're all worried about that. <laughs> but <laughs> Ron Snodgrass is a great referee. That's a good crew. I thought they handled it well. Uh, Really thankful, I can say it now, that nobody ran into the uh, end zone down there because uh, that looked like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Uh, <laughs> and then the other challenge was the turf down here. And um, uh, my experience is like, you know, baseball field, soccer fields are probably better for baseball and soccer than football. And that, that could have been an issue, critical time, both uh, them sure. trying to get in the end zone and us trying to get off the end zone. But, um, you know, it's it's a, a novel experience, probably better for the fans and the players. But, uh it looks pretty good to me now, and just, uh, yeah, I can't say enough about our fans. The support was tremendous, uh, very vocal, very loud, and my guess is they're uh, probably having a hell of a time right now. <laughs> yeah, they are and will throughout the evening. Uh, you had mentioned uh, in our pregame visit uh, today that uh, it's going to be uh, some kind of a war zone for the next uh, three, four weeks. Uh, you got some help today. Indiana beat Wisconsin. Uh, Nebraska lost at Michigan State. Illinois has just upset uh, Minnesota and Minneapolis. Uh, it, it's going to be like this for the next uh, three weeks, right? It's conference football, Big Ten football this time of year, and this is where things uh, you you know, you really get defined by what you do in November, typically. So, um, you know, if we want to have a, a really good season, then we just got to keep playing and just worry about the next thing that's in front of us. And uh, want all the guys to really enjoy this tonight uh, on our four-hour bus ride home, uh, <laughs> assuming we get out of the city. But anyway, I uh, want them to enjoy it. And then, uh, you know, we'll see where we're at tomorrow. But just uh, overly proud of our guys. Just uh, what, what a great group of young people. Well, you got to be especially proud of LeSean Williams. He went over a thousand yards rushing for his career, and uh, he was the workout. He was the workhorse today. Uh, some clutch runs, uh, particularly where clock management was concerned. Yep, showing off for the home crowd. Uh, you know, yeah. I think all the guys are excited to be back here. A lot of guys from Chicago, and uh, LeSean's uh, just done a really nice job this year. He had that little stutter four or five weeks ago, but he's uh, just come back and. Truly playing like a veteran guy and just uh, really proud of what he's doing. We should say a word, too, about Caleb Brown. You know, he, he was gone for a few weeks uh, on the sidelines. Uh, uh, he's back in good graces, right? Yeah, I, I never said he was out of good graces. Uh, you know, he just uh, uh, he's a good young guy, and he's learning. He's new to our program, and uh, ever since uh, you know, he missed that one weekend, he's, he's been nothing but great, and I'm, I'm so glad to see him make a big play today. That, that'll really help his confidence, and yeah, you know, I mean, when you talk about Deacon, you talk about Caleb. Uh, I think it's only fair to 
keep in mind uh, the you know the experience level that these guys have mm -hmm. at their position playing college football. And this this is in high school. With all due respect, uh, I mean I got so much respect for high school football, but it's an adjustment. And uh, you know, these guys are working hard to, to get better. And uh, just you know really proud of the way they've all responded. Yeah, well said. Uh, lastly, uh, who, who talked you into putting Cooper out there for the reverse? Uh, you know, it wasn't that big a deal, but, uh, yeah, we had one reverse and one decoy, but, uh, yeah, he's obviously a great player, but, you know, he won't do us any good if he's on the sideline. Uh, two of our uh, key skill guys, uh, you know, both had surgeries as a result, you know, mm -hmm. so you, you roll the dice and, uh, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I wish I had taken a safety now, but, um, you know. You don't get to do that, so we're just trying to be smart and do uh, do what we think's best for the team. Smart you were. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you on the bus. Sounds good. <laughs> Coach Ferentz on Iowa's 10-7 win uh, over the Northwestern Wildcats, and the Hawks uh, will spend another week at least with a share of uh, first place in the Big Ten West. And uh, you know, the, yeah, he's right. This is Big Ten football. Yep. Well, and it's November. Big Ten football in november and uh, we got a home game next week always enjoy those home games yeah and that won't be easy rutgers so much improved on defense uh, this year but uh, the hawks are home in kinnick yep and it um, it's military uh, veterans uh, day veterans, veterans day weekend, weekend uh, and so that's always enjoyable and wonderful and i am uh, i'm gonna go get on that bus and head home and i'll see you back in iowa city there buddy boy yeah right. great great weekend next weekend we look forward to seeing everybody uh, in their best camo uh, as we honor our military veterans and uh, we hope that you'll let us know who your military loved one is we'll try and give everybody a shout out on the air throughout the game uh, next week all right we're going to take a break uh, big scoreboard full scoreboard coming up uh, from uh, learfield and jeff city and when we come back rob brooks We'll take us through the rest of the post game in the Hawkeye locker room. Iowa beats Northwestern here at Wrigley, ten to seven. And this is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday, I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. A bag of corn is, well, a bag of corn. Unless it's a bag of Pioneer brand chrome seed corn. Then you're dealing with the most optimized yield potential, agronomic performance, and insect protection the Pioneer lineup has to offer. A bag that will make life easier for you. Eight bushels per acre easier. And much harder for rootworms in the competition. Pioneer brand chrome products. Field proven and ready for yours. Visit pioneer.com slash plant chrome. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. The Hawkeyes play here. This is Hawkeye football from Learfield. Best part of turning 100? You. Our neighbors, we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank, celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. 
Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Live from the Learfield Network Studios, this is the College Scoreboard. And from Master Control, I'm Mo Lewis. Iowa wins it 10-7 over Northwestern. Let's check the U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Elsewhere in the Big Ten, new number one, Ohio State beats up on Rutgers 35-16. Indiana gets a good win over Wisconsin 20-14. And it was Michigan State over Nebraska 20-17. Number 11, Penn State, no trouble with Maryland. They take care of business 51-15. Steve Jones calling, well, they were scoring right and left. set to that far side. Now they bring Johnson in motion toward us. Aller takes it. Drew wants to throw. Protection again. Delivers. Warren reaches up. He's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. 51 to 15, the final there. Illinois beat Minnesota today, 27 to 16. Later, Michigan is hosting Purdue. In the top 25, number seven, Texas. It goes overtime with number 23, Kansas State. The Longhorns win 33 to 30. Number 10, Ole Miss over Texas A&M, 38 35. Number 15, Notre Dame taking on Clemson. This was a great game. And for the final call, here's Don Munson on the Clemson Athletic Network. Going to line up, Tim, and I think you're right. There's a direct snap at the club. He'll take it, roll right side, pressure coming, and just throw it high in the air. And the play clock will expire, and Clemson will win it. 31-23 will be the final. Number 17, Tennessee, too much for UConn, 59-3. to And Utah, really big over Arizona State, 55-3. to An upset at number 25. They were unbeaten, but are no longer. Air Force loses to Army today, 23-3. to That's their first loss of the year. Number two, Georgia, finally outclasses Missouri, 30-21. to Number four, Florida State, taking on Pittsburgh. First and 10 for the 45. Look at Vincent up the middle. The brick burst through. 30, 20. You're not going to catch him. The brick breezes into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. Touchdown, FSU. Jeff Kulane with the call on Florida State Sports Network. 24-7 was the final there. Oklahoma loses to Oklahoma State. The last bedlam ever goes to the Cowboys, 27-24. Number 13, Louisville uh, beats Virginia Tech, 34-3. And number 24, Tulane, a 13-10 win over East Carolina. Hawkeyes 10, Wildcats 7. Next week, it's Rutgers. This is Iowa Hawkeye football from Learfield. Looking for more college football action following our broadcast? Check out the College Football Blitz for free by going to the Varsity Network app. It's the college football audio version of the NFL Red Zone channel every Saturday from noon to midnight Eastern. Just search College Football Blitz on the Varsity Network app. Not all Internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. Across Iowa, you don't have to look far to find a bank that's got your back. From just around the corner to the next town over... Hundreds of neighborhood banks are going the distance to ensure your future looks brighter than ever. By providing jobs, supporting local businesses, strengthening communities, and helping your dreams become reality. Here, the life you build is backed by Iowa Banks. See how banks are making a difference near you at iowabankers.com. 
Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones, we know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need so you can focus on what's most important to you. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. You're listening to Hawkeye Football. Touchdown, Iowa! This is Iowa Football from Learfield.